Yeah, we'll pr pretend we're in a lift listening to the music. <laughs> When's summer, Angela? Pardon? When's summer up there? God knows. Uh, not yet, though, is it? Driving is crazy, isn't it? Actually, we might have one of those one of those late summers again. We just had a little bit of Easter, didn't we? Just like a little tempter. I know it's all got a bit wrong since then. Mind you, you're used to that, Angela, aren't you? You live. You live I was in. Yeah. Yeah, you live the wrong side of the Pennines, don't you? So you're used to being slightly damp all the time. <laughs> well. Coming down this morning, yeah. it was um, absolutely cloudy and misty until we got down here, really. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, the sun was shining. There you go, you see. We're right. in the Midlands here. Beautiful. Um, you need to cut it out now um, and be careful that you don't snip too far into your corners. Right. So we'll just go around there. Corners? It's a circle. The inner... The inner um, oh. Point, should we say? Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yes, sorry, there are corners, aren't there? I do beg your pardon, I thought it was one big circle. Of course, it's not, is it? It's a flower, isn't it? It's like, um, yeah, you could. Silly boy. <laughs> should have been paying attention. So you back doing, um, you do workshops and, and things, don't you? Well, I, I'm you... not doing any at the moment at no. the shop, just because of the situation. Yeah. Um, when do you think you'll be back to doing that? Well, hopefully. I don't, I don't know. I want to see what happens when the schools go back, actually. Yeah. Because I've got this chest condition. So yeah. It, you know, it's more of a worry to me than perhaps it is to other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we've done that. So we need to slit. On this side, your fabric side, yeah. um, a one-inch slit in the middle. This is normally where I end up going through the fabric. But try not to. <laughs> I could do that the other way, which would be better. There we go. So, just snip that for turning yeah obviously then you've got to turn it right side out this is the magic of working with fabric isn't it everything starts the right way around and or the wrong way around and then and then you turn it around and suddenly magic happens hopefully <laughs> well yeah <laughs> I always say that before it's gonna happen don't I just so wait until it's happened <laughs> <laughs> I trust you, Angie. You can. You've yeah. got this. You've been sewing for, well, let's say more than six months, yeah, shall we? And leave it at that. It's different when you've got somebody watching you. you... That's true. Well, should I turn the other way? Would that make it easier? <laughs> I mean, I can't vouch for the thousands of people that are going to be watching this on the telly. Just get the iron to work a bit. Um, you're also getting the kit. Um, a hexagon template, yeah. which I suggest you trace it onto, you get some freezer paper. So if you trace it onto freezer paper a couple of times, yeah. um, and in a minute, when I find this... <laughs> Had you been on the telly before you came here, Angela? No. Did you ever imagine yourself being on the telly? No. Because you're... Because you're a, a little bit, and don't take this the wrong way, but you're a little so, bit of a reluctant celebrity, aren't you? I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm not in real life. <laughs> I, I just get nervous. Hey, you don't need to. It's only us. I know. It's only us. Right, I've... You need to spend more time, you know, getting your curves pushed out properly. But That's for now, it's of, fine. It's a story of life, Angela, that, isn't it? So... If you take your template, um, your hexagon template, that's yeah. slightly smaller than the edges of the um, circle, we'll call it a circle for now. Yeah. Just iron that on. And then that just gives you where to 
iron up your curves that yeah. creates the you know, hexagon. If you want freezer paper, by the way, you provide some in the kit anyway. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. I think we'll have it somewhere on the website anyway if you want more. Or you can nip round to Angela in the <laughs> shop. It's called the bobbin patch, you know. Where is it again, Angela? Shore, isn't it? It says, yeah. Shore near Oldham. Yeah. There's a train station there, isn't there? Uh, in Oldham. Isn't it called Shore and Crompton? Yeah, we've got tram station. Oh, tram station, OK. We'll get you. She's got the tram in now. Fancy you knowing that. Fancy Shore, me knowing that. Shore and I Crompton. I don't know why. It must be, because I, I used to work in Manchester years ago, and it must have been while I was waiting for my train that I'd heard the name said for a train that was going in the other direction, because I was going to Lancashire. So, although Oldham would have originally was in Lancashire, it wasn't was, it? It was, it's now supposed to be Greater, Greater Manchester. Manchester, isn't it? I am Mancunian. I've not always lived there. I'm an oh, incomer. <laughs> oh, OK. Which bit of Manchester were you before? I was born in Newton Heath. Oh, OK. And we lived in Chalkham before we moved over. Oh. Mm. So have you moved to the posh end, or is it the oh, other way around? I, I don't really know Manchester that well. Charlton was, is a very trendy place to live. Is it? Um, but we had a news agent, so we used to get held up quite regularly. You had a news agent? Yeah, we had a news agent. Oh, well, did you? I inherited it. Let's put it that way. Oh, OK. <laughs> and you got held up? Yeah, too many times to... Oh, blimey. Right, yeah. So it was nice to go back to South uh, North Side. Ah, uh, so. OK. Right, you also get in your kit a piece of this fabric that's got all the collectibles Well, have you gave on. them a piece of your mind, Angela? Sorry, I'm, I'm still with that hold-up at the moment. Did <laughs> you give them a piece of your mind? No, just oh. around. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, they got away with two shillings and sixpence. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Um, <laughs> Where were we? Each hexagon has got all little um, different characters in it. This sewing machine is a bee, there's a bird on a bobbin. That says so much love. You've got your scissors, um, a heart. So you need to, you get um, bonded web or eat some bond in your kit as well. So yeah. you need to iron onto the back of that. And then I cut them out on the line. And can you see that they've already got, like, a faux stitch line, if yes. you like? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, probably if I was using the bag all the time, um, I would stitch around with a straight stitch, perhaps using red top and bottom, um, and then it'd give the hexagon shape inside, you know, on the, the lining part. Oh, right, yeah, 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 but, yeah. But yeah. um, as it is... I'm just going to iron them on. How much did you use to pay your paper boys, Angela? Oh, God, you're asking me paper something Paper boys now. and girls, of course, sexist. <laughs> I can't remember it's that long ago, to be honest with you. You did pay them, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I used to, it was my first job, I think, when I was about, oh, I don't know, whatever. I don't know, what was, what's the legal age? Can't even remember. I'm sure it was about 11 when I started my paper round, something like that. And I, I think I used to get about... It was about 10 quid back then, a week. Well, that's that, a lot. That was in Kent, you know. I'm trying to think how old you are. I don't know how old you are. Oh, there's no need to know. <laughs> 26 plus VAT, Angela. That's all we need to, all we need to know. <laughs> right, so I've ironed that on. Well, not old pounds. Like, I, I am post-decimal. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Be careful what you say now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll just stand here and listen. Um, right, we've ironed that on, and in the pattern, um, some of these you need to iron on a certain way, otherwise they'll be upside down when you put your bag together. OK, So yes. there is a little plan showing you that. Right. Um, now, these curves, you can either do what I did, which is I'm going to sew the middle of each one with um, a zigzag stitch. OK. Which, if you can look at the basket, you can perhaps just see that. I'll oh, do one in a minute. Oh, yes, yeah. so you're just doing it in the middle of the kind of, let's call yeah. them leaves, shall yeah. we? So on either side, left and right. Yeah. Or you could sew round with a straight stitch. The whole thing. Yeah, or yeah. you could use a buttonhole stitch, or you could hand sew them. Yeah. It's up to the individual, Go on, really. show us what you do. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. So 
Um, we just want a zigzag stitch. On your very posh machine here. Not really. Well, you say <laughs> it's that. It's my favourite, though. <laughs> it's very computerised. Obviously, I've got beige thread in this, but on the sample there, I did use red. Red, just so it blends, yeah. Yeah, so I, all I've done is um, a few zigzag stitches backwards and forwards, and that creates that. Oh, just uh, tilt that forward just so that Jimmy can see it on the camera. There you go. I've actually said this Thanks, in the Tom. wrong order. I just saw. <laughs> That's you. Is it me? <laughs> it's all your fault okay, for talking all... about... <laughs> talking about your paper shop. Well, you shouldn't yeah. have told me. You know what I'm like. like we, a... we actually need to, to join them together in the plan first before okay. we do that bit, Sh which I got, shall show you a plan. plan? There, yeah. yes. Show us a plan. We'll show you a plan. This is what, this is what she should so have done. So that's the plan. So, obviously, they need putting together. Just put it where you're working, just so that Jimmy can see it. There we go. Um, these little arrows are the ones that need to go that direction. That's your middle bits to go in that direction. Right, yes, got you. The, the arrows going across are showing where you're joining each one. Okay. And, obviously, the ones in the middle are already joined. And they joined with... You just open that out, and that line across there... Do you want to show everyone with the... Um... With the completed bag opened up? Yeah, that'd be a good idea, perhaps. That would be a good idea. Um, how do I get it from one to the other? Hang on, this is socially distance. There you go. <laughs> that's, how, that's how we do it these days, I think. <laughs> I have to throw it backwards and forwards. So, I can't really show them properly anyway this way. But they're joined on that, that crease line. If you put, I think in the pattern I say, to put a line down... And then join that with the next one, straight stitching across. Right. Till you've got your... Plan. This. Yeah. And then you need to sew these tabs down. Ah, uh, OK, I yeah. gotcha. Yes, because one joins the next, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the final joinings there create the shape. Yeah. This funny... There's no way of putting it. The, the strange shape at the top. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like a pie crimping. I quite like it though. It's nice. Thank you. It looks like a hat upside down. Could you could you fling it back to me? I could. So I can um, display. Thank you, darling. There you go. See that that's how we'll have to do it these days. Um, so when you've got it, let me stuff it back up again. Um, when you've done it, yes, it does look like a hat upside down almost, doesn't it? Uh, but it gathers beautifully. It's really really elegant as it comes together, and that might just be useful for keeping your you know bits and bobs. Uh, scraps of fabric or, you know, other sewing billy-doos that you have, um, or, or taking it out. When we did a workshop originally, most people did them as a craft bag to put yeah. craft bits in. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite good. In fact, actually, you could put even more interfacing into it as well, couldn't you? You could put, like, a, a, an H630 or 40 you and then have, it, have the sides That's stood up. The only up. reason I haven't is because this is, like, linen look cotton, so yeah. it's quite Yeah, so it's thick. quite strong anyway, mm. isn't it? Yeah, but you could, if you wanted it to sort of hold its own and stand up, um, you know, uh, by itself to, ha to make us a little yeah. permanent storage, um, then you could do very, very easily. Sorry, Ross, I missed what you were saying. Oh, right, we need to mention the pin cushions again. Um, do you want to grab them over, um, Angela? Show everyone, do, do a model. Now, the B skep, I'm still skeptical, skeptical about this skep word, <laughs> just because I've never heard of it before. <laughs> Uh, but apparently it's uh, when bees make their own hive, they make a skep. I think it's an old-fashioned word as well. Is it? I think so. I'm going to have to go and look it up in my... Uh... You do get eyes for these bees. This there's, there's, has only got one eye, poor bee. Has but it, well... You do get beads in for the eyes. Oh, OK. So you get the, the, the full kit, which has got all of your uh, bits and pieces in it. Yeah. And how many pins do we... Oh, there we go. How many pins do you give us? Um, whatever you need in each one, so there's six in that, and there's two, four, is there six in that as well? Yeah, because the S pins... Some have more The in. pins are part of the kit as well, aren't they? Because we form the, the character around the pin, don't we? Yeah. It's very clever. Um, so you've got the gnome option there, um, or you've got the, the B one. I'm not saying that word again. Uh, £17.95. pence. Gorgeous. What looks like Paula? The little gnomes look like Paula. 
<laughs> That's Ross saying that, because I know Paula's <laughs> watching the show. Oh, Jimmy. I'm not saying that. It's, it, they're very cute. They're very cute. And, of course, you can take them all out. Just, just show us again. Just pull that mushroom out. Yeah. There you go. Look. So you can move them around. So I think they're quite a nice decorative thing, actually. Never mind that they've got a function. Yeah, most just people th just have them in the sewing yeah, room, I think. They're pretty. So you get you send us the, the, the bobbin as well. You get the bobbin as well. And they're not easy to get hold of, as Made we know. Made in Yorkshire. Are they? Yes. Very good. God's own county. You'll be there eventually, Angela. <laughs> drier over that side of the pen as you know oh, i know it well be nice um right should we I'll, I'll go for a quick wander down the um counter if that's all right and then we'll do our second demo okay. shall we yeah that's oh, we're fine. doing that on the japanese bag aren't we yes fabulous uh which works along the same kind of principle as in you start with a circle of fabric and you end with a, a hexagon of fabric uh, and these are wonderful flannels fabrics which are absolutely gorgeous. Look at all of the different colours. It's such a nice bag. It feels absolutely gorgeous. It's the right shape. Uh, it's got a nice concealed zip um, inside as well. So it's very, very neat and very, very elegant. Oh, sorry about the pins there. She's pinned it, but she hasn't quite sewn the, sewn the zip in yet, have you, Angela? This is a work in progress prototype, this one, isn't it? Um, but we're getting there. So how much would you pay for a bag like this? Because it's got that instant vintage look, doesn't it? You pay a lot more than our price for the kit, don't you think? 374-140 is your item number, 3295. I've got a resounding silence, but it's all boys in the gallery. They have no idea, do they, no, Angela? No not idea. A clue. If you went to a vintage fair and bought an, an old... I mean, is that based on a vintage design? No, Angela? it's more a Japanese design. But it's got a vintage kind of look and feel to it, don't you think? rustic -y. Rustic. But you paid more than 32.95 for that. I mean, listen, men don't I, have bags. I so. love that bag, and it's cheese? not often I like what I make, <laughs> but I do love it, and I, <laughs> it appeals to me. And I was just I I'm so know. glad you didn't say that on telly, Angela. What's that? Oh, most of what I make, oh, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it is, that it in the nicest it. possible way. Oh, of course I know, darling. I make things. That I hope other people will like. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. It's really, really popular as well. I'm not surprised. Uh, 374140 is your item number. Right, I'll take a whiz down the counter then. Uh, so, this is the drawstring bag that um, Angela was just demonstrating part of. Uh, so this is absolutely beautiful. It does look like a jolly hat, doesn't it when, it, when it, when it's all fully out like that, like a hat upside down. And I'm sure one of the kids will borrow it for a costume at some stage during your life. But it is actually a lovely drawstring bag uh, with the little tulips on the end, which look like little oven gloves. I love it. 289973, you get all the fabrics plus your instructions there as well um, in that lovely sort of gingham check fabric at 25.95 right next to our little rucksack then uh, which is brilliant oh, backpack with the uh, with the with the hidden yeah the hidden pouch on the inside uh, the, the with the zip uh, which is very very yeah for my paper round money where I get paid off my paper round oh that was a job on a sunday ooh wasn't it well then yeah, supplements and whatever so no we had to go out yeah, in, in the rain every yeah. Sunday. Always rained on Sunday morning, didn't it? Because that's when the heaviest papers were out. That's right. Never mind. It was all worth it at Christmas, wasn't it? Uh, 846976 is your item number. Again, full instructions, all the fabrics, all the hardware. Uh, with that, the webbing and all of the loops and everything that you need is a drawstring too. The two options are the uh, blue or red, which is lovely. And the item number is 846976. Right, let's move down to the felt. Um, two wonderful, wonderful offers here. Um, 20 12 inch squares of 30% wool felt, all different colours, which is very, very unusual for this kind of offering as well. It's not often that you would actually get um, offered 20 different colours. 19.99 there, saving £10. 542575. There are some lovely colours there. They're not the kind of colours that you, you know, normally see if you went to, you know, the kind of places. Oh, I'm not going to say them. Uh, so that's 542575. Or maybe double up. And you've got 40 there. And again, I checked with Angela earlier. That's 40 different colours, 12-inch um, squares, same makeup of, of the felt, so 30% wool. What was the other 70%, Angela? Viscose. Yeah. Uh, and it's a lovely feeling. 
um, felt as well. 218 0090 item number 3995. Then we've got our fat quarters, uh, massively popular. The bees, half of the stock of that has sold out gone. I'll stand to one side so you can see it's four different colours of gorgeous, gorgeous bee fabric. Isn't that wonderful? So you get the turquoise, the white, the dark blue, and that lovely, lovely um, sort of mustardy, custardy um, yellow. I love it. It's very, very nice. Oh, no, I wouldn't pay you for mustard, uh, which is why I always try and think of a different word. I don't like mustard. It ruins a ham sandwich, doesn't it, quite frankly? Uh, 662846. Don't you think so, Angela? I don't like it. No, horrible, yeah. isn't it? And piccalilli, well, that's oh, like no. the devil's work, isn't it? <laughs> uh, 662, I mean, just the look of it. People choose to eat that, Angela, as well. It's strange, isn't it? 662846 is your item number. No, piccalilli's awful. You only have to open the jar, don't you, to know that, don't you? Somebody makes that for real. Ugh. Anyway, uh, we've got also the very la 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 flowery fabric that looks very la 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 la, doesn't it? It could well have taken its inspiration from, uh, you know, that very, very well known la 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 shop in London kind of fabric. They are very, very nice on that. I don't know what I'm alluding to at all. And 411555 is your item number, £13 and. 95 pence. Uh, we've got the notebooks, including the new boat as well. Take you to the website, show you the options there. Full kits there, uh, including the brand new boat, uh, as well as the blue tit and the robin and the bee and the butterfly and the fairy and the hare and the gnome. Will there be Christmas editions of those, Angela, coming up as well? Possibly not, because most people think, well, you can only use it at Christmas if you do something Christmasy That's real, true. can't you? That's true. That's very, very true. This is why I don't have a shop, you see, Angela. <laughs> uh, 411555. Right, OK, back to you. For the last, we've got... A, oh, I'm so sorry. You know me, Gavin away. Six right. minutes we've got-ish. That's fine. Right, so I have done this before, demonstrated it before. Um, you start off with circles cut from the template that's in your pattern. Um, you've got 21 different colours of flannel. And first job is to um, iron a crease in. Be pin Two creases. The be pin cushion sold out. Has it? it? Again. Again. Okay. Gnomes Limited. We need to get more. We need to get more bobbins sorted. I'll have don't to get. Do you need me to go and have a word in Yorkshire? <laughs> He's very busy. Is he? Yeah. Does he hand turn them all then? No, they don't have a copy lathe. But he does marvellous work. He's a true craftsman. Oh, but is he? He's got a big business. Yeah. Right. Okay. But it's just him and his wife, and he's brilliant. Ah, uh, okay. Dave Dalby. There Hello, you Dave. <laughs> Can we have some more bobbins, please, for the bobbin patch? Right. So. Take your crease um, mark and put it to the centre of the other crease. Yeah. Iron it. Some of these flannels, some are worse than others for um, ironing. Um, they've got a bit, how can I say, they're a bit bouncy, some of them. OK. So you might need quite a bit of steam. So then get this corner, the first corner. I'm going round anti-clockwise uh -huh. to the centre again. This is how we end up with a hexagon out of a square. Yeah. Um, just keep going round. Oh, gnome's gone now as well. That's it. Oh, we'll have to get those back, won't we? Eventually, and the sheep. The sheep. We do brilliant. have a Christmas pin cushion, actually. Oh, there. Yeah. Now, what goes on the Christmas pin cushion? This is snowman, Santa, penguin. Tree. Can't remember oh, what else. Bring him in, bring him in next time. I will near Christmas, yeah. Well, it's not that long now. You think it's middle of August <laughs> now. Just don't tell me that. Won't be long. <laughs> How many days, Ross? Look it up. How many days to Christmas? Because that's something we need to know on a wet Wednesday, isn't it, in August? When we can't go on holiday. <laughs> so, um... Hang on, Angela, stop the press. Sorry. 129 days. Oh, God. OK, so don't panic, but, you know, you've still got time. Anyway. Right, so <laughs> let it cool a bit, and when it's cool, open it up. Yeah. 
and you get um, 630H630 um, violin, which is the thinner of the two yeah. uh, waddings that we use. Mm -hmm. So cut out your template shapes and the pattern and place it in, but place it in with the rough side, which is the um, fusible side, upwards. Yeah, because that's the gluey bit, isn't it? Yeah, and then we need to... Where did I start? There. Um, fold it back up. This is such a nicer way. It, it seems all... like a more relaxing way of making hexagons than the whole... I don't think you could use them for everything, this... No, this, but it's um... lovely. It gives you a really nice effect. Maybe it's just the effect it gives you with these flannels, because it makes them feel like a swave, doesn't it? I, I love the flannel. I've done several quilts in the flannel. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Um, give them a good press with steam. Yeah. Um, there you go. <laughs> what is, why do they put the water and the steam buttons together on an you iron? You tell me, because I always... It, always yeah. get it the wrong way around. Yeah. Um, you've got always. It's ridiculous. You've got some of the felt in the kit. Um, cut out circles from the templates again. And pop your circle in the middle of each one. What they need to do is they need to make to the water square to one blue and the steam one black or it, just a completely different colour because you always get them the wrong way around, don't you? Because your thumb well, takes off... it's not only that. Yeah, you, you Your thumb it. takes the icons off yeah. as well, doesn't it? Oh, so it drives me crackers. That, that gives you um, one hex again. Yeah. Um, I've sewn round these. What time is it? We've only got a minute. Right. So I've sewn round those with a small zigzag stitch. Yeah. And then to put them all together... I have butted them up yeah. and used a very small zigzag stitch um, on all of them except for the two side ones, which are the end ones to put the bag together. Which is all in the full instructions anyway. Yeah. And, and, it, and, 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 sorry, Angela. No, it's OK. Uh, if you go to our website and go on Rewind and type in Bobbin Patch, you'll have the last yeah. show where Angela did a more fuller demonstration. I must have interrupted less. Um, <laughs> and we got a bit more of a full demonstration. <laughs> Um, in on the same bag. So if you want to see that, go and have a little look. Uh, 24th of July it was. So it was only a few weeks ago, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, when you're back, oh, you don't know yet, do you? I don't know yet. But it'll be soon. Hopefully. You have to come back and see us again soon, Angela. Yes. Bring the sheep with you and the bees and everything. Sheep. And bobbins as well. OK. Right, see you soon. Thank you. Uh, cool. Check out your baskets and stay right where you are. There's plenty more on the way. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers. I've been sewing for most of my life. It's a passion of mine. I really enjoy all aspects of sewing. I'm creative in lots of different ways as well, but sewing is the one I'm most passionate about. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp. And uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. Uh, it started off making things just for myself, but then friends and family asked for, if they could use them too. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different, 
and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. Over time, I want Craft Escape products to build you a complete library of dyes, stamps and stencils, which you'll enjoy using whether you're new to crafting or you're a seasoned crafter. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. How's your morning going? All right? You had your breakfast yet? Some nice toast and tea and coffee? What did you have? I had some cereal. Um, our director had some porridge. Our producer had cereal. And Janie, our lovely <laughs> guest for this hour. What have you had for breakfast? I had a mini roll. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say mini roll, I mean, it could be a chocolate mini roll. It was. It was. <laughs> I did not think you were going to say oh, there was something savoury. Chocolate mini roll for breakfast. Yeah. Well, well done, you. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel? <laughs> Wonderful. Have you got a sugar rush coming yes. on at any point? <laughs> but I might crash. Yeah, too, but, so. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to be with you and it's great to be with you guys at home. If you did see the show earlier on at 7am, you are in for a treat. You really, really are. Now, the show's all about journaling and bookmaking uh, and albums and just making sure that you've got your memories somewhere safe so you can go and recall them because we all know what it's like with the grey matter. You can't <laughs> always recall them as quickly as we'd no, like to. Um, so it's really nice to have somewhere to put those memories and something to create memories for. Sorry, I just noticed that the ephemera pack fell over again. <laughs> That's, I suddenly I panicked it there out the corner because of you were hand. looking at me so blankly, <laughs> as quite a lot of people have been doing recently. <laughs> but then I also thought there might be a creepy crawly behind me. No, so but you now were, I've forgotten your question. You were looking at me spaced out. I suddenly started to panic and now we've just totally forgot what we're saying <laughs> all together. No one has actually. No one can help us out unless you can at home. Should we just go through everything? <laughs> yes, Jamie? I think we'll do yes, that. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, right. Now, your first option or options come under one item number. 465984. Um, these are beautiful. They really are. You've got lots of vintage style ephemera and papers for you to use. And you've also got all the elements to put together to create this marvellous journal. Yeah, so this we were saying in the earlier show, this is less about the construction. So there's no actual book binding in this, but it's more about the decoration and the fun of filling it. Um, Everything that you see in the sample that you're flipping through is included in the kit. So wow. you just you just layer it up and put it together how you wish. But I think this is really nice as a gift to give once you've made it yeah, as well. So you get the fun of making it and then you can gift it and then people can keep their memories in there, oh, write lovely. a you know, use it for whatever you want. And because you because it's ring bound, you can just keep adding to it. And moving your pages if you if you want to. Love that page. That's really clever. Is that one piece of paper? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so you've got the paper in there and um in the so less instructions, more guidelines with this yeah. one. Yeah. Um if you cut them all down to A six they fit perfectly, but then if you cut some at A five then you can do that fold out. Yeah. What a gorgeous idea. And the paper on the front as well is beautiful. It also includes your Cavachon. Cavachon. Yeah, Cavachon. That's, how we're, that's what we're calling them. Um, and you get a whole array of different items. So you've got the lovely frame here. You've also got some paint, which is acrylic mixed with gesso. And you've got a key. And you've got some beautiful, beautiful stones that are included as well. That's almost like a pewter shell, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they I I bought loads of semi-precious beads and yeah. mixed beads, so... I'm not sure of the makeup of that one. I just know it's beautiful. It really, <laughs> really is. Oh, my days. Um, excellent value for money, $24.99. That's your garden traveller. So you've got the, um, sorry, not the garden traveller, the, the midnight traveller, because you've got those darker elements to the papers. Just open that up, and I'll just bring that in to show you. I mean, that's absolutely gorgeous. I've not seen anything like that with, like, a night sky, and you've got the astrology in there, but you've also got the butterflies and the moths. What a great moths, combination. Yeah. Yeah, so um, my source images are always antique images, yeah. which are public domain. And then when I design with them, 
there can be there'll be upward of 15 layers per design wow. where I just keep layering things and Brilliant. yeah love that I know you're gonna have lots of fun going through that when you get it home as well let's move on to the next option this is your garden traveler so again you've got lovely elements in here you've got some lovely lace in here you've also got your cabochons and your keys in there and with this one you've got your acrylic paint in your is it just so mixed in here yeah yeah, yeah. and that's a nice like minky color yeah. beautiful so you choose you decide which one you want to go for 24 pounds and 99 pence each four six five nine eight four is your item number now something we're going to be demonstrating this hour everything comes with instructions by the way so when you get your kits home they're fully comprehensive instructions but they're really easy to follow now this is something we're going to be looking at in the show yeah tell us about the lap book so yeah we've we've done lap books before of different sizes and we were saying earlier lap book essentially is something that opens and opens again yeah and it's interactive so you've got all the elements in there but the way you put them together is up to you so you've got pockets but where you put those pockets is up to you. Um, the bottles, you do need to put them really on that page because the spines are designed at a certain width yes. to, to house those. Um, but as for the decoration, you know, it's, it's up to you. Isn't you've, that you've got loads in the kit. Oh, do you know what? You really want to go off and explore the countryside and look at all the different elements of nature when you make something like this. Or you might just have it in your home uh, and sit there and enjoy making it, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, it does say lap book TN. What yeah. does TN stand so for? So TN is either tall, narrow or traveller's notebooks because traveller's notebooks uh, are essentially tall and narrow. Tall and um, narrow. Because I've done lap books before that are more um, of an A5 size. Yeah. So the TN just distinguish... Tall and narrow, I like that, yeah. unlike myself. And unlike myself. I'm I'm SD, short and dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everything comes with the full instructions. Uh, you can open that up and you can see there that uh, very, very easy to follow, which is magnificent. Only £16.99. We're going to demonstrate this in this hour, 643607. Look at the little, little jars as well. And are they glass? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, they're fabulous. You've got the key and all of the different elements. Right, 643607 is your item number. Uh, right, next up, we've got another choice for you, one item number. Now, this was very, very busy earlier, and we did a demonstration. Don't worry if you missed it. You can watch it and rewind, and it also comes with the instructions. So, you've got two choices. What's the difference in the choice? Is it just the colour? Um, the colour, um, the designs do vary slightly, but they're all of the same theme. Yes. Um, so they would sit together really well, you know, if you bought both kits. But the green is kind of more of a spring, fresh yes. colour. Um, and the blue is, I wanted to say, I was going to say slightly darker. Darker isn't the word, it's word. It's where well, you can see. So, yeah, they go together, but the, the designs aren't identical. Do you know what's really nice about this? If you wanted to get one maybe for one niece, one for another niece, or maybe members of your family, or yourself and your partner. You know, yeah. maybe you're, you're setting yeah. out, you've got a new hobby together. Something like this would be wonderful. It really would. So the green and the blue, those are your choices. Inside, you've got the, uh, the grey board to make and create yeah. the front and the back. Yeah. And then you've got the papers to actually make the books that go in here. And they will make three different notebooks. So you could draw in one, you could write in the other. I don't need to suggest what you do with them. You'll know that. But it does make three separate books that are then all bound together in this beautiful display and with this something very very important you also get the needle as well to yeah. do the binding let me just yeah. pick that up it's very sharp but it is a particular needle made here in the UK uh, which is vital for binding books yes and the reason that I put one with every kit is because you have the instructions so if you've got some of the paper packs or indeed your own papers you can then make your own with yeah. another design yeah, so I love that now, 60% of the green has gone, to let you know if that's your choice. And in the blue, which is equally as beautiful, over a third of the stock has gone. So that's your blue, that's your green, just in case you're watching in black and white for any particular reason. <laughs> uh, £12.99, 117101 is your item number. Now, we do have some glue for you. What's so special about your glue? Well, um, it's specifically a book binding glue. Yep. Um, 
smooth stick and quick stick they do exactly what they say on the tub um, ideal for covering your boards with your papers also the quick stick with the tiny nozzle is ideal if you're sticking die cuts anything like that so it's not just for book binding yeah but it is specifically designed for that perfect and you get the spatula as well 50 percent of the stock has gone it's only 10 pounds and 98 pence that's why we've been so busy excellent value for money zero three one eight nine one is your item number and that is for your glue and your spatula as well now something else we've got for you which also proved very popular um, in the previous hour i know it's going to be popular in this hour it's a great collection of ephemera we've got all sorts in this haven't we yeah so you've got prints um, that go with all of the designs that we've seen you've also got vintage elements in there and um, the prints are done on different papers different weights um, and then you've got things like apertures vintage cards all sorts of things love that um we've also got i know we mentioned these in the early show but i really like these um if you place your acetate on that and then you could put a little um something underneath and it's like those <laughs> i'm going to go through the same thing again that's they were just called slides yeah, like they? A, yeah 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 science slides and things like that uh through your microscope that's it microscope not a looking glass 18 pounds and 99 pence one double four zero eight one is your item number if you want to go for that one uh, now we've got some digital downloads for you these are brilliant and the value for money is tremendous now you will be able to start using these today I know. Buy them now. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. And then today you can print them at home. That's what it is. It's a digital download. You can print them as many times as you like. As long as you're making something with it, please don't print and sell the papers. Three double five six double two is your item number six pounds and ninety nine pence. That gets you that brilliant midnight traveller. This is the lilac haze, another beautiful, if you love flowers, meadows and butterflies, you can see there are lots of different elements in there as well. And remember, you can just keep downloading these and using them again and again and again. £4.99 for that. The next one we've got for you is the Garden Traveller. We've got quite a few of these to choose from. Remember, these are going to be a digital download directly to your uh, laptops, computers, um, and if you've got... Can you put these down onto your tablets? Are they, yeah. are they compatible with the yeah, operating systems? Yeah, they're all JPEGs. Great, love that. Uh, £6.99, and, and that's for your Garden Traveller. 801721 is your item number. Next is your Garden Discoveries in the Blue. Love this one. Very um, botanical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, really like this one. £4.99, and and excellent value for money. Yet again, 167198. One more for you is your garden discoveries in the green and we'll take a look at this now beautiful butterfly on there four pounds and 99 pence you can make a lot of book covers with that uh, 608234 you can print it on fabric if your computer allows you to do so you could uh, print this on tissue paper and do some decoupage um, be fa fabulous four pounds and 99 pence 608234 all the details on the website for those any questions Please do email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Right then, our Janie. Right. What are you getting out of your box for this hour? <laughs> Let's get going with the lap book. So I've, in between shows, I did a bit of construction because I thought it would take too long to show the whole thing. So I've covered the boards. The instructions tell you in which order to place them in. So you can see that I've already put, so this is the main spine, um, front and back cover, and one flip out. And then I've got a smaller spine here and I'm just going to attach that to show you how I did it. And then we're going to start putting some of the bits and bobs inside. Now, is the grey board pre-cut or is it, it in one piece? Isn't it? It? It's, I've put all the um, measurements yeah. in the instructions for you. So and it's just a case of cutting them down. And how would we cut that? Um, knife, bread knife? <laughs> Not a butter knife. Not a um, butter knife. I always do it with um, a craft knife. Yeah. And I always suggest to people that they do it over a self-healing mat, not a glass mat. Oh, why? Um, so glass mats you've got less control over. Oh. So I tend to work over a glass mat if I'm doing things with paints and, and things like that. Um, but you've got a lot more control. Good idea. A, Great a... advice, Jamie. So all I've done here is you saw me put the bead of glue down through like we did on the book binding earlier and you need to make sure that you've got enough space here. Basically the space needs to be yeah. at least the depth of the board because it needs to hinge up. 
got you. So Work if you hinge, yeah. yeah, so if you stick it right up against it, that's not going to be able to move. Got okay. You. So I always just double check that before the glue grabs. Okay. So we'll do the same on this side. Uh, we've had an email in. Yeah. From Pauline. And we were talking about breakfast earlier on. Yeah. Janie, self-admission, <laughs> is not a morning person. Um, but she was in early today. And um, you've had your breakfast, and your breakfast was... <laughs> a mini roll. A mini roll, <laughs> a chocolate mini roll. But our Pauline's emailed in, and her breakfast was her homemade savoury waffle, but there's more, topped with a healthy fried egg, which means no oil, and mushrooms. Ooh. Well, that sounds better than my mini roll, doesn't it? Oh, and in, <laughs> the, do delivery? <laughs> and in the savoury waffles, fruit, wheat, cereal, egg, fat-free natural Greek yogurt, <laughs> and slow-cooked gammon. What in a waffle? <laughs> do you know what? I just waffled on then about the waffle. <laughs> wow. My. Yeah. Mini roll. That's a lot, that was a lot simpler, wasn't it? But not that as nice. Breakfast is like two weeks worth of nutrition. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, uh, Pauline has sent a picture. We'll, we'll see if we can show it later. Maybe we can just have a quick look at it in the studio. And you can see our reaction. <laughs> Thanks, Pauline, for sending that in. That's lovely. Oh. So, yeah, after, oh, you're going to make me hungry now. I'm going to have to go and have something proper to eat when I finish. Right, so um, that stuck down. Um, you don't want to be. I was going to say, you don't want to wiggle it too much. Wow, I actually did a wiggle then. Well, <laughs> just, just um, until just the, a little bit. Until the glue is dried. Yeah. Um, so what I previously did as well, um, oh. again, in the instructions, it tells you how long to cut a strip so that you've got a pen holder. Oh, yeah. Now, um, what I've done on the other ones is done it with the velvet that's on the spine but you've also got some other fabric in there as well so I thought I'd do it with that one just to oh, show the yeah, difference. The, the, vel the velvet looks lovely because you've got on the yeah. sample we've got here in the studio you've also done that over uh, the little glass jar so it yeah. just looks amazing. So Something that, like this actually you could just leave out um, yeah. you know on display because it looks so fantastic. Yeah so we're going to um, do the glass jars now and show you how they um, secure in. Um, you'll also see, different to the sample that you've held up, the papers in here are different. All the papers are in the kit, you just configure them how you want to. So I put the lighter ones here so you can see um, what I'm doing a bit clearer. So it tells you to cut two scrap pieces of board. And this is because we need to create a little shelf for the bottles to sit on. Oh. So as well as putting the strip over the top to secure them, they will just slide out so you need a little shelf and then i'm just going to use again a piece of scrap paper um to cover that and just pop that down so that's a good thing with things like this you can't just you know save your scraps and you can always make use of them so i'll just i'm just look i'm just looking on the sample here Oh, it's lovely. You've got little labels, yeah. uh, the one I've got in my hand. Um, you've, you've got little labels on here, and it says uh, underneath the bottles. I'll just hold this up slowly. There you go. Uh, so you've got, you've, got, you've got the bottles here, which are on the shelf that Janie was talking about. Um, and the, the, the shelf has got three little labels on there. So you can label them underneath. So I think you've got, what's that say? Standus. Stardust. Maggie <laughs> and Westies. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to put my glasses on and read it properly. <laughs> wishes, magic and stardust. Oh, yes, sorry. Stardust, <laughs> magic and wishes. Not, not Stan, Maggie and Westies. <laughs> no. <laughs> See what happens when you don't put your gigs on? Glasses, I mean, in the morning. <laughs> oh, dear. But that is that is just beautiful, and when I say leave it out, I mean something like this. You could it could be part of decoration in your lounge, you know, in your bedroom or somewhere like that. It's just wonderful. Again, it's the sort of thing you don't have to make it all in one go. No, you can gradually add to it. Um, when we're allowed to start travelling again properly, I'm going to make myself one which has just got like a little sketchbook in it oh. and my pencils and things oh. like that. So that when I do my um, 
daily kind of, you know, this is where I went and this is what I saw. Are Everything, you looking forward every... to doing that again, Jane? Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, we were saying earlier about, um, well, we, we mentioned that I went to um, a museum because that yeah. was one of the biggest things. I just wanted to get oh, out yeah. to museums yeah. again. Um, so I took a few days out, went oh. to a couple of museums, and actually my next craft store show is going to be based around really which um, museums, museums did you go to without mentioning well i don't know we can mention names sure we can well there was one i went to in london yes um, but there's also one in oxford which was amazing oh, really? absolutely amazing what kind of museum was it um, natural history oh um and i'm i'm actually lucky what is natural enough history is that like dinosaurs and things it's and everything plants? it's um just natural and yeah. history <laughs> yes Yes, literally everything that's natural <laughs> and has historical, and historical value. value. Yes, <laughs> clues in the name. You know, come on, we have to ask these questions. We can't all but, know um, everything. No, I was going to say I'm lucky enough that I am able to go back and do an archive visit for my design work. <gasps> so I'm going to go really? behind the scenes. No. Yeah. So Can I come with to, you. <laughs> you probably could. I would love. So oh, to help with design work. Only if I can go up one of those ladders that whizzes down. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm back. not taking you. I'm not taking you with I'd me. I'd love to. You know, it's like you stand and you woo, whizz down. You'd I'd be a liability, that. wouldn't you? <laughs> I would. I would. But I would. I'd love that. And I'd love to go shh to everybody. <laughs> But yeah, I think I've, I've done it once before in a museum in Bristol. And what, on the ladders? No, oh. an archive, is it? <laughs> wow, how amazing. Um, yeah, it is fascinating because most museums, we're getting mm. completely off track now, aren't we? Well, no, most so museums, about collecting things. most of their collection is behind the scenes. So the so majority, fish. I know, right? It's all about. The majority of, of what they house actually isn't on public view. Um, well, I'm, I'm not going to a museum again, then, if I can't see everything. <laughs> right, about. shall we get back to what I'm doing? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> so, um, all I've done is, again, in the instructions, it tells you the length of strip to cut. Okay. So you've got enough uh, room to go over all the bottles. Now, I've done this quickly. You'd spend a bit more time making sure that they, that they fit perfectly. So, literally, a dab of glue in between each bottle. So that will secure them in place. And then the shelf underneath just stops them from sliding out. Okay. You've got the little labels here. So these are sized down that you could put them on the bottles if you wanted to, or on the shelf. So we'll just these are good instructions. So you've got everything from cutting the board panels, covering the panels, the fabric spines, construction, decoration, mini glass bottles. The demo we we're just doing there. Uh, the butterfly specimen, the mini note, it's not a real butterfly, um, mini notebook and pocket, uh, the book plates, organiser ribbon, words, it's brilliant. And then you've got a website on there as well for more information. Uh, we are approaching, how much? 40% of the stock gone for your lap book, 643607. It's a great price and it is a fabulous, fabulous project to do because all the elements are there for you and you create something that's beautiful and inspiring and gets you all set up and ready to go and explore the world again isn't that lovely i love the added velvet in there as well it's beautiful 643607 is your item number uh, and remember when you make yours it might be a little bit different to this one uh, because you'll have your own touches that you add to it it's a beautiful color as well that lilac haze isn't it yeah, so because I put the pink velvet with it, I thought I almost need to call it Pink Haze, but I kept the original name yes. because um, of the digital kit and if people have yeah. got the book kit, that, oh, um, like that. So, so you realise it is the same designs. It's beautiful. So all I'm going to do now is, again, within the kit, you get printouts, and this is on cartridge paper, um, of pockets, and you've got wordings as well so again like i said this is where it becomes up to you so although i give you the instructions of how to make it where you place the pockets and the way you decorate it is up to you 
And you've got adventure, beauty, believe, create, daydream, dream, dreamer, explore, family, fantastic, fly, free, friends, fun, giggle. We all have that. <laughs> uh, grow, happiness, happy, imagine, joy, love, memories. There's lots on here. Possibilities, remember, seek, shine, sm I nearly said smell, <laughs> smile. Well, you do smell flowers, don't you? Uh, story, wonder, wish, and wonder. Oh, now, yes. Won wonder and wonder. Wonder and wonder. I wonder, wonder, I wonder, wonder in wonder, well, wonder I, I in wonder. wonder. I wonder in wonder sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> there is magic inside you. You've got joy, love, limit, limited edition. We are that, Janice. We are that. <laughs> Don't dream, <laughs> dream up. <laughs> no. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you've That's gone again, haven't you? <laughs> oh, and then you've got little descriptions of daydream, love and joy. Would you like at home to know what the um, description of joy is? Joy, feelings of great happiness or pleasure, especially of an elevated or spiritual kind, to delight in something. I panicked there halfway. Did you notice? <laughs> Suddenly had a sense of panic, uh, but it's nothing to worry about. Um, they're lovely and they're all on there. They're fantastic. <laughs> so the idea that I had was because you've got all the small words here. Yep. And you've got um, a little pocket. So I thought, what about cutting out all the words individually? Yeah. You put them in the pocket and yeah. then each day you pick a word and then you do something to the theme or keep a record of it how like for example smile exactly smile so um, maybe that day there's magic inside you <laughs> maybe for smile janice <laughs> oh, just we, lovely we would drop down how many times we've made each other smile today <laughs> we would we would <laughs> that's what it's all about though isn't it exactly you can't take life too seriously can you janice no you can't I didn't mean you specifically there. <laughs> like, you just can't take life seriously. <laughs> well, it's true. Almost well, all reports said the same. <laughs> My school reports always said I talk too much. Nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'm just going to oh, do this I just one need to tell we'll people on. at home about the lucky dim... Uh, lucky... <laughs> <laughs> lucky dip... Um, pack... Oh, it's sold out. Sorry. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't really know. I don't need to worry about it or, or get the pronunciation wrong. It's gone. It's sold out. Right, so there's your little pocket. Pocket in a pocket. Pocket in a pocket, I like yeah. that. So, yeah, it shows you how you can then gradually build it up. You've got lots of different elements in here. So you've got little mini tags you can decorate. You also have... So, like, on the book that we did earlier, yeah. you see... Actually, while I'm on this page of it, um, when I said about putting these onto this page, it's because the spines are of the right depth that that then, when it folds over, it encloses it. Okay. That flips back on itself and it keeps it all nice and safe. But you've got a little book plate, silver one this time, to put on the front, or you could, say, put a butterfly in there and use that on the front. So, again, that choice is yours. So you could have that on the front with a decoration and this one on the inside somewhere. Yeah, I like Entirely that. Entirely up to you. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you the, you know, the basics of construction. Brilliant. Isn't that fabulous? Again, you've got the full instructions that come with the kit and you've got everything you need in the kit. You just need, I guess, the glue to go yes. with that. And we do have some yeah. fantastic glue from Janie available for you as well. 643607 is your item number and you make that wonderful uh, lap book there. Right, let's remind you of everything that we've got on the show. Let's start with the treasure albums. These are wonderful. They really are. Even if you don't want to put anything else in them apart from the ephemera and the decorative items that you've got included in your kits, that's fine. But if you want to add more, then you've got the pages to write something on. I think when you get these home, you'll take a look at all the different vintage papers that you have and you might see something that sparks a memory in you. You might see something perhaps from a book that you used to look at when you were younger or maybe a book or something similar that your mum or your grandma has 
got now. It's a wonderful way of just sitting down and just going through and just bringing up those memories for you. But then you've got a project to bring them all together. £24.99. You've got a choice. You've got a choice in here. So uh, the first one, I'm going to pick this one up and show you. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the most popular, actually. This is the Midnight Traveller. You also get the cabochon and the frame that we have on the front there. You this didn't is a, do it. Cabochon. Cabochon. You get the cabochon. <laughs> Not on the front. <laughs> with the frame. You also get some paint as well, which is mixed with gesso, so you can start painting that. I love this midnight one. It, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. And like I said before, you get the choice that you can have the dark on the cover or in the inside because you've got the, the light and the dark images. So again, that choice is, is yours. I love the way that the pages, you can see there that page has been torn, but then you've got the little items on the side. And there's not a lot of ink or anything else on the pages. No. What you've got just makes them really stand out and look beautiful. What I literally did was I sat down and I cut out all the, all the printed elements. Yep. Um, and then just went through all the pages to kind of even it out. Now, when you do it yourself, you'll probably do it in stages. Okay. So, you know, if you're, if you're writing in it as a journal or whatever, you can decorate pages as you go. But I just wanted to show it evenly through the book, and I didn't use everything in the kit. Wow, so you've still got something left yeah. over yeah. to create more projects with. You even get the rings as well. Uh, and that's going to be probably one of the easiest constructed books yeah. and notebooks and journals that you've made 465984 that's your first option the other option that we've got for you is the garden traveler if you love gardening if you like to go out and see wildlife and collecting different flowers and things like that different pickings then this could be your book that you take with you your journal where have you been where what which walks did you go on how far did you go uh, maybe if you find if you're lucky enough to find a four-leaf clover uh, Clover, yeah, put that in the book. I found two, you know, the other year. found two of them in the same place. Amazing. Um, and then you open this and you can see more. So you can choose to design the pages like this or, of course, you can add more or less to the pages as you go through. So those are your two options, the Garden Traveller and the Midnight Traveller, $24.99. Everything's included um, and that is going to be a beautiful gift for yourself or for someone else. Right, the lap book that uh, Janie was demonstrating, we are now half the stock gone. So the full complete kit is here. All you'll need is some glue, but again, we've got the glue. Hold your horses. We'll bring that up in a few moments' time to show you if you want to go for some of that. But you can make this beautiful lap book, and this is where it opens up, and you just open it up again, full of inspiration, full of ideas, and you can still add different items to your lap book as well, whether it be collecting specimens from outside maybe plants maybe some seeds in there or maybe you just want to add some notes you can add a little notebook in there um, I think that is really beautiful look at that you've got a little notebook just there made and created 643607 is your item number 16 pounds and 99 pence and remember the full instructions come included with that 643607 is your item number now something that proved to be very very busy earlier on today and it's a great price and a great little project to put together. You will actually be binding your own book. It might be the first time you've done this, but with the instructions, again, that are included, it's going to be very, very easy to go through it step by step. We had a show earlier on today at 7 a.m. This was included in the demonstration, so you can watch the show again. Um, and in this, you get your book binding needle. You get all of the different elements, so you can start to build and create Green option is 80% of the stock gone. That's the one I've got in my hand here. So that's your green option. It will make three notebooks that you can see in there. You'll actually be making those from scratch. The paper's included. Beautiful paper as well, so you can start stamping on there, writing on there, sketching on there, and drawing on there. £12.99, that's for the green option. Then you've got the blue option. Love the, I love Janie. I love all the dangly bits. You've got to have a side. good dangle. You, do you know what? You've got to. You've got to. <laughs> and what's nice is that you get to show off your dangly bits <laughs> wherever you are. It doesn't matter where you are. Get your book out. Show off your dangly bits. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, do be careful because some of your dangly bits might make a bit of noise. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, then, you know, if you put beads on there, they jingle jangle. Why I'm to explain myself, <laughs> um, but uh, this is your blue option, um, and again, that will make you your three books absolutely beautiful. One one seven one zero one is your item number. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. Now, I'd like to mention Janie's glue. It's 
rather nice glue, isn't it? And it's a it special is. formula. Yeah, that you find together. Yeah, yeah, for book binding. But yeah. you can use this for other projects. So, what makes it special for book binding? Well, because it's a low water content, it's a quick grab, and it will give you that smooth stick, which is why yeah. I called it that. Um, you'll you'll probably know yourself when you've been doing different projects. If you use the wrong glue, the paper's going to wrinkle. Yeah. It's you know you don't get that professional finish. This is very high quality book binding glue yeah it certainly is and it's only 10 pounds and 98 pence zero three one eight nine one is your item number uh pop that into your basket and finally um a bit of ephemera for you ephemera what a word that is Where it's it a lovely from? word it is isn't it ephemera it basically just means small items of What's the description? Stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Small <laughs> interesting items of vintage, stuff. Interesting. Well, it's, it's like ephemera could be like throwaway things. So it could be like vintage tickets. Uh, okay. It's designed as ephemera. It's not long lasting, but it's it's lots of little items. Ah, things that exist or are used for a short period of time. Apparently. There we go. Um, beautiful. Again, when you get this home, go through it. Have a look at all the elements you're getting in there. Real vintage, beautiful vibe to this. Eighteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. One four four zero eight one is your item number. Um, I think that is absolutely fantastic. So why don't you treat yourself to a couple? Because then you've got lots and lots and lots of different pieces of ephemera to go through and enjoy when you get them home. One four four zero eight one is your item number. Now, if you head to the website, that's where you can see everything that we've got for you on the show, including those digital downloads as well. They are excellent value for money. Um, have a look at the five-star reviews for the glue and have a look at all the different items that you could collect. Great prices as well. Uh, we've also got some stamps, some wildflowers, the DL stamp range there. You get a set of 14 stamps in total. Or why don't you go for Janie's original DL stamp set? I don't know why I had difficulty saying that. DL, <laughs> uh, DL stamp set. Um, that's beautiful with the lace detail and then you've got your uh, filigree, your fancy filigree, uh, your lace elements in there as well. Beautiful. And let's have a look at the wildflowers whilst we're there. Oh, yeah. And all of those are hand-drawn. Even the lace elements, they're all hand-drawn. By you? Yes. I don't know why I was so surprised. No, then. by you. Yes, I know, it's by, by me. you. <laughs> yes. By you? <laughs> Didn't mean it to sound in like that. In the old-fashioned way, pen on paper. But in the old-fashioned <laughs> yes. way. Oh. <laughs> and when you when you draw, I've got, I've got some here. I don't, have, have I got some black card to show you? No, I haven't got any black card. So I've got... Um, let me, I, do, yeah, I do good. have to, I've got the front cover. I just wanted to show you the stamps, really. But there's the front cover. Um, you know when Is you draw these, um, Janie, do you go sort of out in the field and you get inspiration? Yeah, so when it comes to, like, wildflowers and seed heads, things like that, yes. I've got a big sketchbook full. So when I take the dogs out, I might pick different wild, not wild flowers, but, yeah. like, seed heads, grasses and things like that, come back and draw them. So then I've got a whole sketchbook. Oh. Um, that I can dip into. I love that because they're very organic, aren't they? They're, they're yeah. very much as they are out yeah. in the wild. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. What a lovely hobby as well to have. £12.99. pence. These stamps could be yours. 060664 is your item number. And they are clear. Well, you can't see them, but anyway. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. No, you no, still can't see them. No, that didn't do it, no. Anyway. <laughs> That's what you get. Uh, right, <laughs> zero six zero six six four. Um, okay, Jenny, what we're having a look at next? Right. Okay, so I've I've picked a few items from the ephemera kit. Okay. Um, just to give you an idea of the sort of things that you can do, and I know that you were drawn to kind of like the the apertures, like the faux slides. So I thought we'll do something with those. Now, Janey, all the elements in the ephemera kit are they all going to be the same, or they're going to vary? Um, the the items that will vary are like the book pages. So yep. like this one. Um, this is from a 1909 um, ledger, wow. so you'll have different days. So things like that will vary. Any book pages, yeah. they'll be from the same books. I'm just thinking of what pages people want will to buy. You see, they'll get yeah. different elements yeah. and some so of the your, same elements. Your printed elements will be the same. Yeah. Um, but any originals, they will vary. Oh, how exciting! Yeah. So what I'm going to do first is um, there's a little bit of acetate in the kit and I'm going to just cut it down to cover the window so you can use these separately or you can sandwich them together so that you can view it from both sides yes because um, you could put it in a journal so say you had it in a journal and you've got a bit of washi tape and then it would flip that yeah. sort of thing would look really cool 
So I'm just going to stick the acetate down. A bit too much glue there, but do you remember doing that science where I used to put something in between the two glass, squish it, and then it used to go under the microscope? Yes, it's all that sort of thing. There's another museum in going back to museums in London that I've not been to for a couple of years, and it's got a whole wall of like microscope slides. Really? That was difficult to say. <laughs> is, it, is it the science museum? No, it's oh. in the it's a it's a zoology museum. Oh, do you know so what? I you may not there. you might is it not near be a square? Keen I can't remember that. <laughs> well, they're all near squares. It could be a square or anything. Um. But yeah, so and it's all places like that that I get inspiration wow, from. Wow, yeah. So I'm just going to find which butterfly I want in the aperture. Let's go with that one, I think. So I'm going to... This is printed on um, vellum. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a little sticker out of it. So in the kit, you've also got your double-sided self-adhesive sheet so let's take one side off and place the butterfly down like that just burnish it down and then I'm just going to quickly fussy cut around is that a red admiral butterfly? Uh, yes I think it is it's a shame you only live for a couple of days, a week at the most. I rescued one um, yesterday, actually. There was one caught Aww. behind the blind in my kitchen. Aww. So I managed to carefully rescue it and release it. So yeah, I was very happy with myself. Yeah, you do have to be careful <laughs> because they've got powder on their wings. Yes. So you've got to yeah, make so you, sure you, you don't touch you, them. Yeah not touch, the, yeah, not touch this side of the wings, yeah. It's, it's the powder that stops the butterfly from flying properly and will damage it. It doesn't do anything to you as a person. Yeah, no, it just... Um, it's bad for the butterfly. Bad for the butterfly, yeah. So I'm just going to stick that down on there. Burnish it down. So what you can also do, if you've got some alcohol inks, I've done it before, where you, if you stain the acetate with alcohol inks, it really makes it look like an old slide. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like so, some um, vintage yellow or something. Yeah, maybe or a, yeah. a brown or a grey, yeah. like a mixture. Yeah. So what I've done before is had a sheet of acetate and kind of dot dot yeah. it down, and then you can cut it out and, and use idea. it for what you want. Right. So I'm going to now stick these two together. So is it like I said, you can view them from either side. But if you were sticking this straight into your project, then obviously you can use this as two different samples I just want I guess if you did find some flowers like a four-leaf clover or yep. a leaf or something you could do what you're doing now but put the leaf or the little flower you could that would be, and that would be nice what I've done before is if you've got a laminator yeah um, you can put like dried flowers or petals things like that yeah. in between your laminator That's sheets put it through your laminator and then it preserves it. I think that would be nice, especially yeah. if you've been on a certain walk, you know, and you've had a really nice day. That could be a memento or memory of that particular day. So I'm just going to put um, some walnut stain around the outside. I use walnut stain for everything. It just... <laughs> it's a great colour, isn't it? It is, yeah. I know some people use... Um, oh, what's the other one? The vintage... Uh, vintage photos? Walnut yeah. Stain. Yeah, I think it is. Crackling but... fire pit. Oh, there's, <laughs> all, there's, all yeah, kinds there's, of, there's all kinds of, yeah. one, that's a red, isn't it? All kinds of wonderful names. But yeah, I find the, the walnut stain for me is, that's my go-to. So we're going to decorate the slide up a little bit as well. So I'm just going to snip away at some of the papers and almost do like a little collage on there. I'm going to use some of the doily as well. And let's get a bit of ink on that one. Good old fashioned doily, and they're great. Yeah, paper doilies I love in, um, in crafting. Because yeah. you can just, like this, you just use like little samples of it. In actual fact, I'm going to... Doily, there's another great word. <laughs> doily. Well, it, 
Who? There, there are some things, aren't there? And you think, why are they called that? Like, what? Oh, look at this piece of paper. Let's call it a doily. <laughs> oh, it's great. Sometimes the more you say a word, the funnier it gets. Yeah. Doily. <laughs> um, I'm then going to do a little bit of stamping on here. You can see I don't often clean my stamps. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Is that a preference? Do you have to clean your stamps? You don't have to, but no. I, I am a messy worker. So, um, right, which one should we go for? This one, I think. I'm going to do that in um, the walnut stain as well. So, it's, it's not like a focal stamp. It's just to create a little bit of interest on there. Like that. Um, shall we put another one? Let's have something else on here as well. Um, and this is from the Wildflower with... yeah. um, stamp range. They are lovely, aren't they? So yeah, got... I, I noticed that on the website they called it Wildflowers. I've called it Flower Wild, and I think you they have thought called maybe I made a mistake wild. and they corrected me. <laughs> yeah, no, you have called it Flower Wild. Flower yeah, wild. But I read yeah. it as Wildflowers. Isn't that funny? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the same thing. Um, Oh, pen to paper range. That's why you said pen to paper. Yeah, very good. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can guess what they all are. I can see. That's the thing. I don't parsley. know the names of them. I just, I just know what I like. Cow parsley's in there. Then you've got. That looks like that parsley plant, but it's not parsley. So I'm sure you know what I mean if you're into botanicals. <laughs> and then I, I know. Oh, I. I know that one. That turns brown very quickly. Yeah, you get um, that on the roadside yeah, a lot. Yeah, it goes like that one there. I can't remember what it's called. Normally, lots on the That's roadside. That's the one it turns almost like a red, a deep yeah. red brown. And yeah. actually, it's really good if you do collect that because that makes nice sort of texture on your projects because of the, the seeds on there. Um, that is... Is that a dandelion clock? It's not, is it? No, it's, it's in, not. It's, isn't it it's, interesting, though? We all know these wildflowers from walking <laughs> around, but we really ought to take time to, to learn the names, but we know them instantly and recognisably. Right, so on this side, I have used lace elements. So literally just to create texture. Oh, that's lovely. But I think it looks uh, really cool. Very nice. Should I turn it around that way? That'd be yeah, easier. Look at that. It? That is nice. And I that's like that. the back of the butterfly, but because it's stamped or um, it's printed on vellum, obviously yeah. you can see it from both sides. Yeah. Very good. So the only thing I'm going to do now, um, a lot of people will have my museum label stamp set, which should be on the website, um, and I'm just going to using another little bit. Let's go for a corner bit here. And we'll put, um, again, in the brown, I think. Would you like to be a designer for, like, a film set or a theatre that does an oldie worldy vintage-style museum play? Um, that would be cool. I have actually done a theatre set for, you? you know, Melissa from Simply Vintage. Yes. So she works in the theatre. Yeah when able and she does um, a Christmas production normally yeah so I went along oh, a couple of years ago now because we couldn't do it last year obviously because of regulations yeah. um, and I painted a lot of the set Did you? Um, yeah so I've done murals and and things like that so wow. yeah that's really cool but um, yeah the the only trouble with um, doing like the historical stuff yeah. obviously you have to know your history and it has to be accurate whereas I'm more like I know what I like, yes. and I'll mix things up, and yes. it doesn't have to be accurate. I yes. just need to like it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'd have people complaining, going, well, that, that wouldn't be accurate for the time. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that one on there. Very simple. But that's just an example of one thing you can do with the ephemera kit. Look at that. And can you pick that up and show that to the camera again? Yes. Yeah. Oh, who'd have just it's an amazing how you can make something look like a hundred years old i mean i yeah. do it to myself every day <laughs> but it's just that is fabulous 
Fabulous. Yeah, I mean, I'm only 19, but make yourself look 45 <laughs> every day. Do you know what's nice is when you sit back and you look at that, when you look at what you've done, what you've created, it really is something special, isn't it? Uh, now, the ephemera bundle, that's what we've just been using. Let's just show you that because we're, we're getting quite busy, the ephemera bundle. Um, and there's lots of different items in there and elements that you can put together. You can make it grungy and if you want to... There's nothing stopping you making the old vintage style ephemera into something quite modern and using bright colours. Why don't you give that a go and make it technicolour? Yeah. In a, yeah, in a sense. Do anything you want. Yeah, yeah, you certainly can. £18.99, 144081 is your item number. I know you're going to love that. Now, the treasure albums that we've got for you, the Midnight Treasure and the Garden Treasure, um, we are busy for both of them. It's a full kit to make those wonderful journals, and you have the um, rings that go with that. You've got some lovely jangly bits, some ribbons, and some ephemera to go with that, including some gesso paint, which is mixed with acrylic or acrylic paint mixed with gesso, so that you can complete that and make those albums. Your choice is the Midnight traveler which is gorgeous those darker elements really like that proved to be very popular and your other option is the garden traveler do you know what i equally like this i really do um now the garden traveler is getting very very popular again you get the cabochon and you get everything <laughs> and uh, all of your um items to build that and create that so you don't need any glue or anything like that or you do need glue to stick things into the papers uh, £24.99, 465984 is your item number. Uh, right, Janie, we've got seven minutes left. Okay, yeah, I realised the time, which is why I just started cutting before you <laughs> before you came back to me. Okay. So using, Are we back with the ephemera bundle? Yeah, using the ephemera again. Um, right, let me, let me explain what I'm doing. So you get two sheets of a matchbox yes. template. Yes. What are you doing? I'm just looking at your cabochon. I see if it was um, magnifying. And it is, isn't it? Isn't it, it is slightly, yes. Yeah. Like, I've got it with it. I was magnifying my eyes. Sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry, this sorry. This is why sorry. I get distracted, you see, because I've only been back you three hours. the corner of my eye. Sorry. Like, what is she doing? So, okay. Seven minutes left, that's Match all, and then you're free to go. Matchbox template, you get two of these printed on a, on a heavyweight card. Yeah. Okay? So I've pre-cut it. It basically folds in on itself just with a couple of dabs of glue okay. to make yourself a nice little matchbox. So um, it comes with the, the two extra bits as well. It so that you can put one in the base to cover it. And then you've got one for the top. So should you want to decorate this separately, it just sticks on Are the top. Are you going to put a bug in there? I am. Oh. But not a, not an eight-legged Take me back to my childhood. Beastie. What? No, I can't tell you. But bugs are beautiful. They are beautiful. No, they are beautiful. They are be Bugs are beautiful. And I didn't realise. I know, obviously, there are millions, billions of insects in the world. Yeah, thanks for that. They're everywhere, Janice. Yes, thanks for that too. <laughs> but what I didn't realise is they make up more than 75% of known species in the world. Wow. Well, do you know, I read somewhere, and I don't know whether this is correct. <laughs> Where did you worms, read it? <laughs> if all worms disappeared, we would actually start to fail and die as a human race in about three months. Yeah, because they control the earth, don't yep. they? Yeah. Isn't that an amazing thing? The earthworm, you see? The humble earthworm. There you go. So, I've <laughs> see, you're always learning with us, aren't you? It was true. <laughs> I found a couple of earthworms when I was a child, and I thought they died because they were above the soil, so I buried them. And I couldn't work out why they weren't there when I went back and took them up. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry, I'll show up now, I promise. Right, so what I've done... If I had more time, I would probably put something like glossy accents okay. on the beetle. Um, and I'm just going to... I'm doing this all a little bit back to front, but I know that I haven't got much time, so I'm just kind of... Oh, just hurrying a little bit. So... You've got four minutes. You're okay, Jim. Okay. Saying that, see, I've cut through that, but no matter. We shall disguise it. So let's go around the outside. Walnut stain again? Of course. 
and actually I'm going to put it onto the matchbox as well on the edges nice and there we go so I'm going to stick this on the top like that and I might put another another beetle let's go for a, the red one and again all these prints are in the ephemera kit what's interesting when you get these papers home as well if you've got access to the internet you could always do a little bit of research and find out what the beetles are where they came from i mean well, I know you, you might put liverpool but these have some of the well latin names i think it is yes found in liverpool <laughs> I'm actually going to um, do my own specimen of a peacock butterfly because I yeah. found one in my studio, yeah. no longer with us, Aww. that looks perfect. So I'm going to... You're um, going to design for a dead butterfly? No, I'm going to make a proper specimen from him Aww. and put like the label of where I live and, and when it was sort of thing. And I thought then... You know, he didn't live in vain, did he? Oh, <laughs> you're going to stuff it? You don't stuff a butterfly. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> oh, bless. So I'm just going to put that one on the top there. How long have we got? You've got two minutes left. That two looks striking, left. actually, that red, doesn't it? Yeah, it, that, that, that's why I went with that one. But like I said, this one would look a lot nicer if you um, put glossy accents. Ooh, that, um, or if you had like some holographic embossing powder over the top of the beetle would look really cool. Yes. Oh, so what about your cabochon? <laughs> yes. I tell you, you'd get a surprise <laughs> opening the box then, wouldn't you? You would. But it's just, I mean, that is really simple. Uh, I would normally do more on there, but obviously time is of that, a factor. That is brilliant. Um, but, you know, you could keep lots of, lots of different things Do you know what? There, it would make a really cool alternative advent calendar. Yes, you could make lots of them. You could, and, yeah. Bugs in but them. you only get two in this kit. You do. Them. You do. Yeah. That that means you need to buy more kits. Yes. Or yes. you could, if you if you cut around it, because this is on board. Yep. You could then use that as a template to could then. Could do that? Yeah. So, cut that one out because it's on a on a thick yeah. card. Use that as a template, and then you could cut wow. around and is you, that okay you would to need do? yeah you would need to back this with a with yeah. a thicker yeah. um, board obviously but yeah then you're just making more out what of your great, kit aren't you what a great idea and very generous as well uh Janie talking of generous thank you for your time today and thank you no thank you it's been entertaining it has indeed it's always a pleasure <laughs> never a chore you know that I love working with you so tremendously talented and always brings the best ephemera when it comes to vintage it really is uh, when are you back do you know uh, 20th of September, I think it 20th is. 20th of September. Uh, n actually, not that far away, is it? No, I need to get designing. Yeah, you certainly do. Go on some of your walks and start yeah. picking your flowers. Museum trips. And yeah. Museum trips, yes. Yeah. Um, great to see you. See you again on the 20th. Um, but don't go anywhere because we do have more coming up. You can head to the website and see all of these wonderful kits that are still available for you. And you can still buy after the hours. Go and tell your friends and have a look at the website. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. <laughs>I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just $19.99 a month, 
You will benefit from Selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. Hello and welcome. You know when you start shows and you think, what have I forgot? I don't know what it is. It feels like something sensible. My mic's there, my earpiece is there. Our Derek's there. Hello. Hello. So be right. Jack's over there. Hello, our Jack. I've got Ross in me. I don't know, Jimmy. Hello. <gasps> hey, Jimmy doing the voice of God. You can tell who's leaving tomorrow, can't you? Um, now, <laughs> um, we've got a lovely show coming up. It is the Fabulous Lessia Zagada. Um, what an amazing artist she is. I adore her stamps and the samples, the finished samples she sends in are divine. Um, so please sit back, enjoy. If you've already got some of these stamps, we would love to see your photographs. You know I love seeing um, your creations. So please, if you've got any Alessia's uh, designs, please do send in photographs of what you've created with them. Now, we'll get down the counter for you. Um, it is a big old counter, so I will be as quick as possible however have a look on the website because we've got this afternoon show different products so we have got a lot of products i mean there's tons um, and they're beautiful they're absolutely beautiful but yeah there's so so many so please do have a perusal on the website see what you fancy see what you need to add to your stash um, now they are uh, coming from abroad of course um, so they're going to be dispatched from the 27th for you so not long to wait it's my little nephew's birthday is the 27th I know he's it's the 27th Look, I'm now I'm going to give you all the info I'll get down the counter quick she says and off she goes so my, my little nephew's 27th then me answers is the 30th, um, I'm the 31st and my mum's the 1st of September. Fancy that, eh? All crammed up. Oh, hold on a minute. So I, Ross, what was that? Aunt's is the 7th, mum's the 8th and yours is the 9th. Fancy that. Oh, and Jimmy's sister's... <laughs> Get this, it's all the birthdays. Woof. Email in. Uh, is it your birthday around then? It'd be lovely because we're all sharing. Anyway, bless you as a garden. Let's get on because this is beautiful. Uh, the gorgeous butterfly stamp. Now, I love this stamp. It's beautiful. Uh, the detail in it is just exquisite. It's a lovely size stamp as well. Um, and really easy to cut out if you so want to, but it's got lovely detail on those wings. Um, as ever, Lessie's stamps are super fine. So you can see all the lovely, uh, the shading that's done with the little pointillism. You get that. You get that result. You get that design. Let me show you what Lessie has done with this because as ever, look at Lessie's work. I mean, how ridiculously amazing is that? 
Isn't she good? She's so talented. Again, I always urge you to have a look at her Instagram because she does um, give teaching on how to actually um, do the colouring in. I absolutely cannot do it. Well, I haven't, I, I'm not saying I can't because you should never say you can't, but my colouring in doesn't look like that. But it is absolutely amazing. Uh, get ahead as well because some of the stamps that we've got on there we have got on the show. So that's your first one. That is your beautiful butterfly. 235952. Um, the next one that we've got and we've got a section of all the lovely bugs and butterflies. This is gorgeous. Now, something else that Lesia brings us a lot is the beautiful uh, sacred geometry, um, you know, and, and those wonderful sort of um, designs. And oh, I love these. I love that she's combined it with a beautiful stag beetle. That is just majestic. Absolutely fabulous and different. And I think that's another thing that Lesia does. She really, really brings us incredibly different stamps. Isn't that so stunning? Only $9.99. Again, another beautiful stamp, good size stamp, and the quality and um, the uh, quality of that design is amazing. The the simple the oh what's my word? The uh, fineness of the line. Uh, 153663 is your item number. Our oh, lovely stag beetle. I'm already busy for the flying beetle. I'm not surprised actually because it's really different, and I think that's what I love about Leslie's designs. They're different. Now, these three are stunning. So, your flying beetle stamp. Now, look. Oh, sorry, sorry. Details are changing. Look at the moth. So, you've got that incredible moth. You've got the beautiful butterfly, which is just gorgeous with that script background. And then, I love him. Um, the Now, I think he will be... Ah, he's the large... Kakeda. Kakeda. Is that how you say it? Oh. I, I looked at Derek. <laughs> Derek's face absolutely said, I'm not too sure. Not a clue. How funny. I looked at you thinking, you know, you were, you were my fonts of all knowledge then, Derek. You failed on my fonts. Sorry. Um, we don't know. So I'll say, kick it. Um, now, again, how amazing are these images? The colouring in, look at those colours. Um, now, that stamp that's on there in the background, we have got that in the second hour. So get ahead for that if you'd like that. It's beautiful. The butterfly is just divine. And it works with so many other designs. And then, of course, the large cocada. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And that other stamp that's behind the, um, the beautiful moth there, we have got that on the show as well. Um, if you'd love this bundle, only £15 and 97 pence. Absolutely adore them. 187586 is your item number. Now, next we've got for you. Um, and again, you can do so much with these. Again, beautiful little bugs. So, the, our first one, you've got your three little beetles. And they're just magnificent. So, our three fellow beetles. Um, again, you've got, I love that. Fellows. Hello, fellow. Um, so, you've got all the detail in there. This stamp beautifully so you will get all that wonderful detail again all the gorgeous foliage that you see your flower uh, behind it you've got um i think i've put that on this hour actually you've got that lovely geometry behind it the sacred geometry behind it all of those are on the show as is um the skull there as well that's on the show stunning Absolutely stunning. Now, if you do like this collection, um, and you can see the detail, um, our wonderful fellows and the dragonfly, only £11.98. 5713488 is your item number. Now, next we have got for you, and this is beautiful, actually, because it's one of those that you'll use for your backgrounds. It's one of those that you'll build up uh, your layers with these. It's these are crackers because they're not the kind of ones that you'd... You know, we normally go for fancy and fussy stamps and our main features, but you want your backgrounds. You want to build these up. That's where these will really come in. Um, the woodcut is beautiful, and it's the detail of that. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. And then the foliage. That is beautiful, the lotus. What did you think that were? <laughs> Ross thought it were a brain. <laughs> Might be just a little wee one. Um, <laughs> that's our Ross's brain. Um, now, <laughs> 
It is little. Don't worry. Um, so you've got, I know, I'm not saying that at all. It isn't. It's very clever. Um, so you can see how gorgeous is that stamp. That is absolutely wonderful. And these are your, they're your essentials. They're your building blocks. So the thing that are going to build up your scene. You know, we can't just have feature images like that beautiful rabbit, which we have got in the second hour, by the way. We can't just have the main features. We need our building blocks. And these are, yeah, a must have. Now, only £12.48. That's 308765, your item number. Um, Next we've got for you, and yeah, these are definitely must-haves. Again, it's about that, um, the delicacy. I mean, does that not look like real grass? It's just so fine and beautiful. Um, again, the delicacy of these is just incredible. And you can build up so many beautiful scenes with these. It's just as I was saying, these are your building blocks. These are the ones you have to have within the collection because they, they make up the whole collection. Um, I mean, the rabbit, you can see the grass on there, obviously beautifully colored in. Um, with this one, and we've shown you that, but again, the grasses, the foliage there, all coming into their own. And then, of course, you have got the beautiful leaves as well. It all makes sense. It all works together. Um, absolutely essential. I love the grasses. That's absolutely my favourite. And then the beautiful dandelion. I love the dandelion. I wonder, I mean, who decided a dandelion were a weed? Because they are just so pretty. Especially where you get the, you know, the, the clocks at the end. They're fabulous. Uh, now, if you do want these three stamps, um, only £18.47. That's 577079. Ah! That one's a little buttercup. I didn't realise that were a little buttercup. How fabulous. I love little buttercups. What, what, what? The sample... Do ah! No, it doesn't. That's a stamp. That's me, innit? Um, I'll put that one there instead. Ta-da! All sorted. All sorted. Next, we've got for you... Now... This is another absolute essential one because you are, the dandelion was meant to be here, uh, because you've got your script. Now, it's another one, you're building up your blocks, you're building up your layers, you're building up uh, your scenes with this one. And it's a cracker. I really like the wonderful, um, the, the skull there. I know it's one of those images, it's, oh, did I tell you about my dogs this morning? They found something a bit grim. I know, oh, my dogs. Oh, again. Oh, gosh, Jimmy, they're grim sometimes. <laughs> oh, my Lola. It was like she wouldn't, she would, oh, it were a little deer this morning. Oh, oh, Lola. Anyway, oh, my dogs. So, um, you've got the, uh, you've got the school, you've got the lovely kind of diamond, you've got the script there, and then you've got the crackle background. These are cracking, <laughs> crackle background, um, because they're a must have. Because, again, I keep saying it, but they're your building blocks. They're the thing that obviously, um, allow you to create your backgrounds. They allow you to, to make the feature image pop. And at £25.46, brilliant price, unless, of course, you are a Freedom member. If you're a Freedom member, only £22.91. That is 347211, your item number for those. Um, and again, yeah, must-haves. Now... Here's my favourite favourites. Must be said, um, they are, I love these stamps. They are amazing. So what you've got here, the incredible rosette and then the uh, beautiful triangle sun. That is exquisite. Absolutely, yeah, crystal maze. It's got that kind of look to it. Honestly, these are beautiful. And that one, the, the rosette is sensational. Really, really phenomenal stamps. Um, the thing is with these, again, you can do so much with them. I mean, um, that one, actually, that's one of the um, ones I did a little while ago because it's beautiful for pattern building. I love these stamps for creating incredible backgrounds and so easy. Just stamping over a background and they look phenomenal. Um, how Lessia uses them, however, you can see she's used it right in the background. So that rosette, you can hardly see, but it's there. You know, she's building, it's one of her building blocks. I mean, that that flower, that poppy, that's coming up in the second hour and that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, these definitely my favourite favourites. This one and my next one. Um, £16.00. 
48 is your price. Brand new today is that bundle. Um, 586602. Last but by no means least for this hour. And this is another one of my favourites. Oh, I love this stamp. Um, and I've used this a few times. It's one of those you never, ever get uh, bored of these stamps. Um, this is the Rumbus Geometry stamp. And yeah, it's cool. They're just cool. Um, I love the way Leslie has used it there with the thistle. The thistle will be coming up in the next hour, but that rhombus is fabulous. And again, amazing for pattern building. Uh, 540-229 is your item number. If you'd love to get hold of that, absolutely fabulous. Now, um, please check the website out because they're all available. We've got some images. Yay. Um, so this is from Raina, did you say? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my swain has, she, she said, I hope your swain has subsided. Only just, Raina, only just, but I'm there now. I feel like I'm back on solid ground. Thank you very much. I tell you what, it took me forever. Um, she said, I'm a fan of this brand, this stamp so well. Um, and she said, she said what? Sick of her. Right, I'm going to attempt to remember that. Do you know what? Every time we've had them on, I, I should know it by now, but I'm, I'm terrible. I've got the memory of a dead slug. Uh, that is beautiful. And, yeah, I love the little jars that, um, that the wonderful Lessia does because you can do so much with them. But that is absolutely lovely. Thank you so much, Raina. A beautiful, beautiful image there. Um, yeah, keep those images coming in. I love hearing from you. It's always really nice. So please um, do keep your emails coming in as well right let's start first of all with a background so I'm going to I'm um, what did I do my original one two four six seven seven and a half I think I did it so seven and a half so I'm gonna do it about seven and a half like so and then I don't know why I didn't cut this because I got everything else ready but the card. Um, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, good old background. Um, I'm going to use different colours to the one I've already prepped just so you can see a different variation. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go on with a little bit of shaded lilac. I've got a colour there. Oh, oh I might not have. So I'm going to go on with a little bit of shaded lilac. We'll have a bit of wilted violet. And then we'll go in with a blue. I'll have a cheeky bit of salty ocean. There we are. So, colours first of all, and let's give this a spritz, like so. So we're going to get some nice, a nice coloured background. I am going to give it a bit of a swish first. Just, it is a good sound. <laughs> and then let's pick up some of that colour for the background. It does look nice, doesn't it? It's a nice combo, is that one. I like that. Now, I'm not going to bother if it's not all um, if it's not all covered. So I kind of like some of the white space. So I'm going to keep that as is. Um, this one, it does look rather a dramatic sky. I don't know what... Yeah, it's, it's, it's rather beautiful. I mean, let's face it, Distress Oxide, you, could, you can use anything and it always seems to look good. Um, even when you create mud, it's just really good mud. Right, so, do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, that's, that's, that's mud, but oh, it's lovely. I will get my rice paper just to clean my mat off so I'm not wasting any of the ink. Okay, so that's my, my beautiful background. Give that a blast dry with my heat gun that I've actually left there ready next to me. And I'm not going to go on with any other colour yet because this is a nice background to actually stamp on and then I can layer up after I've actually done my stamping on. Oh, that's worked really nice, actually. So I use the, the Wilton Violet, Shaded Lilac and Salty Ocean. So if you do want to use those together, I think I also had some yellow on my mat because there is a little bit of yellow going on there. <laughs> so, but it absolutely does work. Yeah, yeah, that might have been a bit of spiced lemonade. It isn't spice, it's squeezed. It's not a spice lemonade. I'm thinking of my spice kitchen show last night. <laughs> I did cooking on telly yesterday, you know. I really enjoyed it. Do you know, yesterday I did I did cooking and um and I did some watercolour painting. How fabulous, what a good day I had. Got I got paid for that, yeah. I were painting Matthew Palmer and then cooking with a spice kitchen. What a brilliant day I had. 
Oh, whilst I still felt like I were on a boat. Uh, it was great. And everything I cooked, I actually, it was nice food. Uh, right then, you can tell I wasn't in charge, that's why. Now, the stamp I'm going to use, first of all, is going to be my favourite. So, if I find it, it should be in this little stash, because I put them all aside, organised, it's there. Um, so, my favourite stamp, it is the Rumbus. Um, it's such a beautiful stamp. I, I just love the, the ability to be able to pattern build. Um, that has always been you know a, a, a bit of a favorite with these because it allows you to create so many different looks so take my block now i would say line it up let me just get a bit of white paper so i can see i would say line the stamp up so on your block you've obviously got your lines and you can actually line your stamp up so you're going to get it relatively equal so i'm actually lining those lines and lining that central line now you may be me you know i'm i'm not always that fussy to be fair but with these ones with your geometry stamps you can do that so when you are pattern building it allows you to to line those patterns up easier which can be really um it can be really effective now let's get stamping um as i say i'm going to use different colors to the one i actually did earlier um so i'm going to use warm breeze on this i'm going to use uh versify because i know versify will stamp over this and because I want that intensity of colour on it. Um, and the colour will be beautiful on this one. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need that. Right. So what I'm doing first of all is lining my point up. Like so. So point, point on that side. On this side, point, point. Like so. So. You've got your two ends already. That one's a bit off, but it's okay. Link it up again. And then what you want to do is, so this one, I take my dots. So what I'm looking at is the dots. So I'm lining up that dot there. And then this one, I'll go to the other side. Now, these aren't 100% symmetrical. So obviously you're, the pattern that you're building isn't going to be 100% symmetrical, but you can still build up a really, really interesting pattern. So please don't get bogged down with, um, with the symmetry side of it. It's going to be okay. Just follow the points and play with this one. Experiment with it. See what kind of pattern you're going to build with it. You know, every time it might be different. I mean, on this one, it might be different because I might align those up differently. But it's really interesting because it, it creates such a different look. I'm putting too much pressure on here. This is a new ink pad. Um, so it means I'm over inking it slightly. And because of that, when I'm putting pressure on, I'm getting a strong line. You don't, what you don't want to do, if you've got a new ink pad, don't over ink it. I'm telling you this because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm over inking and because I'm over inking, I'm putting too much pressure on it. And that's why I'm getting those squidgy corners. So just be mindful not to over ink. Okay, now. When I come in, I'm really ignoring the arrow, to be fair. I'm coming in and I'm just hovering and I'm looking where my lines are and then stamping. And then you get that beautiful pattern. Isn't it superb? Love this. And I'm doing exactly the same again. This is when a clear acrylic block absolutely works um it allows me to hover i i'm still a fan of being able to just hover over my work and seeing where i'm going i, I like that there we go how much it's funny obviously if you've got a stamping platform you'll absolutely be able to do it because you'll be able to put your stamp down but i'm i'm a fan of hovering with my acrylic block i'm not quite sure why i don't know if it's because i like the thrill of it all going wrong <laughs> but it's, um, I find it the easiest, but you need a clean, clean acrylic block, which as you probably well know, is something I don't generally have. It's not too bad, this one though. Right, I might move that one. Oh no, I better keep it in line with that one. Okay, there, and then, oh, so satisfying. Now, me being me, I don't measure anything, okay? I knew I was cutting these into panels, but when I first did this, I utterly guessed it. I didn't measure how many 
um, repetitions of this I could get to fit it all in. I didn't start at one side and then, do you know what I mean? I, I utterly work on guesswork. Um, so if it works, it's a bit of a miracle. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter because that in its own right is beautiful anyway. So if I then stop there, so if you stop there and thought, oh, if I put another one in, it's not going to be perfect. So you could stop there and then put one of the other ones in. I mean, you could quite easily. In fact, I might mix it up and put this one in. I weren't going to do that, but, but this is the lovely thing. Please, you know, if you're like me and I, I can't be bothered planning it out. My brain doesn't work like that. it would just get bored before I even started it. Um, and this is the thing, don't panic. It's fine. You know, if you're a little bit like me, if you're not very good at that sort of planning these things, just wing it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, now I'm going to do it in the same colour. <laughs> All our shorts. <laughs> just wing it. It'll be right. Okay, now have a look at this butte. So this is going to sit again. I'm just looking where my acrylic block is before I let it go down, lining it up and then pressing. Being careful not to overpress. And look at that. That is sensational. Such a beautiful stamp. And what I love, I mean, the, I, there's a little circle at the top there. Like if I wanted to now, oh, these images are stunning. If I wanted to, I could just take that little circle, line that up and have that coming up. Can you see? I love that. It's that attention to detail. Love things like that. Faff. I like faffing. I'm going to do the same there. Let's just take that and just allow that beautiful. And I mean, you could even, if you really want to faff, you could even have that circle coming in from the side. Let's faff. <laughs> uh. I love it. I love pattern building. This and these stamps are just so good for it. Look how good that is. And every time you're changing it, you're making it your own. And there's so much detail. It's super interesting. I mean, the other side of the stamp you could do that with. And because of the lines, you can really see where you're going because they are um, geometric. So it allows you to really line it up. Oh, yeah, that's just gorgeous. Beautiful. Um, obviously, I've created a background that um, that I don't want to cut up now, and I'm meant to be cutting this up, but it's okay. I can do that. So that's your background image, which is just sensational. I then took... Um, let me just find it. I then took the other geometric stamp. There it is and stamp this one as well. So this is the beautiful uh, rosette. So taking the rosette and changing colour again. So this time I'm going to go in with a purple with my rosette. I probably don't need the rosette to be fair because I've got that one. I might actually not do the rosette because I feel that it might be a bit too fussy and I don't want that. I'm going to stamp it out anyway just to show you how gorgeous the rosette is. Let's go off on another cheeky tangent because that's what we're all about. So look at how good this one is. And the rosette, it's same again. So you can see your rosette has been split into your four. So that means if you wanted to line this one up, you've got that line to work on. So do you see what I mean? So if you're pattern building with this one, again, you've got those lines. So you could easily follow the lines that allow you to pattern build. Or alternatively, of course, you could... I wonder what it would look like if I actually overlapped it. Because you've got those lines, let me just change the colour. This is me just playing. Um, it might work, it might not. But let me just change the colour for you and just show you. Is this thing have my dog had? One of my, <laughs> my dog had a cheeky little chew on one of my ink pads. Hello, Lola. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's a cheeky minx. But she's ridiculously cute. <laughs> oh, 
You know when you go away and you miss your dog so much and when you get back you just keep looking at them going, oh my gosh, you're so cute. I'm on that at the minute. Right, let me just see where my quarter is. So that's my quarter, that's my quarter on my stamp. So if I line up that point there to that point on my stamp, and you kind of have to eyeball this, because it's busy, you lose it a little bit. So you really have to kind of concentrate. It might not work, it might be too busy, but it might look fabulous. Mm, I think too busy, isn't it? Bit too busy along there. It would look fabulous if um, if you masked it off, however, and then did the stamping, that would look beautiful. Alternatively, of course, just keep to what I was doing before, which was the lining up of the points, because the lining up of the points absolutely works. So yeah. Line up your points, but don't do what I've just done. Because lining up there, there, beautiful. And then you've got that lovely line running through it. And of course, these work with the others. You know, that works really well with the rhombus. So if you was going in with the rhombus, like so, that's a bit small, is this acrylic block? But that works beautifully with the rhombus as well. Because, again, you've got your straight line. So with the rhombus, your straight line. And you can, with this one, you can absolutely bring that into it. Because that won't look too, you know, too much. So if you brought that into that point, let me just line it up. There. Yeah, you absolutely need a clear block. Now, look, that's really interesting because where this... Can you see? I probably should have done a darker ink. But that looks beautiful and it lines up wonderful. So if you wanted, you'd just do one of the rosettes in the centre and then one of these and then another rhombus at that end rather than a rosette. And that in, that looks really cool. So the overlapping of the rhombus um, on the rosette really works because of that beautiful open space. That doesn't look too much. So, yeah, essentially you need to experiment with them. Let me go back to my background. I've gone really off on a tangent, haven't I? And we're halfway through already. So, you're going to get your background, okay? You're then just going to build up on the background. So, all I'm going to do with this one is um, take, first of all, take the script stamp. Now, this is where all these stamps really work. You know, the beautiful script, the wonderful, um, all your different background stamps, they all really work with this because you just start building up. You start building up your layers, building up your backgrounds. So, I'm just going to take the script and start Start working over the top. I'm not going to with this one. I don't want to be putting it on a block because I don't want it perfect. I just and it's a beautiful script, is this? You know, it's a really pretty stamp. So bringing that gorgeous script on, which looks really, really pretty. So we've got that one coming in, and then also bringing on the uh, the gorgeous crackle. I won't bring too much of the crackle though. Just a little bit of the crackle, okay? And you do get that in that bundle, and that has got a really good freedom price on it as well. So just a little bit of the crackle. I'm just doing this round the edges because I don't want this coming into my central part. Okay, so that's a good background. I'm happy with that. And of course, with this, it doesn't, you know, you can use it any which way. You've got loads of little bits on it. It's a really good stamp, is that one. There. Okay. That's my lovely little crackle. Happy with that. So, my background for now, I'm just going to put a little bit more ink on it. So, all I would do for this one, I'm actually going to take a yellow. So, I'm going to go with a mustard seed. Pop the mustard seed on her. And then give that a bit of a spritz. I only want a yellow. Break it up a little bit so it's not too all over its shop. And then just dab that into it. I'm not worried about my, um, my, um, what have I just used? My ink smudging because obviously it's going to dry and it's not going to be water reactive, that's the word. And I adore that on top of there. I just think that looks absolutely fabulous. 
That colour is so good on top of there. That's beautiful. So, let that dry. So, I'm going to pop that to one side. I'm so chuffed with that. It's ridiculous. That looks well cool. <gasps> Love that. Okay, now, one I prepared earlier. Oh, I don't need to do that yet. Bear with. I did do two demos. <sighs> so, what I'm then going to do, it's because I got carried away, isn't it? I, I stamped that butterfly. So, but I've used a background. So, I'm taking... And luckily, I have stamped this and got it ready, so I don't need to do this. But I stamped this, so I'm using the butterfly. I'm also using my fellow beetles. Just, I mean, yeah, the fellows. I mean, we have to use the fellows, right, because the name is fabulous. So fabulous fellows. So I'm taking the fellows, and I'm just going to, first of all, stamp your butterfly. Now, stamp it on a pre-existing background, because it'll look superb. So... Stamp it on a pre-existing background, but um, I like that with silver. Um, and then stamp it on a piece of white cardstock, and I'll show you how gorgeous it's going to look. I've also stamped the fellows on my pre-existing background, and there's a beautiful fellows which do come with that gorgeous dragonfly for ten ninety nine. Very, very um, detailed and stunning, absolutely stunning. So, I mean, look at that. That is such a beautiful image. The detail is just exquisite. So, I cut these out, okay? Actually, I'm dying to use that one now instead of the one I've cut because I want the silver. But I did cut these out. So, I've got my lovely butterfly. And, of course, I'm going to be paper-piecing it. And I actually stamped and embossed a couple of the fellows, like so. Oh, the fellows. Hello. Um, I then, the background that I'd done, and I'll whip this through now because I can finish it. So the background I'd done, I cut it into three pieces. So the three pieces are going to go on here. And I'm actually going to stick these on. Um, so I might 3D them on here, actually. So my three pieces, um, and I, I just love this because, how did I actually line this up? So that one's that one, that one's that one, and that one's that one. There. So I thought it'd be quite nice showing you a different colour palette, you know, because then um, you get a different idea. Shall um, I stick this on while well, I do it? Does a quick recap because you don't want to see me do my 3D foam pads, do you? Um, check your baskets. Oh, we've had more images. Good, good, good. Oh, now let's look at these. That's lovely, Jane. Absolutely beautiful. And I love your background. So gorgeous. Oh, the house mouse. She's mixed up lovely house mouse uh, with Lessia's bottles. That's lovely, Jane. I love that. Uh, they're so cute. Have we got more? Yay. This is from Dawn. Oh, the little bottles. Those little Christmas bottles are adorable. Absolutely adorable. And she said the stamps are lovely to use. Um, Oh, wow. She's watched us from day one. Thank you so much. And thank you for um, for being with us. That means a lot, especially as we're coming up to birthday. Thank you so much. Right, I will carry on with my 3D foam pads. Over to you, Derek. Thank you, darling. Uh, OK, you pump it up and pump I'll up. take a I'll take a little wander down the co uh, counter. These are brilliant, aren't they? I mean, really, really good. I have been fascinated watching um, those geometric stamps because they are just completely and utterly awesome. Um, let's look, uh, first of all, at the butterfly itself. Again, all of that wonderful, intricate detail. And it really is, the magic really does come alive when you combine it with those wonderful um, geo stamps as backgrounds, uh, as something to bounce those images off of. And I definitely, definitely, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well, want to go and find uh, where Lessia uh, helps you with the colouring as well as those beautiful butterflies, because, again, I know my colouring is definitely, definitely not on a par uh, with that, which is... Flaming awesome, isn't it? Beautiful. 235952 then is the butterfly stamp, which is just really, really cool. It is lovely. Everything's going for you out on the 27th of August. You just rearrange the words in that sentence. Eventually, they make one that makes sense. Uh, 27th of August. It's what's it today? 17th today, isn't it? Or 18th? I don't even know. 18th today. Oh, nine days. That's nothing, is it? In the great scheme of things. We've, we've, we've learned patience, haven't we, over the last few months? Oh, just yes. a little bit. Bit. Yeah. Yes. 
Sorry. in most things in life. Uh, right, let's do the flying beetle next. Uh, this is beautiful, again, because it's just got so much detail. It's almost like you can feel the sharpness in the little kind of legs and claws there. You can see all of the articulation. Um, it's really beautifully detailed, but also got that lovely highlight as well, which just helps to give it dimension too, doesn't it? Um, again, with that geo shape in the background, which is going to match up um, with the other ones that come down the line that inevitably you kind of have to have because as Leone said earlier for pattern building um, these are just genius I can see why a shopping list on a show like this starts off I'll just try that one I'll just try that stamp first time and then oh actually now I've seen actually I probably need and that and that and that before you know it it's brilliant before you know it, you've got a flexi basket on your hand, which is brilliant. Uh, so that's the Flying Beetle M, 153663, which is lovely. Have we got to the fellows yet? Oh, not quite yet. No, this is the, uh, oh, now this is the one that we have to get the pronunciation right. Cicada. Cicada. Yeah, I know you looked at me earlier, didn't you, as if to say, he'll know. He'll know. He's a gardener. He'll know. Can't believe I'd, I wouldn't know that. I thought, oh, well, he's been abroad, he'll, he'll know. Yeah. He's been on his holidays. I've been on my holidays, I've been out <laughs> of the country once or twice. Um, yeah, beautiful, aren't they? Really, really cool. Again, it's all about the colours here as well, isn't it? It's all about those beautiful, beautiful, yeah. It's the shading in them that just kind of brings them to life completely. I love them because, actually, you see a lot of moths and butterflies and things like that that are depicted in stamps, and you think, oh, OK. What are you giving me that's different to the rest? And these really do. I love that, that butterfly with just that gentle script in the background. Again, just gives you instant um, a background building, doesn't it? It kind of helps you. It talks to you and says, OK, right, this is the way you, that you should go. But I love the, the scale of this one. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Because you can get all sorts of colours into those as well, can't you? Very, very nice indeed. Get that onto parchment and then and then maybe use some lovely um, some pencils to colour as well. That would give it a whole different dimension too, wouldn't it? Beautiful. 187586 there, £15.97. pence. Uh, next up, I just love all of these actually. I, just Here are the fine fellows. Fine fellows. Fine fellows with a dragonfly. Which is lovely. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, again, oh, not creepy crawlies at all because they're not creepy. At all, they're beautiful. I know some people like would would you know balk at the real thing and run a mile, mm. but th these are lovely. It's the exacting detail in these which is so so cool. And that dragonfly you can send into so many different scenarios as well. And look at the detail in those lovely fine lace wings. It's magical. If you ever see a real um, dragonfly, if you have any in the pond or, you know, one will float through the garden every now and again. And it's just a magical, magical moment. It really is. They're beautiful. That's a lot of stamp there as well, isn't it, for 11 98 don't you think? Uh, 571348 is your item number. Righty-ho, here we are. Are we here? Yes, we're here, aren't we? Now, this is all a bit more about texture going on here, isn't it? Is it Ross's brain? <laughs> Ross's brain. <laughs> Must be bigger than that, Ross. It is lovely. What, what is it actually? A lotus. Oh. I like that. I like the wood one because, again, you can interpret that in several different ways as well, couldn't you? That could almost be a little bit... OK, slightly strange but a little bit fingerprinty as well it's got that same kind of essence to it hasn't it um it's a beautiful shape and um the lotus is that like one of those um what are those plants you see in the in the hedgerows with the big umbellifers is it called i don't know if it's one of those I don't know. it does look a bit corally doesn't yeah. it and are they little eyes in there or they little fruit, like a pomegranate seed or something like that. It, it looks cute, like doesn't it? Like I like it. Very, very interesting. Um, 308765 is your item number there. Um, it's £12.48. pence. And then there are even more. There's so much on this show. Don't forget there's another show coming up uh, as well at 2 o'clock with a whole... Uh, well, you can shop for them right now, uh, but we'll be using a whole different set of stamps uh, this afternoon. This is beautiful. Love this. Love the grass in this. Uh, it's almost like a, like a rye grass, isn't it? Um, it's wonderful. You can kind of feel the movement in that as well. Is that two separate stamps or is that one together? 
It's two, I think, is it? Yeah, it's two separate stamps, so you can take those in lots and lots of different directions as well, which is very, very handy. And I love the fine detail. Sometimes with grasses, um, sometimes too big. I think the scaling on that is beautiful, really, really nice. Um, yeah, it is lovely. Uh, you've got your little buttercup. Now, it's the wild buttercup that you've got there. I have lots of those in my garden as well. They're beautiful, really, really nice. You know, sometimes you see the short buttercups in your lawn and they're like your regular ones that you hold up to your chin. For that silly reason, do you like butter or not? It glows the same no matter whether you do or don't. But the wild um, buttercup actually has a lot more foliage and it grows really, really tall as well. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, it can grow up past your waist. It's like, you know, yeah, it's like a weed, isn't it? So, so it will grow nice and big if you let it. It's beautiful. Uh, very nice. I like to cultivate the weeds in my garden. <laughs> Embrace them, I say. And then you have got here the olive branch. And again, beautiful, beautiful symbol to use. Um, and a nice bit of curvature against maybe the more angular forms in the geometrics in these stamps as oh, well. 577079 mm -hmm. is your item number. I don't know if I swallowed some inspiration last night before I went to sleep. <laughs> I feel inspired today. <laughs> Your curvature. I know, I mean, wild buttercups. <laughs> uh, this is really cool. I actually was just thinking, I know this is a crackle stamp here, down down here, but on its side, the way it is, it's almost like the map of America, isn't it, with all the states? Oh, uh, yeah. Roughly speaking, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, you, uh, that might be useful, it might not be useful, who knows? But it's a lovely crackle texture. That is a beautiful script as well, because it sits beautifully um, in the background, of course. Is that... Is that... Um, I'm going to pick that up, actually, that, that script stamp. I'm loving, I'm loving that. It's, it's a, a lovely sort of diamond shape within, like, a scribble. Mm. I was trying to read the script on the stamp. I'm not sure if it's a legible one or not. It doesn't really, it doesn't really ever matter, does it, with no. a script, does it? No. Um, it's beautiful. Um, and then, which is the one we, that I haven't seen, is it this one here? Oh, it is, isn't it? It's a ram's skull, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my dogs would love that. With flowers in it. Yeah, they come trotting over what, for me to throw it. What would be hair? Mm. There's flowers. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. there is a sample here with the, um, with the skull's head. Here it is. I'll drop it in, Jim. Oh, no, I won't. There you go. You, you come to me. Sorry. Mm. Left shadows on that other shot as well. Terrible. I think I've never done telly before. <laughs> oh, look, there's the dragonfly popping in as well. And the grasses. And the wild buttercups, which are very nice. She's done them pink. Oh, and the lotus. Let's see. Oh, the lotus has got really loads and loads of um, sort of depth in it, hasn't it? Mm. She's highlighted the top there. Anyway, listen, we have to keep going because otherwise I'm never going to get through this counter. <laughs> oh, blimey. We've only got 12 minutes left as well. And you know how someone on the show likes to faff. <laughs> we need more faffing time, don't we? These two are genius. I absolutely love them. You know when you were lining up, them up before, I was going through all of the other, like, configurations mm. that you might, yeah. you would definitely want to try, wouldn't you? Yeah. Two things on this set. That one, absolutely beautiful, because, again, you can make that, you can make that very, you can highlight certain points of it. Um, and the other one, this one, has anyone ever done the crystal maze? Oh, uh, yeah. And you can actually get one at the end, can't you? You can buy a souvenir crystal at the top. And if you're looking down on that from above, then you've got all of that wonderful sort of faceted look. So you can make that all metallic and gorgeous. It's wonderful. I, I love that as a stamp, because you think about how versatile that is as well. Um, it is superb, and the two just have to go together, uh, which is why we bundle them together. 586602 is your item number, the rosette and the triangle sun, £16.48. And, and finally, see, this is another one. This is the rhombus, isn't it? Is this the rhombus? Yes, it is the rhombus, isn't it? See, this is the one that actually probably should, bu should be bundled with the previous two, because it's such a natural progression from one to the other, isn't it? It's, it's an absolute essential. I love yeah. these that she brings us. Do you know what this cool. reminds me of a, a little bit as well? When you look at the, um, the rhombus itself, I mean, I, like I wasn't around, none of us would have been around, but was it 1951 when they had the Festival of Britain? They had the big Skylon, I think it was, that was standing up. It was a big sculpture um, standing up in the Festival of Britain. And it kind of puts me in mind of that kind of thing as well. You probably have to look it up, especially the kids in the gallery. They'll definitely have to look it up. <laughs> um, but it's very, very architectural, 
as well. Yes. And of course, you could have it, <laughs> you could have that, you know, either way around as well. Oh, now, see, you get a whole different look. If you just put it, literally, just put it upside down, yeah. you get a whole new look. And actually, if you turn it again around at um, 90 degrees, you've got a call out for a sentiment there as well, haven't you, if you want to, in the centre? Yeah. Lovely. Anyway, listen, 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 listen. I've surprised myself with my own inspiration there, but listen, <laughs> you're, you're here for the inspiration of the, uh, mm. of the inspirational Leone. So, 540229 is the item number of the Rombas, 1099. We have less than 10 minutes left. That should be enough faffing time for our, for our Leone. You're, you're just about Who has pumped it up again. <laughs> have you got, are you all uh, foam padded up now, or you've been faffing more as well, haven't you? Yes. Good, good, yes, good. I have. Um, yeah, I've been, I have been faffing all you there. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I've already put these on before I've started colouring them uh, because because I can. Now, I'm mixing up my colours. I want some strong, so I've gone in with brush oil, first of all. Brush oils! And all I'm doing is pulling a little bit of my, my brush oil, so I've popped a little bit of blue on there. Now, as I say, these have been embossed. Um, and I love that because it means my embossed will resist. So I'm putting some really dark blue on there, taking the blue off and if I use my, my paper. So you're, you're working with a dry brush and then just dragging that colour out. So it means it's not going to be too intense. Like so. Ink tense. So not too ink intense. It's actually pencils called that. Um, there we go. And then what I'm going to do is bring in, so in your, your brush oils, you've also got some sprinklet, some gold. So if I, uh oh, that's way too much. <laughs> I won't waste that. That is absolutely going to be used for a different project. So bring in some of the gold, because I think your bugs, they have to have gold on. You have to have iridescence on them. Because this is the thing, isn't it? Look at that go. Because um, that's the beautiful thing about so many bugs, isn't it? The colours of the shells. Some of those beetles are just phenomenal. There we go. Yeah, it does look a little bit ancient Egyptian, isn't it? Scar up a beetle. So just bring in the gold on, which does look absolutely gorgeous. So that's that one. And my other little chap, my other fellow... He's going to have gold on here as well, like so. So they've both got nice gold bodies, lots of shimmer. Because I've put too much on, I'm going to drag it further than I was going to. There we go. Okay, happy with that. And I will be putting a gloss over them in a little while. And then my butterfly. So I've got my beautiful butterfly there. Um, with this one, I want to bring in... Um, a little bit of red. Now, I'm using the brushes just because they're intense. Um, obviously, I've got loads of different colouring in mediums, but I just like how strong these are. Um, and it's that that I'm looking for because I want, because I'm going over a coloured background, um, it means I do need something really, really rich. So that's where these really come in. So, see, <laughs> if I just bring in. A little bit of red here. I mean, look how strong that is. That's amazing. Like this. I'm not going to do the full thing because obviously time, time, time. So just get the water coming through the brush, clean that brush off, and then just dragging that out again. Like so. And same here. There. And I'm actually going to match the dragging that further than I was going to, but that's just because I'm rushing now. Kind of like that, though. Kind of like that colour palette, just just merging with the background that I've already stamped over. I would spend longer with this one. I'd absolutely put more detail on. I'm not just because of time, but I definitely would. I'm going to bring in some gold on its wings, which, of course, is essential. Because again, it's posh. Obviously, if you've got some white, your white gel pen is, um, this will just make everything pop. So go along with your white gel pen. 
like so, which does look absolutely beautiful. There we go. Now I'm not going to faff anymore with that one, but you will faff, 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 because it looks lovely. We've then got the um, the little body, so glue that in citral, and I've put about three um, 3D foam pads on these because I really wanted it raised. I wanted a real dimension to it. Hopefully that glue will bond. I know it's a bit a bit wet there. I'm gonna glue that directly on. And then just round the body, just pop a little bit of red just to bring that colour back into it. So it's not completely white, but I I do want it, I don't want really loads of colour on this because I want that to pop. There we go. There. Beautiful. <laughs> That's this. So then what I'm going to do is um, to finish this off, I would obviously spend loads and loads of time colouring it in and I'd faff about and have a lovely time. Uh, but what I wanted to do with this one, just to finish it, is take one of those and I think I'll go with the grasses actually. Now, um this might not work because I've gone and put it on my my 3D foam so I'm I might be cutting I might be I might I might be pushing my look a bit too much here let me just put these away let me move this out the way let me just spritz this because otherwise I am going to make a mess and I don't want to waste that so I'll just get a little bit of card and scoop that up so it's a lovely background boom I'm making sure I'm getting the gold. Oh, I've created brown. There we go. <laughs> Actually, it's purple. How much time have I got? Two minutes, 40. Okay, so I should have done this before I stuck it down, but I didn't. So where did I just put the grasses? Where did I just put the grasses? There. I wanted the grasses on here. Let me see. Mm. Do you though, Leone? Yes. Oh, are you sure? Right, don't do it. Um, listen, look, I've told myself off. I'm not going to go grasses. I'm going to go because I know if I go grasses, it might not be perfect and that will annoy me. However, if I go crackle, if that doesn't go perfect, it's fine. So we go crackle. Um, and I wanted, the reason I'm doing this is because I, on this one I didn't put any crackle and I wanted some in black because I wanted something more intense and darker. So I'm going in with the crackle now just to give me more, um, a bit more intensity around these edges. And that absolutely works. So you're bringing that in, bringing this in here. So you've got that lovely crackle going on like this. And see, that really, really works now. I'll pop a photo on this. I've actually finished something. That never happens. I mean, I did prep second demo. Never prep demos. That's because you never finish them. Okay. And then bringing that round like that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. It's ridiculous. Beautiful. So where to stop, isn't it? So much crackle. So much crackle. But I've... Right, I'll stop there because I've got a minute. Okay, have a little look at that. Of course, you'd probably want to put a little... Um, you'd probably want to um, go on. I tell you what, finishing touches, I'd have a sentiment on that. Um, just a little sentiment on the top or maybe on all three. Maybe just, um, you know, going round the edge with your fine liners. But otherwise, you can see all the detail. You can see uh, those wonderful, shiny beetles. I would spend more time colouring in my beautiful butterfly. Um, and do remember, please play with those stamps because that's the other background as well, which is just sensational. Um, do check your baskets out. Do not miss out on any of these because they're just gorgeous. Thank you to lovely Derek. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 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 um, and we will be seeing you. I'll be back up at two o'clock, so please don't miss out. Um, but more importantly, check those baskets out. Bye. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles 
and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. Mark and I work hard designing the kits and developing innovative tools to make all of these traditional crafts more accessible to the modern user. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to those. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dyes, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue, and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue. afternoon to you all it's 12 o'clock that means of course we've got the second installment of today of the one day special we are visiting dolly town kind of oh is it dollywood now we've not even got charmaine here we've got another guest with us as well you've seen her already today let's say a very good afternoon to lou sims hello there. hello nice to see you and again. you definitely I think you've had some fun with these haven't you i have it's been great just playing and creating. Amazing. I do like doing that though. I know you do and you're very <laughs> very good at it as well. Let's have a look at that at the one day special because actually when we look at these stamps here you're pay only paying for four of these but you're actually getting five. That's if you're a non-freedom member. If you're a freedom member it's even better for you. You're saving 15 pounds and 39 pence. Now you've got five different stamp sets here but in total 25 individual stamps. I do have some printouts actually of the stamps so you can see exactly how they will print and all the elements within them we're just having a look at the packaging as well so you can get the inspiration from there but let's have also a look at the printed images of course how you color these is entirely up to you have you got a favorite Lou can you choose um, a favorite yeah I, like, I do like the boat one but that's I think because I, I do like anything seaside related oh. um, I, I don't know why but you know I just I don't know if it's the colors the sounds the smells or whatever but yeah Oh, do you know, I like the seaside. I don't get to go often enough, though. No. There it is. That is really clever, actually, mm. isn't it? Mm. I love how you can colour in the stripes on the cake as well and make it very sort of nautical. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I coloured it in red and white um, just to make it look like a lighthouse. Oh, I love that one. There we are. We can see the boat. There. Actually, I really like the colours on the packaging. Mm. Sort of muted colours as well. 
you get, you've got two payments here of £19.78 if you're going for the Flexi Buy option. I'm just going to show you one or two more samples as well. Item number is 510206. Remember, there are five individual stamp sets, but you're really only paying for four unless you're a Freedom member, and then that discount is even better for you. And, of course, delivered totally free of postage and packaging. This is clever. Who's did this one, Lou? Do you know? Um, I believe it was Jojo who did that one. So it's uh, all the different cakes. So you've got one side left blank, I suppose, if you want to put your messaging yeah. or something else. And obviously you've got some tags inside there as well. But it showcases all the cakes in lots of different colours. I can see lots of the bling has been mm. used as well and coloured yeah. in. But that shows every one of those stamps there. There's still remaining elements, of course. We've got a sample here using the nautical one that is Lou's personal favourite. Oh, that seems to be our Katie's favourite as well. You could change these around, I guess, though, Lou. You could cut her apart. For instance, this one, you've got the tears there, but you could just use a single cake. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that in the next demo. But Are yes, you? you can. Yes, definitely. And I've cut it apart to finish off this one. But yes, you can. That one, I think, has got loads of snippability in it. Definitely. Because um, you could have three cakes. You could put them side by side because they're all on like little cake platters, aren't they? They are, yeah. Oh, yes, and you've got the birds in there as well, which we saw on one of the earlier samples, which can be used separately. Again, that one could easily be separated. Oh, totally. Um, and they, yeah, because um, you could make them into like um, a hat, take the toadstool off and put the, one of the flowers from another yeah. one of the um, cakes on top of it instead of the toadstool. And it would change the look again. It would. Do you know, I'm going to bring in another card because I'm presuming this has been created from that same stamp set but not a cake in sight not a cake in sight it's very clever isn't it that is very very clever i do like that i absolutely love it and, and i love that one the way it's the cake but one side's pink one side's blue very clever way of you know girl boy yes twins. yeah you know, yes, that could be for a baby show yeah, if you so don't you... know of it is a gender reveal you could have maybe the uh inside the actual colour that you, you are revealing. Oh, yeah, that would be cool, yeah. There we've got the nautical one again. Love that with the blue and the red. Very striking, isn't it? Very striking. I like yeah. the background as well with the added detail with the stencil as well. Just finished, frames it beautifully. Wonderful. We do have some dyes on the show as well if you want to take a look at those. But the one day special is, of course, for these wonderful stamps. Yeah, you could turn any of these into a wedding cake as well. Oh, quite easily. Quite easily. I mean, if you look at those ones um, with the leaves there, if you coloured them up um, in oranges, yellows and stuff, it could be like fish leaping from the water as well. Oh, Add a little doodle a of a idea. fin on the end. Or you could draw a little beak on there. They could be birds as yes, well. Yes, yeah, like seagulls. So do yeah. yeah. Lovely. Of Lots legs. of ideas for you there. <laughs> 510206 is the item number. If you are going for the one-day special, do take advantage of the Flexi Basket as well because you might want to pop something else in there, such as the papers that we've got coming up next. Now, we've got 24 sheets of card and paper here. I'm going to show you these. Uh, we have got the details on the screen for you now. I'm probably not going to show you every single one of them, but we will have a flick through some of them. So the card is 300 GSM. And the paper is 120. Now, I don't think these are in any particular order. You have got backgrounds. These are uncoated as well, so you can ink over the top. You can use your embossing powders. You can use your sprays. There are sheets with a white area there, so you can add more colour if you wish. You can tone down with your paints. You can use your brayers over the top. You can die cut them. We're looking at the paper here. These are 120 GSM. I love the colours in that. Got toppers in here as well. I'm sure there's going to be some labels. Yes, there they are. Ribbons and labels. I'll just turn that the other way up so you can see it a little bit. Uh, what are these then, Lou? Uh, they're, they're sentiment toppers. Sentiment toppers. Yeah, so they can go along in different ways. Um, there is a spelling mistake there. No, that has all been changed. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. That has all been changed. Um, and that won't go, you know, so that will be all changed in the pack. So don't worry to anyone who noticed that. <laughs> I didn't spot that. I'll have to look for that now. <laughs> We've got the lace there as well. I love that. That is so pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. If you want to go for the papers, look at the price here. Eleven ninety nine, three pounds saving, two one zero five one five. Don't forget, if you want to pop those in alongside the one day special, you can split the cost of that as well because you do. Now, on the edge is the first one we're going to look at. This has been very, very popular. You may have seen this before. You may have missed out on this one before, but we've got the details for you. This is number four because there's a series of on the edge. Twenty four ninety nine is the price here. I want to see if I can find the. 
boards for these as well because we've got all sorts of different boards. 359675 is the item number. Let me see if I can find the appropriate board there. Look on the oh. there's also on the Are they reverse. all on the back as well, Lou? Yes. Ah, no, they're all mixed up. I think they're all mixed up. Not to worry. We'll see if we can sort that out. I'm looking for the one with the circles on. 359675. Will we see this in demonstration? Um, I wasn't going to in this hour, no. But you have in previous hours, so we can catch on Rewind, can we? We have it, but there's a card behind you with the circles on, if that's what you're after, that shows some of the die cuts, how you can use different circles. Oh, yes, on the back shelf. Yeah. We'll see if we can grab those. We have got more in the way of dies as well. I'll see if I can find the appropriate board as we go along. Right, the next one, I recognise this one, actually. The next one is number five. So if we look at the details of this one, I do remember this one. Uh, I, this is one of my personal favourites, I've got to say, that I've seen. I'm going to show the board horizontally, first of all. Now, don't forget, with on the edge, that means that, you know, you're not just looking at the shape on the edge. You can create different widths of pages. You can use the what we call the waste, but it's not waste, uh, because you've got different options there as well. You can cut in or out of the card stock. There's many clever ways of actually using these dies so we're looking at that one there i believe because the little flowers remind me of aliens when you look when you look we keep saying we need to put googly eyes on especially on that bit there there we are six zero seven zero two eight is the item number 24.99 on that one we're going to number six next let's have a look at the details for this one all different item numbers of course right let me find the board. I know I've seen this one. Just got to flip them, flip them over to find the appropriate board. Now, details on this one are 135377, 24.99 again. The little toasters are brilliant. Oh, we had a bit of a giggle about these with Charmaine. <laughs> You'll see why in a second. <laughs> me and Janice were talking about it this morning. <laughs> The, they are so sweet, the little turtles, but when you look at the waist, it's as though you've got little elephants until you get to the end and then you've got a turtle. <laughs> but then, if you turn it this way, and if you look at the white area there, they look like little cacti. Mm. And actually, Charmaine drew some faces it in those and they look like ghosts. Yeah, she did, didn't she? Whereas um, Janice could see tortoises oh. instead of elephants. Well, I, I can, yeah, I, yeah, you can. Again, turtles, tortoises, yeah, you can, definitely. But, of course, you have got the little uh, mushrooms or toasters there with the chimneys on, which I absolutely adore. Mm. 135377 is the item number there. Let's move on to number seven. So let's look at the details for this one. I've got some nice samples for this one, actually. Uh, 598434 is the item number here. Oh, I love this sample. Who's done this one? I don't know if there's Charmaine. a name on it. Oh, Charmaine done this mm. one. We'll have mm. a look in a second. I've just found the board for the first one. <laughs> there we are. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? Isn't it beautiful? Love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And if I show you the board for this one as well, I am just going to turn it horizontally to start with. There we are. So again, on the edge, remember, you can change the width of the pages. So these are great for your journals, your card yep. making and everything else. It is. I mean, I've done um, on the board there, the, the last one in, in the main white, you can slide a piece of card behind those two bits that have been cut yeah. open as well, you know, to add your colours. So you don't have to cut them out if you don't want to. You could leave them in as a decorative feature as well. Let me just pick this album up because it will sort of give you an idea of what you can achieve with any of these dies. It's not just the set we're looking at now. This is the way that you can use any of them. Of course, you've got different shapes and sizes. I absolutely love this. But you can use both so sides clever. of it. You don't have to use just one, you know, the one side. Think yeah. how you can use both sides. And that's how Charmaine wanted it to be, is that each edge yeah. is an edge in its they own right. Is a decorative they really do. Feature. 598434 is the item number on that particular one. And then we have, we've got Sir Clips next. Let me just flip the board over because I think it's on here. Yes, there we are. Um, now, this one, really, really, actually, this is so handy. I remember Sharma when she brought it to us the first time as well. We're just looking at the details there, but there's so much you can do with this particular die set again. So you can cut out of the card. You can cut into the card again on this one. All those little offcuts come in very, very useful. They're like little antennae for the caterpillars or the ladybirds, perhaps, or uh, butterflies. 
You've got areas that will sort of lift without cutting totally out there as well. We've got, that's a very handy piece. I mean, you can join those together. You can use them as little bits of string for baubles. Perhaps these could turn into baubles. You can overlay them to create different patterns. That one almost looks like a snowflake in itself, it does, but it's, yeah. yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? $24.99, 11 dies in total on this one, 472-615. Those little pieces there that um, don't quite cut out, I'm sure I saw before, if I turn it this way up, a card where candles had been created and mm. they were the flames on the candle. Mm. And um, Charmaine had done the technique when she um, put two inside each other yeah and you know and folded them back and forth back and forth i can't ah, think of what the technique yes. is called now yeah so um, you can kind of link together yeah, yeah. very good four seven two six one five for that one now we also have the keepsake binder for you always popular so if you've not seen this one yet and if we've still got stock for you i would say go for this one as quickly as you can again i've got some more lovely samples 14.99 five pounds saving here nine two five three four five now the die that you get there is to create the holes for your binder you do get the rings as well uh, so the mechanism so to speak so maybe you're going for the on the edge dies maybe you're creating an album perhaps you're going for the one day special you're using those stamps to create that album then of course you're going to end up with something that could look very much like this such a lovely idea i know these have been in great demand mm. in the past Lou. we've sold out many times before mm. haven't we oh they're, yeah they're very versatile and i think actually having that die because you don't have to do when you think about it, you don't have to do all six holes you could do half a page and just oh, use three yeah, of course yes yeah, so you can do your smaller journals yeah, and books if you, if you wanted to as well and also the die is available you know if you didn't want to use the ring binder think about your ribbons yes you know yeah. and binding that way as well so it can be used also because it cuts into the card it would make a really cool background as well if it you really multiple would. cut it do you know, I'm flicking through this because some of the on-the-edge dies have been used mm. as well. It's mm. nice to see those again. But also, if you've been collecting from Dolly Dimples, of course, you'll recognise past stamps there as well. But everything we've got on the show today will all work together beautifully. $14.99 for this one, £5 saving, nine two five three four five. Now, we do have the Dollywood stamps. Now, if you missed out on these, it was a very busy one-day special. I think it was only last week, actually. If you did miss out, then you can go for these. We've still got the whole bundle available for you. There is a freedom saving as well. Look at that, eighteen ninety-nine. if you're a freedom member. This one's on Flexi for you as well. So if you don't want to put anything else into your basket and you're going for this option, you can still split the cost. But this time, it's three ways. £26.98 is the price to pay today. One next month, one in a another month's time 295 221 is the item number we were very busy on those when they launched in fact we lost if i remember rightly three of the individual stamps within the first launch hour mm. they were very popular mm. you did yeah. yeah i remember watching the shows oh they are <laughs> amazing 295 221 is the item number if you want to go for the dollywood collection there that includes those dies as well you get mm. the toastal ones don't you yeah included that they're really cool though they ones, are. yeah brilliant <laughs> what have you got to share with us then, right though? i'm going to finish off this which i started um, this morning and um it's a box card but there's no real measurements i took the size of the cake to work out what i was going to do for the sides and i've created it and then using one of the edge dies i've put that on the panels there just to create a little bit of difference uh, you know make a bit oh, more like decorative that. edge to it yeah um, it suits well with the cakes as it well. does doesn't it i yeah. didn't want to do it on the top though because i would just damage it if i'm honest so i've created some ledges inside it and i'm just going to start putting some bits in oh, really amazing. i love now, these because you can fold them flat yeah and they, they really make a statement don't they they do when they stand up now you were talking about taking this cutting this card apart um this cake apart so i've done that one and then i've taken the legs off there and there so I've created three different elements. But if you were doing a card, you could have them ooh, either side yeah, and with the cake in the middle. You know, so you could have three they cards in the They actually look a little bit like a, a, a cocktail or a fruit juice or something. Ooh. They could be a straw in the top instead of the stems for the cake. Oh, yeah, like a straw. Yeah. Yeah. Put a little bit, a couple of bits of fruit as well sort of thing, like yes. an exotic cocktail. Ooh. Right, what I've also done is I've cut from the circlips some of the flower dies, and I just want to add a little bit more depth to, not depth, height. Okay. You know when you just... Yeah, that works. I couldn't think of the word then. And I've cut it from the backing papers, 
Um, and they're the backing papers that were left over, believe it or not, from when I did all this. So why, you know, why waste it? So I'll just let that dry a little bit more. And the papers are from the kit that we've yeah. got on the show. Yeah. So, and then what we thought is, well, I can start laying. I'm going to have to pull it towards me so I can see what I'm doing. And we can start building these up. And I'm just going to push that down there. Do you know, the more you look at these stamps, the more you can see the possibilities. Always think outside the box. Always look at how you can separate oh. things, not it, just see the the image as it was originally yeah. drawn. Yeah, yeah look at all the... Because most things are just a shape, aren't they? So have a look at, like you say, what, what can come apart, um, how you can use it in different ways, how you can segment it. So I'm just using bits of card to make legs. And I've coloured them all up, and then I've just put, like, enamel dots on. So okay. um, where the holes, where the dots are in the actual cake yeah. itself, because I thought colours are beautiful that you've used. Uh, I, I, I love vibrant colours. You know, when you just go, I think it looks nice and bright. It do, It looks very bright. I absolutely adore it. I, I heard you the other day saying, "What's gone wrong? I'm using purple again." I, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I do. It's not that I dislike purple. I just find it a really hard colour to blend, and I don't know why. You know, you just go. They look. I'm considering my favourite colour is blue. And you just go. I don't yeah. understand why yeah. I struggle then with purple, but hey ho. Right. So I'm going to do that. Then I got... nailed it with these colours. So I'm just going to start. I want to put one or two of the sentiments in, even though because once the card stands up, we'll see it a little bit more. So I've got if eating cake is wrong. <laughs> we've got that there. And I've got a couple of the birds that I just also want to add in. I've got putting excess glue on because I can't... See, at home, I would uh, be able to work on top of it, sort of thing. Those there we birds go. are very useful as well. They can be used on I love the fact so that the birds can be um, either way. Yeah. You've got two birds in one of the cakes there, but you've got them facing both directions, so you don't have to... If you're not confident with mirror stamping... I love how you cut them out as well. Obviously, you have got twiddly little bits, which are quite difficult, but leaving that border really sort of brings these to life. Yeah, I think they look so much better with the border on. And also, if, um, if you've got an electronic cutting machine, yeah, put them through that. Right, so I'm going to have to lift it up so I can see a little bit more where I want to put some okay. other bits. And then, like I said, I've die rather than waste the card, I've die-cut some more of the elements there. I love the fact you've gone with a rectangle for the box card as well, because we get used to seeing more square ones. It was the actual shape of the, the stamp itself that made me think, I was trying to do A5, and then that was too much maths. Yeah. Whereas this I could actually just do, you know, it was just a simple A4 card in the end sort of thing. And I've got some of the other flowers that are from the circlips. I just want to bring in one or two of those and layer them up and do the same on the sides I mean you can with these sort of cards you can put as much or as little on that you want can't you of course uh, that's what I love about Looking them at the dies as well Lou I mean you could go for any one of those sets and it wouldn't matter because no. they would all work yeah oh they do because you can use each of the edges with another set as well which creates a whole new range of edges, designs, Definitely. borders, and because you know you can then create something infinite. You can. Yeah. I mean, I would hate to do boards. Can you imagine all the different ideas if you had to try and do boards? <laughs> Mind you, you'd probably hate us going. Here's like a thousand boards. Uh, right. So I've got that bit there, and I want to add this sentiment. I will fill up because I've done another cake in there that I just want to add in as well. Because I think that would look cool. Sorry, I'm faffing now. See, we all faff, don't we, really? I like to faff when I've got time. I think it's the, I think it's the most crucial part of actual card making. <laughs> I enjoy it. I, I just... A lot of the things I do, people say, oh, I don't know, you've got the patience. But that's when I'm really in a happy place, actually. If I can spend time to yeah. stop and just sit. It doesn't happen very often, but I love it when it does. You know, and spend a decent amount of time without rushing, without, you know... Yeah, I know what so you mean. Either, whether it's, it's faffing or whether it. it's something that does mm. just literally take time to do. Yeah. And then the last one, I, oh, I've, well, as I've stuck it upside down, I won't stick it on now. That would be there. 
Right, so if I turn it around, and then I've, so I've got the different sentiment here, so you know, like, um, what's it say? If eating cake is wrong, and then we've got, I don't ever want to be, as I suck it upside down, I'm going to have to restick it. I would add that into oh, it, that is and then to be right here. <laughs> so that, oh, that sentiment that. would sit amongst all the different cakes, and then at the end of the day, it, you know, it all folds flat to go into an envelope. Oh, I absolutely love that, Lou. Well done. Well, you can create something very similar, of course, with the one day special. Remember, with the one day special, you are getting five full stamp sets in total 25 stamps. If you're not a Freedom member, you're not paying for five, you're only paying for four. Freedom members, your saving gets much bigger. Look at this, 15 pounds and 39 pence is your saving. We do have a flexi on this one. We can split it two ways for you. Let's have a look at the details there. Uh, yeah, two payments of 19 pounds and 78 pence. Item number you need is 510206. Those papers, the card and paper as well, if you want to pop those into your basket at the same time, only 11.99, so you can split the cost again today that's just six pounds today if you're going for the pair we'll show you one or two more samples as well because of course every single sample that has been created the coloring is different the mediums that have been used are different some people will have chopped things apart some people will have mixed up the sets as well there's different themes going on so we've got new baby we've got the nautical with the boat we've got the mushrooms we can see uh, ribbons and bows have been added. We can see bling has been added. So you've got lots and lots of opportunity of how to use these. Don't forget, it's not just about your cards as well. Do think about making albums. Maybe it is a special occasion. Maybe it is an anniversary and there's been a very special cake and you want to make the cake the theme of an album. These would be fantastic to add photographs around. What about your scrapbook pages as well? There's a cake for every single occasion, isn't there? Whether it's birthday, anniversary, um, a leaving cake even, a welcome to your new home cake, we do that as well, Christmas cake, wedding cake, it just goes on. Cake for all occasions. Yes, you can't be right, can you? You've got to be wrong and eat cake. That's what I say. 510206 is the item number. Now, of course, if you're not a Freedom member, you can join today as well. We'll give you the details. We're going to, in fact, we're going to show you a little bit of a clip here, so stay with us, and we'll be back with Lou soon. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom Members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Yes, it's well worth thinking about it, isn't it? But while we're here in the studio, I think we're going to get back to our Lou as soon as possible for another demonstration. I can't wait. Are you ready to go, Lou? I am, I am. I couldn't decide what inks. I had a plan in my head and then I thought, you know what, I quite fancy doing that. that. And, then, <laughs> and then I went, no. And then I went, yeah. No, no. <laughs> so it didn't really quite so work out. As you no, along. no. <laughs> right, what I want to do is I actually want to... Um, start creating my background on here and this is the um, beautiful cake 18 which got the boat on it okay. uh, and I want to build it up but I also want to add um, another part of another cake on top of it oh. um, but I, I want them in the placement so I can start building so I know what space I've got on my cart oh, I see. so I'm not going to use this one technically to color but it gives me a location yeah. Uh, a grounding point, uh, something Jim, yeah, I'm looking at that stamp again as well, and without the boat on the top, I can see part of a cotton reel as well. Yes. You could do kind yeah. of a sewing theme cake or... Um, I mean, someone said like a helter-skelter as well, like from there, or even turn it round the opposite way and it looks something totally different. It looks... Um, well, that could like be an ornate of... cake stand or a hat stand. But it, Yeah, as well. It looked like um, the starting point for a screw. Oh, going in, you know, yes. that way round yeah, like that yeah. as well. Um, so that changes it a little bit more again. So I want to put that one on there. 
And also the other reason I want to have that is if I don't if I want to include the twiddly bits, now I don't have to cut them out. Got you. See, so there is a cunning plan some days. You know when you just go some days. And then I want to have that one there just to add the twiddly bits. But what okay. I'll do is I just want to block off that bit there. Now, I know it'll, it'll look weird because I'm over stamping. But there is a cunning plan at the end of the day, she says. And I'm just trying to line up the flowers a little bit. There we go. And this is, and I'm just literally doing this just so for placement um, visually for when I do the next stage. Okay, got you. It's just a habit I've got into doing because otherwise you, you start making your background and then you go and put the image on and it's like, oh, that wasn't quite where I'd planned to put it. Now, I know it looks like a real mishmash. Oh, there, we trust promise, you, Lou, don't worry about promise that. promise it will, she says, turn into something. Right, so if we put that there. And what I want to do is I just want to grab some of the stencils we've got and I want to start creating um, okay, a little we bit do of a vibrant have a pick and a mix, don't we, on the stencils we as do. well? There's lots to choose from as well. Do have a look at them all on the website. Nine pounds saving. Fourteen ninety cents a pick and mix of any three. There is a lot to choose from as well. Maybe you like what Lou's going to be using now, so you can find that one there as well. Zero four seven eight 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 is the item number. All right, so we've got that here. Let's grab an orange. It's dreadful when your stencils are all colour coded as well. <laughs> I mean, your, your daubers. I've just looked. You're so organised. <laughs> Some days more than others, not not always. Right, so let's put that back there. So I want to create a really um, vibrant. I suppose we've got summer, aren't we? Tropical, yeah, that sort zesty. of. Yeah. So putting the stamp here on here, I'm just gives me a chance that I've got my placement where I want it to be. Now, if I'd have left this on my stamp platform, it would have been a lot easier because I could have used the magnets, but it doesn't matter. So I've got that part going there, nice. and I want to repeat it just at the top okay. here. So it's like I'm framing yeah. everything. And I can bring it all in. And of course you can stencil and ink onto your papers as well, because yep. they're uncoated, aren't they? Yeah, totally. And emboss on them. There we go. And then the final colour. And stamping directly onto the papers as well, using the one day special, you can cut out ready coloured in then. Definitely. Oh yeah, you could. Couldn't you um, put your sentiments on? That would be good, like you say. So yeah. it's all done, dusted, coloured in, and a little bit of ink around the edge. Right, so let's move you there. And then what I want to do is I want to grab the words that we've got here, which is like bake it, eat it. And I want to bring in those. And I'm going to use the similar colours that we've got okay. and oh. they're going to be very subtly oh I see oh I like that into the petals into the petals well that's a good idea I like that and I'm trying to keep you know the, the similar sort of colors that we've got so that's the bake it and because that stencil has got so many different petals I can then move it around just a little bit more. So that's the bake it. We'll clean you in the moment. But we've got the eat it. And I'm going for distress rather than oxide because I, I want them to stand out, but I don't want it to be as intense as an oxide would be. No. But then I've got the eat it. <laughs> Seems rude, doesn't it? Sort of when you say it. But... Do you know, I seem to have a lot of shows just recently that have uh, revolved <laughs> around cake. So we've got that there, we've got the eat it, and then finally, we've got the stuff it. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go to the orange in there. And What's your favourite bit. cake, Lou? Um, oh, I can't really eat cake at the moment, but I would say it's like a carrot cake. Oh, you're with me. That's mine. I love carrot cake. Um... Yeah, I would say a carrot cake. I just like the contrast between the spice and the sweet. Yeah, so do I. I'm not really a chocolate cake fan, you know. No, when the when my lads were at home, I'd have to make brownies on a regular basis, and I do make brown. And 
sort of thing. I don't myself. So that's my background. So if, if I move that out of the way, I'm just going to put the lids on. Otherwise, I will put my hand in them. No. Nope. There we go. We'll oh, there's there. a debate going on in the gallery now. Oh, what about which Katie? Uh, Victoria Sponge has been mentioned, and Katie says, <gasps> yes, uh, Victoria Sponge is perfect, but it's got to be fresh cream and real strawberries. To which Mr. Baker said, oh, no, buttercream. <laughs> Ooh, I'm oh, sorry. And jam. Now, which one are you, Lou? Neither. Oh, really? I oh, I'm with Katie on this one. It's got to be the fresh cream and the real strawberries. Yes, <sighs> definitely. I'm not really a buttercream fan. No, I'm not either. Ugh. Right. <laughs> Actually, make if you're queasy, just thinking about it less. Um, right, so now what I want to do, so this this is the placement for my background, and I know it looks a little bit random, but it just gives my eye where I want to go. So I've taken the same stamp again, and I'm just going to stamp it out. Because okay, I'm going yeah. to cut it cut it out. Okay, so but it doesn't I need matter to, if it doesn't stamp no. exactly as you want it, as long no. as the main bit does. Yeah. Um, it's... I just needed something for visually where to put yeah, the... Yeah, of course. The placement. Yeah. You know, otherwise, like we said. Right, so we've got that there. And then what I want to do is I just want to grab it. Let's swap you over. And I just want to bring in some different colours. Oh, what pens are you using, though? Coys. Mix it. Oh, coys. Yeah, I used my coys today. I had my echo lines out before. Now I think if you look behind me, I think I've brought every single colour in a bit. <laughs> oh, I, oh, yes, you have. I can see now. <laughs> Now, for someone that isn't, a, well, who says they're not a colourist or is a little bit worried about colouring, they don't have to worry, do they? Because these no. are nice and easy to colour in. Or, as we've said, you could always stamp onto paper and cut the paper out. Yeah, you can paper piece. I mean, this one here, I actually just coloured the whole lot in one colour. And then all I've done is added the red in and I haven't even gone around the dots. That so looks you amazing, though. Look at it. But you don't, you don't have to. I mean... I mean, that was why I said that's why white pens were invented. Yeah. But, you know, you could go in there or go and use your enamel dots, um, your pearls and yeah. things like that and, and put them inside your bling. as well. And so you don't have to, like you say, you don't have to be, you know, the perfect colourist in the world. Are you so. using the mixed media cards up there? I am using, actually, the cream this Ooh. time. I wanted, to be, I wanted to keep with the cream. Oh, we shall bring the details up, because, of course, we do have the cards look available as well. 50 sheets. They're A4. You've got 300 GSM. So a lot of the, the prints in the carbon paper pack are printed on this, I believe, as well. 10.99 is the price. You've got a £4 saving today. Well worth stocking up while you've got the chance. 956.975. We have got other card stock available as well, such as the mixed media and also the black card stock, which is always worth stocking up on as well. So I'm, now, you were saying about, you know, the, the stripes. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the stripe and I want to colour them slightly differently. Oh. So I want, I'm not going to, I've got a rainbow theme in my head, because you can get those beautiful rainbow cakes, can't you? Oh, you can, yeah. Um, I don't know how people co cook them, but that just seems a little bit too complicated. Melted chocolate to change the change of a sponge. <laughs> Halloween cakes were bad enough when we were at school, you know, adding like <laughs> blues and greens, food colouring to it. Children loved it. And obviously putting, making mud, oh, black, <laughs> trying to... I'm just making myself go, ooh. But I think you need to stick to this sort of cake, Lou. Yeah. Uh, no, baking at school wasn't... It was arduous, shall we say. Children loved it. Right, I think so. my favourite thing to bake at school from memory was the apple crumble. Oh. No, we used to do... Um, make soup. Did you? I can't remember making soup at school. That was primary school. Really? Yeah, we used to, yeah, you know, so it was all about knowing where the vegetables are, what they look like, um, and different flavours, and yeah. then herbs and things like that. And so the children would then make a, a soup design. Um, and then we did bread as well. We made bread. Oh, that, that, I think oh, that was grim. I love homemade bread. Mm. <gasps> homemade bread and homemade soup is the best thing. Not when the children actually choose the ingredients <laughs> that they think will be the perfect partnership. <laughs> we oh. had some weird... Oh, we let them cook imagine. it, though. They obviously had to eat it and take it home to their parents. We didn't call it... You have to evaluate it. When I was at school, it was home economics. It was when I was, yeah. Right, so we've got that there. And then let's do... Because you mentioned it, I'm going to use a bit of purple. 
Oh, come on, be brave, Lou. I know, I know. It's good. I'll blame it on Steve, though, if he's a... So I'm going to just build up the colours, you know, bit by bit. And I'll just do this one and do another. Because I could be sitting here now. Because in my head, I'm not going to follow the rainbow, you know, like the, the, the Richard of York. I'm just putting the colours down how I visually the using regardless. Yeah. Though. When you do that sort of light area in the centre, are you putting less ink on, on each stripe so it gets wider and then would you go smaller again? Is that how it works? Um I'm no, I just putting the colour either end and just dragging it out okay. with the water. So the right. water will make it lighter because ah, okay. yeah. there's less colour. Yeah. So the colour in the centre there technically is coloured water, uh, yeah. you know, with the with the pigment in. So I would carry on building and building and building. So let's move you out of the way. And in good. Oh, no one... have you got one? Yes, of course. So you what have. I've then done is I've carried on building it, and I've cut it out. So I wanted it to be, um, you know, nice and rainbow. Now I've deliberately left the back this part because I don't actually know what colour I want to do until I've made it. Yeah. And I sometimes you have to do that as I think as well. So that's the first part of the card. So if I bring that now into the base, because I've got that part there, I know... Look at that already. That's such a difference. As soon as you put colour on there. Yeah. Do you know, I'm with you with that, with the base. It's something I've never thought of before. Leaving areas, if you're not sure, rather than sort of just going for it and thinking, oh, what will have to do now? Do wait. I know. It, it is, isn't it, sort of thing? So then what I've done is I've um, taken the other piece of the cake, which I was saying here, and it's going to sit up there oh, nice. because we've got all of that there now it looks really as messy as such but I have a cunning plan as such now these are the flowers and I believe they came from cake 15 the so I've cut them out and I've just made them into like rainbows and then I can add them to my cakes and build up from there now if I didn't want to use this one I then couldn't make my mind up you see before I had cut that one out as well so I Those could actually flowers. elongate it cake. and make the cake. Sorry, Lou, the flowers came from the one with the girl and boy on. Um, so that is 15. Yeah. So I've got another cake here. So if I didn't want to use that one... Oh, that works well. I that like works that. just as well. Yeah, it does. And I think we might go for that one, actually. Well, actually, we'll bring both in, because why not? You know, you go. So I'm going to cut the base off this because we're not really going to see it, and I might even cut the ribbons off. So you're talking of children as well, they would absolutely love colouring these stamps in. Oh, they, they would. would. so much fun, wouldn't they? Oh, definitely. Now, I've got to hide all, all of this bit here, you know, from where I um, did all my stamping previously, so we'll get that sorted. So let's put this cake down, and I'm going to... I was looking for my tape on the roll, but we'll just put one or two of these on. She says two... Right, there we go. Sorry about the floor. I will tidy it up. <laughs> you know, I will at some. So that's going to go and sit there. But before I stick the last one down, I think we're going to go for this one. I like that. That works very well. So either would work. But then I've got the other cake now that I can put on the bottom here. Oh. You yeah, know, rather than actually well. waste it. Yeah, it looks like one of those sort of miniature cakes. Yeah. It's a big miniature cake, though, isn't it? Well, it is. But there we go. So this is now going to sit there. So we've got our rainbow cake there. Now, the candle is going off a little bit, but we'll bring that down just a smidgen, and then I can put that back there. And then, because I've coloured these flowers now, I can actually start to bring the flowers ah, in and around. Yeah. But to cheat, so I don't have to cut, do them twice, I, oh, that, I colour them once and then cut yeah. them in half. That saves colouring as well, doesn't it? Because you don't have to do the one. Oh, I see. So you're matching that from underneath as well. Yeah. And then I've still got all those beautiful twiddly bits. Yeah. So they can sit on the top there. I've got this cake, these ones here as well. So we can bring in some more of the flowers. I think we'll do the flowers down the bottom here. There we go. And I can bring in another one of the flowers there. Nice. And this is the flowers from the top there. Yeah. So I've just stamped them out so they can go on the top. And I want to layer it going the opposite direction so it looks like there's more on top of the cake than there was originally. Yeah, that works well. And we could have this little cake 
don't know whether I might leave it. Yeah, I like it down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like I said, the base now, I know it's going to be awkward. I would actually now colour the base. I don't know. You know when you go, mm, I don't know. I'll probably a grey, actually. A nice settle there. And we can have that down and sitting there. Yeah, I don't think you need anything too in your face, otherwise you'll take away from the vibrancy of the rest of the yeah. detail there. I mean, and I would colour in the other little bits and pieces from there. And then all I want to do is, well, I've got paranoid. Janice spilt a drink this morning. So every oh, time I see she? my water pot, I'm just like... <gasps> Move it, even though it wouldn't spill. And then all I just want to do is adjust where we've got some of these as a contrast. I like the enamel dots. It's such a lovely finish. Rather this is the thing, you've got lots of areas to pick out. You can either follow what's already done in the stamp or work away from those, but it all kind of blends together, all works together with oh. the theme of the stamps. Handprint there. I'll get rid of that in a moment. You could have just done a dotty. Yeah, it's been quite a big one. I'll, I'll think of another cunning plan for it. So that, you know, I just wanted to create something a little bit more vibrant and show the boat cakes, you know, so it could be a festival, a riot of colour. It doesn't have to be, you know, the, that boat cake doesn't have to be in the blues, oh. white, or the nautical tea. You know, and I think all that needed was, a, you know, a little, if you Matt and lay that onto black, that's yep. going to pull Which together I with those uh, little <laughs> dots as well. That really makes it pop, doesn't it? Okay, I don't know if you're able to, Lou, hold that to the front camera so we can see. I know you can't stand it up, but just so we can... Oh, look at that. That's amazing. No, I won't do it too vertically because obviously the drops will just Yeah, dribble. no, but we can really see those colours and the detail in there. Another lovely demonstration from Lou there. Thank you so, so much. Let's give you a reminder of the one-day special. We've had two fantastic demonstrations this hour. 70% of the stock has now gone on the one-day special itself. If you're a Freedom member, your saving is huge. Look at it, £15.39. We can give you flexi on this as well. We can split it two ways. Looking at those different stamp sets there, you are going to get all five sets. As a non-Freedom member, even without the bigger savings, you're still only paying for four of those stamps. There are 25 individual elements amongst those stamps as well. We've seen, particularly from that last demonstration as well, how you can cut into these, how you really can sort of separate things down, mix them around, use the birds separately, use the cake separately, use the cake stands, turn them upside down, you'll find other ways of working with them. Um, I can't stop looking at this one now. We're looking at the gift box there, but now I've seen the straws in the cocktails or the fruit juice. I think they work so well. I mean, oh, you could put hot chocolate or anything in there. Yeah, um, I think there's cakes in there, actually. Yeah. What, in the box? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. I think if you note it, yeah. Oh, that is a lovely way to gift a cake, isn't it? Oh, I wonder if it's a Victoria sponge. I don't think it's got fresh <laughs> cream of strawberries in it, though. <laughs> Maybe it's a chocolate cake. I hope it's a carrot cake. We're looking at a whole tower of cakes here as well. I don't know if you can see the bottom of this or if you've noticed it. I'm just going to pick this up slightly. Oh, it's stuck to the saucer. It's a little cupcake on a saucer. That's what's holding the tower of cakes. That's genius. Love it. Bake it, eat it. Yeah, I wonder if anybody has ever attempted to make a cake that looks like any of Dolly Dimple's stamps. I bet they have, you know. I bet we've seen a fair old uh, few of these toastal cakes. There you can see, this is the number 15 stamp, so that's the one with the flowers in that Lou mentioned. She was using the, the flowers to cut apart there as well. Of course, using your stencils, your papers, your dyes as well, everything all works together beautifully. Remember, because you've got the flexi basket, if you're taking advantage of that, you can split the cost of everything else as well. Let me just show you very, very quickly, if I may, this sample again, just in case you missed it earlier on, because it does show all of the different cakes here. There we are. Look at this. Not all of these samples, of course, have, things have been separated. They are as they stamp out, which works. Of course it works, because that's how they're designed. But you can look out of... Uh, I'll look past what you're seeing here as well. But I love this, because it shows you very clearly the different designs that you are going to get there. 510206, as I say, is the item number for One Day Special. Now, those papers... Very useful indeed because you're getting papers and you're getting cardstock as well. 300 GSM is the cardstock way. 
right. The paper is 120 GSM. We've got a three pound saving today, 11.99. If you are going for any of the collections, because the one day special has got a two way split on it with Flexi, we do have another collection that we might get to mention again a little bit later, but I think there's a three way split on that one. Uh, maybe going for both. I'm going to show you these horizontally just because it's easier for the screen. I love this one. That is really nice, isn't it? Absolutely love it. And of course, you can still over stamp, you can still spritz. I'm not going to go through all of these again, but just show you a snapshot of what you get in here. 210515 is the item number. There's the whole bundle for you. The Dollywood, this is the one, I've, if I remember rightly, yes, I think you've got a three-way split on this. We'll show you the details. If you missed out on this on the one-day special previously, this is well worth looking at. You also get this, the dies in there as well, 35 stamps, nine dies. It's a why not deal. That means if you're not a Freedom member, join today if you're going for this because you'll still make further savings. Yes, there is a three-way split there on the Flexi. £26.98, 295 is the item number. You can still catch actually the shows from the one day special so if you want inspiration on how to use these please do look up, look back at those as well but you will not be disappointed. Those dies also included 295221 as I say for Dollywood. Now the ring binder, we've got the keepsake ring binder, it's been very busy in fact. I found another book, I didn't open this one last time so I want to have a look through this. So we are looking at details for the ring binder, you do get the die that creates the holes and as Lou said earlier, you don't have to go with six holes, you could go with just three. So essentially go half the size of what, what we've got here. You, are, you do get the ring binder itself but of course you can attach with ribbon, with string, maybe you've got another form of way of attaching as well. So still keep using those dies. Once it's been used and you've created a book, doesn't mean that's the end of it. No, it just keeps going. Take notice of the edges of these pages as well because we've got lots of those dies on the edge dies. You can have a look at the individuals on the website. We're looking at more artwork, of course, from previous launches, but everything works regardless of what we're looking at here. All of the dies, the ring binder, the papers, the one day special today will all work in a project like that. $14.99 is the price, £5 saving, 925345. Now when we are looking at the one day special, the stamps are available individually as well. So if you have got a firm favourite, then you can find it hopefully on the website, $10.99 each. So perhaps you've been watching demonstrations and thought, well I can't quite afford the one day special today, but I have got that favourite. We've also got cakes from previous launches as well, which will go hand in hand. So you've got plenty to choose from. There we go. Everything on the website, as I say. Let's get back to Lou, though, because I think we've got time for another demonstration before the end of the hour. About six minutes, Lou. OK. Oh, right. This um, I started in the um, 8 o'clock show. And this is the ring binder that you were talking oh, about. Oh, Now, in my head, in the ring binder, I wanted to do it something a little bit different. When you get the instructions, you will get asked to cut, um, cut out your different covers and your spine, and then you would put them onto backing paper. You know, and cover it that way. Yeah. I wanted mine to be a little bit different. So what I've done is taking inspiration from Janie, I've put my trap my spine between a, two pieces of ribbon to create a little bit more flexibility. Oh. And then using the front page from this that you you cut out, I've made well made this. So this is the front page is layered up again, and this is the spine cut in half. So I've still oh. used the same templates. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to create a recipe booklet. So this is now my base. What so a this, good idea. This can now sit like that, but having the different angles means the cards can sit at different angles you depending are on. Clever. <laughs> I don't know if I'm clever or just sad some days. You are but, very clever. So and it was just using up all the different scraps. So it was it was yeah, creating something a little bit that different. Is such a good idea. I love that. So we can have Victoria sponge, carrot cake, chocolate yeah, cake, I mean, like, and everything in there. They're, they're like I said at the supermarket that has those recipe cards as you go inside, sort of thing. And I do seem to, you know, borrow them. Um, yeah, I know you're allowed to take them, sort of. And I just thought it'd be a great way to add all of these in. So I just want to decorate the front a little bit because I've made a pocket already, and that was in the other show. So this is going to be like my front there. So what I've done is I want to keep it looking shabby, chic, you know, to match. Yeah. The papers. So you get little A6 card toppers, so I've cut one of those and inked those. And I've taken out the, the stamp and I've already cut it. So this is stamp number five. And I wanted to do 
something a little bit different with it. And I'm grabbing, she says, my embossing ink. I'm hoping. I grab you a You never cease to amaze, Lou. Every time you say, I want you to do something a little bit different, you stand there thinking, what else can she do that's different? <laughs> and you always pull it out of the bag. Uh, so rather than colour it, colour it, I, oh, I thought, well, we'll have a go with some embossing glazes. Oh. So I'm using a dauber. Yeah. Um, because... I want the, the, the embossing glazes to stick, but I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't go everywhere. If I wanted it everywhere, I probably would have used uh, my ink, you know, my embossing yeah. pad. Okay. Now, if I really was going to be flash, I could have grabbed a stencil. I am going to do that bit there, though, because that will bother me. Um, oh, yes, you could have I could have put through a stencil. Yeah. That's a good so idea. So now what I want to do is I want to take some of the embossing glazes, and the embossing glazes are translucent. So I just want to put... See, I was thinking, oh, you're going to lose every bit of detail, but you will be able to see through it. Because they're translucent, yeah. So we've got that one there. Yeah. Let's move that there. I'm going to put the lid on top of it because I'm dreadful for knocking things over. And then this is antique linen. And I want to bring in... That's a nice combination already. I do like walnut stain, isn't it? It's one of the ones we all use so much, didn't we? That You know that yeah. after a while you had to put it away because... It was like a go-to <laughs> one that you did all the time. I'm not going to waste the powder. Let's put the lid on move you. And then finally, I've got the um, Kitsch Flamingo. Oh, lovely. And this is where oh, I'm going to... I can't wait to see this. I don't think I've seen these powders before. Haven't you? The embossing no. glazes. No. Oh, they're lovely. Right, so let's put that there. And put the lid on. Okay. And I was scrabbling around. That's what was taking so long because I remembered I hadn't plugged my my hot gun in. And then I realised. <laughs> so while you were talking, I was like, "Phew!" Managed to do that. So. And normally I would hold this up because obviously putting it on a glass mat is just going to there. But for ease. Oh look at that! They really are translucent, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to find some of these. Did you have them on a one-day special or something at some time? Is that oh, I've had brought them a couple of times, yeah. And Leone's brought them as well. Um, How did I, I miss I mean, these? I am a little... Uh, uh, one, and then I got a little bit, you know, I'm OK, I've got a couple now, so I had to go out and buy a whole lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, they are amazing. Uh, you know the results that you get in there. It is sort of, and because this is going technically on the front of what is my book, I wanted it to be a little bit more robust. Yeah. So I've got that there, and I'm just going to let that cool down just a a little bit more. Okay. And then I've got the different my different panels here. Now, if I wanted to match that in, taking the dauber, I could go over here, and then we'd change all this a little bit again. Okay. But I'm not. I won't I've do that. About a minute of demo time yeah. left. Yeah. That's why I just looked at the clock as well and went. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> Quick bit of glue, Charmaine. That was that paper that I picked out when I did a, a recap of the bundle. So that's just going to sit there. And um, you would put, I don't know what you put, my recipes, cook, you know, cakes, whatever. Yeah, I think keep this one just for cake, that's what I think. I'm just going to put it off centre. It's got to have lemon drizzle in there for Mr Baker. And then this... I, I, will, I will do it in between the others because what I that would do really now works. is I would actually crunch it up and then ink it. Oh, so you'd cr will it crack the glaze yeah, then? Yeah, it'll crack the glaze. Um, I need it to be a little bit cooler. Yeah. Um, and then I can crack the glaze and then I can bring in my distress inks and then I can ink it, which would then bring in the oh, distress really? from the round the side. It looks as it is, but I can imagine the effect there. Oh, you don't need to watch out for these. But also the one-day special, of course. That cake, part of the one-day special. Do make sure you're checking those baskets out. Uh, great savings. The fact that you're only paying, as a non-Freedom member even, only for four of those, then that is just amazing. But as a Freedom member, yes, £15.39 is your saving. Remember, we can split this two ways. Do have a look at those papers as well. Do have a look at the dies. Don't forget about the ring binder. I know that's been busy again. We've lost stock of that so many times we've seen that. Bottom of the screen if you want to go for that right now. 510206 is the item number for the one-day special itself. Um, I'm just going to flash in front of the camera. Any more samples that I can find that haven't been seen for a while, perhaps? Well done once again, Design.
design team. Mm. Always do your magic every single time. So many different themes, so many different colors have been used, so many different mediums as well. Lou, thank you so, so no, much. Thank Three you. absolutely fantastic demonstrations there again. Uh, Lou never, ever disappoints. Look, not a cake in sight on that one. Lou, thank you very no, much. Thank we'll see you. you a little bit later. Everybody else, don't move a muscle because the menu's coming up next. See you soon. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I designed the brand myself to make sure that every product that comes out to you is the best quality, has an individual design, and also is versatile. I like everything to match, so if you've got a product from the very beginning of the John Next Door brand, it will match with something that you buy right up to the minute. Everything working together, which makes things more versatile and easier for everyone. I really hope you can join me and continue your crafting journey with me, and we can see all the new ideas, tips and techniques that we can do together. I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and I'm really excited to be working with you guys here at the Craft Store. We've been here since the very beginning and hopefully we'll continue to bring you lots of new and exciting soft craft projects. We've got everything from things like our Fabazine which contains 12 different projects that you can do either in one go or split them up separately. Um, and that's a journey through all types of different soft crafting. And then we've got things that are really specific like our Stitchery which is a journey through all kinds of embroidery as well. So make sure you join me and craft yourself silly here at the craft store. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. I just noticed I've got a halo. I should move away. Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you're well. Uh, one o'clock. Always have to remind myself because the time just goes when you're having fun. And we've had lots of fabulous shows today here at the craft store. If it is your first time joining us, it's great to have you company. But I'm not alone. No, 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 no. With the lovely Jenny. How hello. are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Great to see you. I've not yeah. seen you for a while, actually. It has been a while. Yeah, yeah it has. Now, for anyone at home that's not seen you for a while or perhaps not seen you at all, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself yep. and why you're here today? Right, I'm a quilter, quilt designer, I specialise in English paper piecing, so that's hand sewing. And I design lots of bright, fun things, whether it's quilts, bags, cushion covers, everything. And I think bright and funky really is a great description. You can see by the samples that we've got around us as well. They're very inspiring, but what is English paper piecing? Well, it's wrapping fabric round a card. Yep basting it to the card, hand sewing around the shapes, and then you remove the card before you quilt. 
So oh. we'll see all that in the demonstration. Yeah, and it's, it's you know, it's, it's an old tradition, but lots and lots of people um, are getting into sewing now and also into English paper piecing as well. Yeah. So it's very mindful when you're sitting there and you're building and creating. Now, we've got some great kits for you, and we also have some choices for you as well. If you want to head to the website and see everything we've got available before we run through it all here live, then you're more than welcome to do so. But let's start with our very first, oh, sorry, sorry with the bag. Uh, let's start with our very first, not the sewing machine cover, that is coming. Let's start with the bag. Really like this and I do love the pattern that's on here. Now one of the finished samples which is exactly the same as that is just behind Jenny but I have another one here that I'm just going to lift off to show you. So it's a really good size this isn't it Jenny? Yeah it's perfect for folders. It fits A4 folders in nicely, but it's also great. My mum's got loads of them. She's yes. made so many. She made that one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, what's your mum's name? Did, Chris. Hi, Chris. Yeah, she did the samples for me this time, this one and, and the uh, grey and black cushion because I was so busy. Yeah. Summer holidays and all Aww. that. But, um, yeah, it's perfect to take shopping. Yeah, do you know what? Bits and bobs. It's a great size. Great handles as well. Like the size of the handles in width. I think that's always important yeah. for comfort on the shoulders. And uh, I like the fact that you've got it quilted down the back, but also on the front as well after you've paper pieced it. Yeah, because it just it makes it more substantial. Yeah, So it does. I've quilted the, uh, the handles as well because it just makes them a bit thicker. I've put wadding in yeah. those as well. And then I always backstitch across the handles. Ooh. just for that extra strength okay and we'll be going through all of those kind of techniques in the demonstrations but that is absolutely lovely isn't it and we've got different ways of buying so the details are there for the kit that gets you the pattern it gets you the beautiful fabric that you've got oh, jenny the butterflies are it's so cute lovely. it's like a japanese butterfly fabric oh let's show you this because you've got lovely tones of pink in there and the blue and the greys so they go really nice together really nice toning and then you've got that gorgeous butterfly fabric um, and on this has it got like metallic yeah it's got gold wow metallic let's just put that that way that is lovely um, but not just the blue also look at that in that sense in that oh and all Lester then <laughs> in that sensational isn't that sensational um, and then you've got this beautiful what color would you got mint Teal? Yeah, like a light teal, minty. Yeah. It's a linen texture, so it's not pure solid. Yeah, love that. And then you've got the white as well. 957405, not just for the fabric and the pattern. Let's not forget the paper pieces as well. You've got those included, which of course yeah. is what brings it all together. And that's enough to make the front of the the paper pieces you get is enough to make, to the, make front the front of, of the it. Back. Yeah. Um, question, do we leave the pieces of paper in? No, they come out once you finish sewing. We take them out. Okay, yeah. fabulous. 3899-947505. Uh, 405 is your item number. Now, if you just want the pattern, maybe you've got your own fabric at home. You're more than welcome for that. Just the pattern only, £9.99. pence. If you're thinking, well, hang on, what about the paper pieces? Well, you've got the pattern on the back for people to cut their own. Yeah, photocopy. They're two size as well. Yeah. You don't need to enlarge them. Excellent. The correct size. 473-593 is your item number, £9.99. And 99 pence and if you want the pattern with the paper pieces without the fabric then we'll bring the details up on the screen for that 699-004 16 pounds and 49 pence so you've got the choice there you can either go for the whole kit you can go for the uh, pattern and the paper piecing or you can just go for the pattern it's entirely up to you so the paper pieces we use as yes. well you'll be able to reuse them you won't just need you oh, won't, fabulous. it's not just one tote bags worth i reuse them six seven times do you so you can get plenty out Brilliant. Oh, isn't that great? Love that. Right, let's move on. We've got another one for you now. Um, and this is a cushion. It's absolutely beautiful. And the fabric that you've got included with this particular deal, we've got the cushion actually uh, behind us just there. We'll have a look at that in a moment's time. It's just beautiful because you've got those bees. And bees are so, so popular at the moment. So the full kit, which is your pattern, the fabric, and the paper pieces, 722205 is your item number, and it's just two payments of £22. Um, let's have a look at the fabric. This is, again, what a find. Isn't it? It's so yeah. pretty. Love these. So we have got some beautiful flowers, very traditional, very vintage style flowers that you've got there. We've also got the bees in the grey, so you've got the white. Then you've got the black fabric with the bees on there. You've got some lovely check 
you've got some grey, some, what do you call that, is that gingham? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah gingham pattern, and then you've got more beads, that delightful, and then the black, and then the grey. And that all comes together with the patterns and the instructions to build and create this lovely cushion that we've got here, which is a really nice design. You know when you're looking at it and you see the different shapes that you've got on there, you see the hexagons, but I think it's very clever how you've got, is it the quilting that goes over it that's dividing up the hexagons? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and then it just looks different shapes. So I'm seeing one shape, and then it, I don't know about you guys at home, I'm looking at this panel here going down there, and then I'll suddenly have a look at the hexagons instead. It's really nice like that, isn't it? It's like an optical illusion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, love that. £43.99, pence, an excellent buy for you if you want to go for that. And, of course, that comes with the fabric, the paper piecing and the pattern. Um, and if you want the pattern, we'll bring the details up on the screen just for the pattern itself. You might have your own fabric, but you really like the style. Again, on the back, you've got the template for the paper piecing. And that's just 999 644969 is your item number. And then if you want it with the paper piecing, we'll bring the details up for that. There you go, you get 69 paper pieces in that, 19 pounds and 49 pence, and that includes your um, pattern. So that is for the paper piecing and the pattern, just 19 pounds and 49 pence. Marvellous deal, marvellous deal. Right, next up, we've got the honeycomb, honeycomb, sewing machine i wanted to say honeycomb it's honeycomb isn't it yeah honeycomb sewing machine so the pattern you've got here with the paper piecing just 9.99 oh that's just the pattern sorry 9.99 just for the pattern let me just bring that forward so you know what you're getting um and that's for the machine cover and we've actually got one of those right here in the studio and i think that's always handy isn't it what i'll do is i'll just lean over and grab that i think no, I'll just, yeah, lift that off. That's brilliant. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? It's great to keep your machine protected. Yeah, just keeps that dust out and looks pretty at the same time because often the ones that you get with sewing machines are often just plastic and plain. Yeah. So it's always nice to make something pretty to go with it. Yeah, well, it's inspirational, And I've it? made it larger for a larger machine. And all you have to do if, if you do have a smaller machine yeah. is just leave the outer, what would you say? Piping. No, no, no. Uh, you'd still bind it. It's just the outer paper pieces. Ah, uh, right, You yeah. would just stop a line before all oh, the way okay. round and it yeah. would just make it that bit smaller. Oh, excellent. Well, that's, yeah. that's fair enough. You can me measure it as you go if you measure your machine. Yeah. Keep adding the paper pieces and just measure them and once you're happy with the size, then you can just stop. Love that. I love the fabrics you've used in this one, but you might have some fabrics at home. Uh, some scrap fabrics that you might want to just put together, which would be really nice for a sewing machine cover. And then when you're not using it as a sewing machine cover, you can have a little picnic blanket, maybe. Yeah, a wall hanging. So if, if it actually looks really pretty, just as a wall hanging. Oh, that's Does nice. that look lovely against a wall? So all you have to do is just not add the ties. When yeah. In the pattern, when it says add the ties, just don't. Yeah. And then just bind it like you would a quilt, and then you've got a wall hanging. That's, it really is. It easy to do. So if we, easy. Is it? It's so, just one shape. Really. So if we, if if someone's brand new to paper piecing, would you say this would be a great project to start yeah. with? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Love that. Um, so that's just the pattern on its own. If you want to go for the pattern and the paper pieces, then we do have the details. They're already pre-cut for you, so why wouldn't you? Just £18.99. 852530 is your item number for that one. You choose, you decide. Now, the next kit we've got for you is rather interesting. This is your scrappy, hexi, scrappy hexi thread catcher. Yeah. Whew, and your pencil case, that was easy. Um, <laughs> great little project. I tell you what, the fabrics are fabulous. Oh, I mean, this is, this is you in fabric form, isn't it? Yeah, it's think? Alison Glass. She's my favourite fabric designer. I use her fabric so much. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these, these are wonderful. And unlike, I mean, we sell lots of fabric here at the craft store. But to get a collection like this... I think it's a, it's a wonderful idea because normally you'd be buying it in the meters and you might like one and then you might like another, yeah. but you can't afford to buy huge, big pieces all the time. This gives you a really good taster of all the different patterns. Yeah, it's eight fat eights. Wow. So that's half a fat quarter. Yeah. Most quarters know what a fat quarter is. So it's yeah. half of that as a fat eighth and you get enough fabric to make the thread catcher and the pencil case. Wow. Including the lining for both of them. So Excellent. just cut your larger pieces first yep. on both projects and then your hexagons. 
Now, let me just open the pencil case. Do we get the zip with the pencil case? No. Okay, so you can get your it's own nine zip. Nine inch zip. Yeah. Good. But that's what we mean by putting a beautiful fabric on the inside. Hello. Oh, I always have to do this. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, the fabric on the inside uh, looks brilliant, doesn't it? And if you've got something on the outside that looks amazing, you need something on the inside too. Then you've got your thread catcher as well. Now, this is a great idea for your craft room. So you've got your thread catcher just here that you can put on the side of your table. And then you've got this area, which is weighted but it's also got another use as well. Yeah, so it's a pin cushion. If you pop your pins on, the uh, crushed walnut shells yep. will sharpen the pins. I don't leave my pins in there, but it's perfect while you're doing projects just to put them in. Excellent. And I always take them out afterwards. Now, we do have some walnut, ground walnut here for you. If I just, it's not for baking or eating, but it goes in to the, uh, the weight catcher on your thread. Um, catcher and that will sharpen your pins as well so just stick them in and pull them out uh, which is brilliant so not really as a pin cushion but stick them in and pull them out you get this little hexagon bag as well hessian bag sort of hexagon honeycombs oh dear uh, you get this hessian bag as well with your um Walnut shells in there. I don't know why words are just going from my head at the minute. So the full kit, two pence, twenty-six pounds, six six nine zero four seven is your item number. Fifty-one ninety-nine if you want to pay for all of that in one sitting. Now, if you just want to go for the pattern with the paper piecing, that doesn't include the fabrics or the walnut shells. So if you just want to go for the pattern and the paper pieces, you're more than welcome to do so. You've probably got your own fabrics at home. £18.99, so that will make you your scrappy thread catcher and your pencil case. So that's your choices with that. Um, but if you want to go for the whole kit and caboodle, you will get your walnut, ground so walnut, and that fabulous there's fabric. There's two patterns in front of you. You can just see the top yeah, one, let the me other just one grab hiding that. behind it. There you so, go. Yeah, you get two, two full patterns, set yeah, patterns Yeah, so it. it is a great deal, isn't it? Wonderful. And we can make these as many times as we like. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Right, next up, we have got the wagon wheel. So let's give you the details for the full kit. So you've got your pattern, you've got your fabric, and you've got your paper pieces. And is this the Excellent. wagon wheel is behind uh, Jenny? That's remarkable. <laughs> Again, beginner, intermediate? A beginner can do this. It looks so much harder than it is. It is actually just one block made up, repeated. It's rotated slightly, but yeah. it's then just sewn together. So it's actually a square block. So. I guess it is just going one block at a time. Yeah, you just make the blocks and then sew them together. It's and once you've done one, you can just do the next one and yeah. the next one. It gets easier and easier. But put them together, I mean, that is fabulous. And I do like the colours you've used as well. So you've got all of that lovely splash of colour, but then it tones it down with the grey and white. It's very clever. Very clever, isn't it? £59.99 if you want to go for that. One, two, nine, six, seven, zero. And if you want to go for the pattern with the paper piecing, so let's take the fabric away so you know exactly what you're getting, and you go for the paper piecing, if you want that, then it's £19.99, one four nine six three eight is your item number. And then if you want just the pattern itself, no paper pieces included or fabric, it's just 9 99 if you want to go for that, 534161. Lots of options for you, that's what we'd like to deliver to you. Now finally... Let me just move those over. Finally, we have got this beautiful flower it quilt. Uh, the whole complete kit, including the fabric and the pattern and the paper pieces, of which there are many different shapes, Jenny. There are. Lots um, of different sizes. In both of the kits, you don't get enough paper pieces to make the whole quilt as such. Yes. But you get enough that you can just reuse them. Right. So, so once the, you've sewn them, you once, take them out. Once um, one, um, every side of a shape has been sewn around, you can take that paper piece out. Yeah. So my dad, who's a math genius, he worked out exactly how many paper pieces you needed to be able to reuse and not get stuck. Wow. Thank you, Dad. He's a genius. Thank you, Dad. Um, I just think that's brilliant. I really, really do. And again... It looks different. It looks modern. You've got those beautiful, vibrant colours in there as well. Um, sorry, my head's in the way. <laughs> Serious, seriously. I apologise. 
It's difficult because I don't know my left from my right. So when they say go left, go right, I just, I just have to sway until somebody goes, not that way. So apologies for seeing my head. You don't get my head included. It is the pattern, the fabric and the paper pieces, but it will make that wonderful quilt that hopefully you got a glimpse without my head. Um, 67 pounds 99 pence, 500-297. Now, if you don't want the fabric, let's take that away for you. And then let's just show you the paper piecing. You do get a lot of paper piecing in that one. And they are reusable again, aren't they? Because oh, yeah. we can reuse them for yeah. the project and reuse them again afterwards. £19.99, 781-833 is your item number. And if you just want the pattern without the paper pieces, then that is 999 Now the website is where you can go to to see all of the kits that we've got available for you, all of the options as well. And you can see the five star reviews that we've got there as well. So many people getting into soft crafts at the moment. It's a way of relaxing and it's a way of creating and it's a way of gifting because the things and the items that you make would make lovely gifts for people that you know and that also make great additions to your household as well. And it's a great addition to your skill set. Uh, so go and have a look at all the different patterns we've got available for you, the different fabrics um, and the different options, which is great. And also we've got some books on there as well. So if you're getting into your quilting and you need some help, oh, miniature quilts. Oh, I'd like to have a look at that. I wonder if they're miniature, 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 or they're just miniature. Uh, £12.99. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like Doll's House miniature. Yeah, that would be no, amazing. Really, some of them are. There's some piecing that you can get, which are just like the smallest really? piecing ever. Yeah. You see, you know, I love anything miniature. Making miniature quilts for Doll's Houses would be oh. quite a skill set. Uh, right, let's head over to Jenny and let's take a look right. uh, at our first demo. What are we going to do? Yeah, so I was going to just start with the tote bag okay, and just basically show you how to English paper piece from the start. Please, So I tend to give you strips of fabric in most of the kits. Some of the kits you have to cut your strips from the fabric if it's larger amounts. So I've just got a tiny bit here because it's a leftover. I like to use less fabric yeah. so then I can like have more kits for everyone. Okay. <laughs> Right, so what you're going to do is you're going to place your shape on top of the fabric. You need a quarter of an inch seam allowance around the shape. Okay. So as you can see, this is fine here. It doesn't have to be precise. No. If you've been doing it a while, most, a lot of people just can eye it and just cut it. Yeah. But if you're new to this, and this project is perfect for beginners as well, and I am available all the time. If you get stuck, you can just contact me on my website. Is that for anything or just sewing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I end up chatting with everyone as well. Oh, so it's um, my website, www.hashtagso.com. So you okay. can catch me on there or any of my social medias. I'm always available okay. to answer any questions oh, if you get confused with well, anything. That's good. Right, so I've placed the shape on here and I'm just going to add a quarter of an inch here. Oh, I've got a pen that works. <laughs> Doesn't that happen very often. Who thought that on a craft channel? I always grab the wrong one. <laughs> There we go. So I've just added quarter an inch, quarter of an inch on these ones because there's already enough round yeah. the edges there. So then you're just going to cut this off. I always cut English paper piecing with scissors. I don't bother with a rotary cutter, mostly because they're smaller pieces, aren't they? Yeah, and I mean, EPP is just the best thing to do on the sofa. English paper pieces. Yes. Yes. Whew. Yeah. Way. <laughs> yeah. English paper pieces. It's perfect sofa sewing. Sit in the evening watching yeah. TV, yeah, sewing because yeah. I can't sit still. No, I, I feel like I'm wasting my time <laughs> if I'm just sat watching something. I'm like, I know what you mean. I... Let me use my hands at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yeah, I have to do two or three things if I'm sitting down watching the TV. I can't help it. It's just it helps me concentrate in an odd kind of way. Right? Yeah. Same here. Mother half constantly says like, I don't watch TV. It's the TV radio <laughs> because I'm always doing something. I'm yeah. not just sat there watching yeah. it. <laughs> But right. I bet you take in more than your other half. Well, yeah, he doesn't get this. Yeah. I totally do. Right, so next stage is you can thread base. You just use a needle and thread. You don't okay. need to go through the card. You just catch the fabric. Okay. Um, but I am, um, I love the glue pens okay. for it because it's not going to damage your fabric, the card. A lot of people glue onto the card, but I realise that if you glue on the fabric, the card lasts yeah. even longer. Okay. So what you're going to do, you don't need much at all. So you're just going to place your card back down. You're going to choose one side to start with. And you probably can't see because I've got a blue glue stick on blue fabric. 
but you only need the tiniest amount anyway and then you're just going to fold it over and it sticks. So if we're gluing the paper to the fabric, can we take the paper out? Yeah, so it's just, it's, it's not permanent glue. You can leave it in 10 minutes, you can leave it in two years, it will still come out wow. without a problem. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Wow, yeah, that is amazing. So you're just going to go all the way around your shapes. And another reason why I like glue basting is you can honestly, you get such a good shape yeah. with it. Uh, also a hint is if you're, you, if you're going to make your own templates, don't use printer paper, it's too thin. Oh really? So, yeah, what, so what would you say? I use 170 GSM card because then GSM. I can reuse, reuse. The problem is if it's really thin, as you're manipulating the fabric round, yep. whether it's by um, glue or thread basting, you're going to bend the shape slightly. Got you. And then when you go to sew them together, they're not going to fit well no. at all. Do you use an iron with the paper in to iron it? At you all? can do if you want. I mean, there's a thing called EPP applique, so you're gonna you would make I don't know, let's say one of these, yeah, and then just sew the block onto a background fabric. Yeah. So in that case, yes, you press it, take the paper pieces out, and press it again before you applique. Got you. But yeah, I usually press around the edge of yeah. mine um, when it's still got the card in. Even though when you quilt stuff, you're going to square it off anyway. I think it's just a habit that I'm in. Yeah. You're just going to want to. So I've gone round all, all the shape there. And that is your shape basted. Super. That's the nice thing about having the pre-cut shape. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> and the great thing is they're all the same size. Because even if you're cutting two or three pieces of paper or card at the same time, if your scissors aren't right, you're not using the right uh, cutting tool, yeah. you're always going to get one that's going to be a little bit smaller, not quite right. This way, you've got them all pre-cut. That's one of the way of buying, either in the full kit or with the pattern and the paper piecing. If you're confident in cutting your own paper piecing, then that's absolutely fine. You can go just for the patterns themselves if you want to, but it's a good point to make. Yeah. Right, so... When you're sewing together, you just put, I'm going to want to make a shape like this, like a cross. So as you can see, it's the four together there. So you're just going to take these and you're going to put them right sides together like this. And I use a little clip here. So this is my tip. I say it every time I'm on. If you have sore wrists or anything yep. and, and you just want to loosen your grip, pop a clip on the opposite end that you're sewing on. And then that means you don't have to grip it as tight to keep it in place because it's not going anywhere. Okay, good tip. Um, I've got the back here, actually. Let me just pop the pattern down just to show you, uh, if you have just joined us, um, exactly what that pattern is going to look like. Um, it looks beautiful. It really does. I love this bag. Um, and again, it's going to be one of those bags for life or maybe your best bag that you take out with you. Yeah, and it's such a good gift. Yeah. I love giving handmade gifts to people. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's one of those projects. Special, perfect, isn't it? Because yeah. then you can, if, you know, if you're not using those fabrics, you know what your friends like, yeah. your family. So you can, uh, half the fun of buying fabric is the hunt to find yeah. the perfect fabric, right? Of course it so, is, yeah. And you've got some beautiful fabric included in this project. So just to show you which way it's going, now the pattern with the paper piecing, 40% of the stock gone. 40% of the stock gone, that's if you're going for the pattern and the paper pieces. But if you want to go for the whole kit and caboodle, which includes your fabric, it is sensational fabric. Details at the bottom of the screen, 38.99. Back to you, Jenny. All right, so you're just going to take your thread and do a small knot at the end of your thread. And you're going to start in the outer corner here. So you don't sew through the card at all. You just pick the corner, a tiny bit of thread uh, of the fabric and go straight through. And then you're going to just do small whip stitches all the, the way across, just picking a small bit of fabric. So when the nice thing about this card as well is when you put your needle in, yeah. you can feel the card, so you're not gonna go through it. Got you. So I use nice little stitches on TV. I tend to use slightly bigger ones so that I can get across the shape quicker. And what's the advantage of keeping the paper in as you stitch rather than just taking the paper out now? Because you, you were, the fabric would just be manipulated. It would be yeah. really hard to have a straight line to sew on. Got you. You're, you're running your needle along the edge of the card. Right. So you're going to have that dead straight line yes. when, you, when you open it out. Yeah. 
And I guess that's what paper piecing is all about, making those straight lines, making it all even, and making it very exactly. concise. It, yeah. it really is about precision with this, but without the effort. You yeah. can be a wonky person. I'm yeah. a very wonky person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so English paper piecing keeps my lines straight. Where did your love of paper piecing begin? Uh, do you know what? Actual paper piecing? Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so I started quilting via my auntie, and when I joined Instagram, I was seeing all hexagons mostly. And I was like, oh, that would be the perfect project to do in the evenings. Yeah. Because my son was only little. Yeah. Didn't like using my sewing machine when he'd gone to bed in case it woke him up, because yeah. he woke up at any little noise. Yeah. So I started doing it, and within months, I was designing my own stuff. Wow, what yeah. a story. Isn't that fantastic? So you're just going to go all the way. I'm nearly at that end. It's a great travel project as well. Yeah, Going on holiday, is. I always have a little tin or a little pouch with EPP. Because nice, you don't need much. Yeah, it, it is. It's a nice travel project. It's a nice handbag project. It's a yes. nice man bag project. School run project when yes. you're having to go early and you're stuck in a car. Oh, and you yes. might as well just do, or even if your kids go to clubs. Well, I, I'd always recommend outside. if you're going to do paper piecing, pull over in a lay by. Yeah. Don't be doing it on the road in a traffic Definitely jam. That's so. not what we meant. We meant if you're on a long journey and you're like, oh, I need a break, pull over into a service station yeah. and then get your, your, your EP. E EPP? Yeah. EPP out at the service station. It sounds a little bit dodgy. Don't tell the police officer I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Do it safely in a lay-by <laughs> or a service station. Anyway, let's move on from that. Okay, so I've got <laughs> to the end of the, um, of the shape. So you're just going to open it out and they, as you can see, you've got a gorgeous straight line. Wow, now yes, now I see, I see that, yeah. Yeah, so if you didn't have those cards in to follow, it, it, wouldn't, it, it would be straight, probably no. a bit wonky because you would end up catching the wrong bit of wow, the fabric. yeah. So as you open it out, often you can see your stitches a tiny bit, but that adds to the gorgeous handmade feel of English yeah, paint piecing. Yeah, definitely. So now, as you're in the middle and you want to add another shape, you don't need to um, snap your thread off, I say snap. Knot it off. <laughs> don't, don't snap it off because it will come undone. Yeah. So you're going to want to add this one here. Okay. So you're just going to, again, right sides together. Clip the far end. And you are just going to go exactly how you did before. So obviously, people often say to me that I look like I sew differently. Well, I'm left-handed for starters, so sometimes that comes across as a bit confusing. Because okay. people often start from the other end. Oh, so you started so from I the... So I always start from the left when I'm sewing. A lot of people start from the right. Oh, yeah. And also, I've been told a lot of people sew into them, and I go out. Oh. Yeah, oh, and actually, one lady said I have trouble sewing, hand sewing. It hurts my wrist, this, uh, and it was telling me. She was like, then I watched you on TV. I saw you sewing away from yourself. I started doing it, and now I'm fine. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> yeah, so it was really oh, handy. It was I don't know what I do, actually. I need a needle and thing. I go in. I think I, I think I go to the side. I don't know. Yeah. I think I go that way. So I go in t and then out towards me, but a lot of people um, go oh. like they'll sew this way. But right. to me, that I just I couldn't do that. No, no. There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever's comfortable exactly, for you. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I want to mention the sewing machine cover if I can. Um, now this is a pattern with the paper piecing. Uh, if you want to go for this, it's a good size as well. Um, we're actually talking about using it as a nice little picnic blanket. Size-wise, I would say. Uh, 40 oh, it's in the pattern. It, it might be in the it's, pattern. It's actually, in the, the pattern. Size which is Somewhere. further down the counter. Oh, I might have one. Oh, we, we might have one for you so you can get the uh, measurements. And I guess I would say 54 inches by something else. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll have a rummage around. Oh, we've got a measuring mat. We could measure it on the measuring mat. No, we've got the pattern. Watch it not have it in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 
It's 22 and three quarters inch by 27 and a half inch. There you go. There you go. 22 by 27 thereabouts. Um, and that's if you do it at that size. You can make it a little bit bigger or a bit or smaller if you yeah, want you to. Yeah, you can just add to it. So yeah. if your machine is much smaller, I've made it for... Um, my massive duty that I usually have with me. Oh, right. But you literally, you would just need to leave out this outer edge. Yep. And then just keep leaving the outer edges and then you can just cut to the right size once, you, once you've got it. There you go, and that fits on You were saying it would make a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so with the paper pieces, 70 paper pieces in total, £18.99. pence. You can reuse the paper pieces and I'm just thinking could we make to sell with this or yeah but I'm happy for you to on a small scale small scale which yeah. is nice nice if you're doing it to make money for yeah, charity little, I yeah would say. Uh, craft little craft yeah. fairs and stuff that's totally fine oh lovely 18 pounds and 99 pence 852530 nice little project to keep your machine protected or someone else's uh, back to Jenny all right so I've just come along to the end of that let me get into the right position so everyone can see yeah what I'm doing so when you get to the end of um, a line I, use, I just wrap my thread round a couple of times and pull it through and it knots and I just snap my fabric so, uh, my cotton so oh, didn't need my scissors <laughs> we'll, we'll, do what, what we'll, do. we'll have we'll have a little recap down the okay. counter uh, for anyone that's just joined us just show you exactly what we've got for you and to give you a reminder if you've been engrossed in the uh, demonstrations right the tote bag if you want to go for the full kit and caboodle uh, you've got these beautiful fabrics in here and you've got your paper piecing with that pattern that you can use again. You can use the paper pieces again if you want to. Let me bring the bag in to show you because here it is in all its glory with the beautiful colours in there. So you've got those lovely cross designs, the butterflies and the plain fabric and then you've got the plain on the back and then you've got the larger handles as well. So it feels comfortable when you're wearing that. And because uh, you do wear a bag, don't you? And then you've got the quilting elements on there, which is great. I'm just going to pop this over my shoulder. It's nice. I like it because I'm going to come all the way back here. Where are we? Um, it's a good. There you go. Uh, it's a good. It's a good size. Good size. And I like the bags like this that are a little bit larger. But also, I like the fact that it's up here because it's not going to strain my um, shoulder. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, when they've got longer straps. It's a bit more of a strain, but when it's up here, you can also just hold it under there if you want if it gets yeah, too cool. Yeah, I just find that little bit of padding yeah. from the wadding just yeah. also stops it from digging in if you do your part really. Yeah, I do like that. Right. Now, if you want to go for the whole kit and caboodle, it's £38.99. If you want to go for the pattern and the paper piecing, and you want to go for those only, so let's bring those together and avert your eyes away from. We are limited stock on that, limited stock. £16.49, pence, six double nine zero zero four. but limited stock. So if you want to get a hold of that, pop it into your basket now and check on out. And if you want just the pattern itself, let's bring that forward again. If you want just the pattern, we'll bring the details up for that. £9.99, pence. but you've got your templates on the back for your paper piecing to cut out at home. So those are your three options you've got there. Let's shuffle along a bit and go to our beautiful cushion. I love this. Um, the, the fabrics in here are absolutely delightful. You've got that vintage vibe going on. You've got those nice darker colours as well. So maybe this is going to be um, a cushion for your dad um, or your partner. It'd be a lovely gift, and especially if they like bees as well. It really is lovely. And you've got a kind of an optical illusion going on. We've got, um, we've got a lovely um, cushion behind us, which is in the fabrics that we've got. But it's kind of an optical illusion because you're seeing the hexagons, but when you also look at it, because of the quilting that's on there, the stitching, you can see you've got those lines down there, then you've got the line over there, then you've got the hexagon patterns, then you've got all the different patterns in there. It's absolutely fabulous. What a great little project for you. If you want to go for the pattern, the fabric and the paper piecing, two payments of £22. That's £22 a day and another payment in a month's time. You can, of course, reuse the paper piecing and the pattern again if you want to. Now, if you want the pattern with the paper piecing, let's move the fabric out of the way, just so you know what you're getting. If you want to go for those two, then it's £19.49, pence. Two zero six is your item number for that. And if you just want the pattern, so again, we'll bring that forward for you so you can see. If you just want the pattern, then we'll bring the details up on the screen. £9.99, pence. Six double four nine six nine is your item number. Um, I would be inclined to go for the fabric as well because it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you get the fabric for the back of the cushion as well. You get the the fabric yeah, for the, the back. Backing. So it's just yeah. the front and the back. You don't get the binding fabric, but that's just two strips of 
two strips by the width of length of fabric yeah. and you just bind it like you would a quilt which i think is brilliant lovely so let's just place that back out there and then we can have a look at that in a moment's time next up next up we've got the honeycomb um now this is a great addition to your craft room because it's going to keep your sewing machine nice and clean now if you want to go for the pattern and the paper pieces 18 pounds and 99 pence you get 70 of the paper pieces that's what a lot of you are going for eight five two five three zero is your item number if you want to go for that and then if you want the pattern on its own We'll bring the details for that. So we'll bring this forward so you know what you're getting. There you go, just the pattern on its own. 453-971-9.99 pence, all designed by Jenny Jackson herself. Right, now something's really useful for your craft room, something very, very useful. Um, and that's your pencil case and your lovely bag to catch all your stitching and to crack, catch all your little bits and bobs that fall from your table like your thread catcher which is great and what's nice about this inside here if you're going for the full kit you will get your and i love this ground walnut shell There's just something fabulous about that there really is and you also get this hessian bag as well and that will sharpen your needles or will help to sharpen your needles um so it's fabulous isn't it so you get that included with your paper pieces and then this beautiful fabric by, is it Mark? Alison Glass. Alison Glass, that's it. Um, beautiful, gorgeous fabric. Really, really is. Something a little bit different. Something a little bit different. If you want to get a hold of the full kit, two pounds, 26 pounds, 669047 is your item number in a fabric to make your pencil case and your thread catcher. And of course, you've got all the other bits alongside that. You've got your two patterns which are included. So that is superb value for money. Now, if you want to go, let me just pop that in there. If you want to go for the pattern with the paper pieces, so not the fabrics, let's take that away for a moment, or the walnut shells. If you just want to go for the two patterns, when I say just, you're getting two patterns, so that's a great deal. If you want both of the patterns and the paper pieces, £18.99, 686538 is your item number for those, which is a great deal. Let's just pop that back in. And then we've got another project for you. This is your wagon wheel. Always used to find that difficult to say as a kid. Wagon wheel. <laughs> wagon wheel uh, quilt, uh, which is by Jenny. Uh, did you design this, Jenny? I did indeed. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I've made it in a, a couple of different colourways as Have well. You? So, yeah, it looks lovely. It's and this Alice and Glass fabric again. Yeah, and doesn't it make it stand out? Yeah. It really makes it pop. So you've got like, you can't tell when you just glance at it. So it's the same print, but one's on a white background and one's on a black background. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they look. Yeah, they you do. You have to look to see it. Yeah, I, I love that. And those fabrics are included. Those fabrics are included in the kit that you're getting. And do you know what I've just noticed? Because I'm looking at this from the side now, I'm seeing that full on. I've just noticed the different colours that are in the centre as well. Wow. Yeah. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. You can make that at home. Two paints of £30. Could be your very first project. One, two, nine, six, seven, zero is your item number. Now, if you want to go for the wagon wheel pattern with the paper piecing, not this gorgeous fabric. Come on, why wouldn't you? That's beautiful. Um, if you want to go for the paper piecing and the pattern on its own, £19.99, 149638 is your item number for that. And then finally for you, if you want to go for just the pattern for your wagon wheel quilt, £9.99. Very busy for that one. 534161 is your item number. And the last kit we've got for you, is the flower a rug and I'm not going to get my head in the way this time I don't know if this is a good place for me to stand but I will do the full kit is 67 pounds and 99 pence 503297 but you can see there it's absolutely brilliant shall I I'll just I'll just it's so you know with this one you actually get the fabric for the binding which is white you get that within the background fabric I put enough in there as a free little gift just yes so Aww. you can bind for that one as well because I think it looks really nice with the white yeah, binding because it it's so bright I really like that pattern it's really cool isn't it so that would be block by block block by block and then I'm it trying has joining to pieces so one block yeah. is the flower with the white around it 
the eight pieces of white around a flower. And then you've got the corner And patterns. then, yeah, there's, then there's a got corner you. and the joining pieces, they're separate. Isn't, they're it, the isn't it amazing? You know, when you bring the blocks together and it creates something like this. Um, I, I was just looking at it thinking, right, where's the block? What am I looking at? But yes, that's the block just there, as so you can see. So, so the it's actual just the white, so the, the joining big shape in the middle, the floral shape. Yeah. The floral fabric. That's a separate shape. That's not four shapes sewn together. That's one big shape. That's one big shape? Yeah. Oh, wow. So the actual block is just where, where it goes up to the white fabric around the flower. That bit there? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a block made here. I'll oh, show you. Oh, superb. Jenny, you have saved the day. We'll have a look at that in a moment. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Uh, but it just goes to show um, it is easy, trust me, uh, to do. This could be your very first. Now, do we get the backing fabric for this one? No, no. It's, it's, it, well, you get the white background fabric. Background, but, but you, not don't the, get, you don't get the backing fabric. For not the, the backing quilt, fabric. No. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, I haven't got that one sorted. <laughs> If you want to go for the whole kit, those are your details on your screen. Two pence and thirty-four pounds. If you want to split the cost over two months. Now the paper pattern with the pieces. Let's take the fabric away. So the paper pattern with the pieces. If you just want to go for those, then the details are nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Seven eight one eight three three. And if you want to go just for the pattern without anything else at all, here we go. Just want to go for that on his own. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Seven four eight zero one four. Excellent. Now we've got an update on the tote bag pattern, the one that I am modelling with the paper piecing. Sixteen pounds and forty nine pence. We've sold out, but it's back on extended, so you can get a hold of that. And it's ten day extended. Six nine nine zero zero four. It's going to be dispatched on the twenty eighth of August. There you go, £16.49 pence dispatching on the 28th of August. 699004 is your item number for that one, proven to be popular, which is great. And then we've got one more to show you. It's the cushion pattern with the bees and the paper piecing. Really like that. Really, really like that. Um, if it's £19.49, 979206. Right, let's go back to uh, Jenny. Should we have a look at that block, Jenny? Uh, yeah, there. sure. I'll show you that quickly. Then I was going to go to that pattern Excellent. and show you. So, this is what the actual block looks like. Got you. Okay. So it's just the white around. And yes. then this is one of the joining pieces. Right. Which goes here, here. And then you've got the half shapes for the edge. And, and this got it. shape cut into four for, got the, for it. a corner. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jenny. That's all right. Right. So I was just going to quickly show you, just because this is really aimed at people that have never done this before. Okay. So the final shape just needs to pop in there. So you're just going to again right sides together and if you start at the outside then you can just use one thread you don't have to um, knot it off at all okay and you'll just go around I'm not going to sew it all because I want to just show you some other bits and bobs okay so you'll just carry on along there then imagine that line sewn together like this then you would just fold it over and you would carry on sewing there and then that would be one of the crosses done. Brilliant. So. And when do we take the paper out? So you can't take the paper out until, oh, I've got this, all sides of a shape are sewn around. Right. Unless it's an edge piece. And then if you really want to use that, you can take it out because it's not going to make a difference. Just give it a press. Got you. So make sure that it's all but sewn But if you are edge. sewing another shape around it, then you need to make sure. So I can use this as an example. I was going to just show you the wagon wheel, the blocks just because sometimes I think it's easier for people to even see it broken down, even if I'm not sewing it. Yes. They can see it looks less scary like this. Yeah. So that's a wagon wheel block, so that's the quilt behind me. Okay. Like this. See, it looks interesting just on its own, doesn't it? Yeah. So you could actually make a bag. So use the template for this bag. Yeah. But just instead of doing the EPP front, you could do a plain front. Yes. And then you could applique this on the front. Yeah, that would or look great. Or applique too. Yeah, yeah, that would look great. Or, in fact, if you want to make this, they make really good cushions. So the way I've sized it is if you do four blocks, yep. you've got... That's a cushion. And that's a normal sofa-sized cushion. Yeah. You know, your typical size. Yeah. So you could just do that. Like that. What so if you didn't idea. want to make the quilt, but you wanted the kit, yeah. you can make four cushions. You can make, you can make the quilt and have some cushions as well. 
Yeah, you, you'd have to buy more fabric for that. Yeah. I'm just saying if the kit, yeah. but if you're oh, using your you. own fabric, got you, yes. then yeah, you can make a quilt with So you can make four cushions. cushions then? You can make four cushions or out of the, the quilt. kit or got the quilt. You. Yeah. yeah, what a great idea. Yeah. Great idea. So yeah, this one is very simple. What I've done is I've, I've basted a couple of the shades. Just I won't sew them because it takes longer. So it would be a case of adding these together. So these dog ears here, it's called dog ears. Oh, don't cut them off. You don't need to because once you sew, they are going to disappear. Okay, it's and it's just magic. like around the edge. You can see these here. You can always trim them down, but just not too close to the stitching okay. and stuff. Because yeah. you, you just don't need to. So this one's a really simple one. You're going to sew those four together to start with. And then you're going to sew these around the edge. So I would sew all of them around the edge here like this before you sew them before I sew up the sides right. I would sew all of these because then this is my way of making paper pieces last even longer okay because if you were gonna sew this one and this one together first and then you wanted to sew up that side you would have to bend this card okay but if you sew all the way around the edge you can remove all of those pieces of card oh. how would you remove them then I will show you let Excellent. me show, I'll show you on this one that's not really sewn so it's really easy. You I'm have to use gonna... the right glue in order to do this. You can oh, just yeah, go and grab glue, some yeah. regular glue. Yeah. Use the special so so if you've got nails you can just pop your nails under it and go. I'd get Millie to do that, my Jack Russell, because she's got bigger nails than me. Or you can grab your sewing needle. It's attached to something. And you can just run it under. Okay. You see, that just peeled off then. There you go. So you can just peel it off. As you can see, obviously that wouldn't be all mangled like that because it would be sewn to shapes. Yeah. And then as you can see, the template is perfectly fine. Right, and you can just use it again. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. So if you do those, and then the only other thing, these shapes have probably, actually this is the perfect this shape has probably been used about 12, 15 times. Is it? It's still going. And it's still fine, Brilliant. even though it's got that point. So I'm just going to show you how to do these, because you want them facing opposite directions. So it's the same shape, yeah. but you want it opposite directions. So as you can see, let me get another one. So these two are the same shape, yeah. but, gosh, what am I doing? need to mirror it there you go as you can see if you line them like that they're facing the got opposite you that way so you need to make sure when you're cutting the fabric that for example you would have that one on the back of the fabric like this when you cut and this one if you cut it using the back of the fabric you want to make sure it's facing the opposite way got you because if you were to cut this one like this and baste it then you would realize that you had all of the same shapes facing yep. the same way. Yeah. So just work that out. Just, to just work that out before you cut. And then check that's... twice. Cut once. <laughs> check. Very <laughs> you good. Don't need to measure, do you? Very good. Yeah. You can't yeah. sew it back on, really. So once those have all been sewn together, you you just add those around the edge. So yeah. it is so simple, and it's the same technique over and oh. over again, just with different shapes. And I do use different shapes. I yeah. don't use the traditional hexagon yeah. that often yeah. just for my scrappy hexi collection i've yeah. got loads of different scrappy hexi projects yes not just those ones and um then i just love going mad and just i think that's brilliant i love the fact with the kit you've got the opportunity you can see it there behind jenny you could make four cushions if you want to with four of the blocks making up one cushion so you can see the four cushions we've got in there um or you could make that quilt that's right there if you've got the paper pieces left over why not make this quilt go for the full um kit with all of those beautiful fabulous fabrics and then you could always make the quilt again in your own fabrics using the yeah. um, paper pieces. Oh, yeah, you can make loads of them. Yeah, I love that. And Actually, what a, I, I want um, a friend, she's a friend now, she's a customer, now oh. she's a friend. Oh. She, um, she bought this kit yes. the last time it was on. 
and she's made it. She sent me a picture of it. Oh, and wow. now she's making her second version in a completely different fabric Is for she her daughter. Oh, I'd like and to she see sends, that. Yeah, she sends me updates on them. And, oh, but and it, it looks, looks brilliant. Yeah, it looks lovely. It's nice to see your patterns in, in different fabrics, fabrics that other people have chosen. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just think that is amazing. I really do. But if you want to go for the full kit, then we've got the details on the screen. Two payments of £30. £30 today, £30 in a month's time. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay any PMP, so it's a great deal. Um, and the colours, again, are sensational. Something different. Perhaps those fabrics are fabrics that you've always wanted to play with. You've always wanted to have something with a suggestion of those kind of fabrics in. But you didn't really want to go for the full length fabrics that you can buy. So this yeah. is an ideal opportunity to bring some of that into your home. Yeah, it's why I cut strips as well instead yeah. of like you don't need half a meter yeah. of any of those yeah. fabrics. Yeah. So I like to do it how much you need. Yeah. So that it's more affordable for everyone. Yeah. Because it gets expensive if you're buying kits that you have got full fat quarters, half meters yeah. and stuff, and then you don't actually need that much. Yeah. So I like to try and keep it. And we're talking, you know, designer fabrics as well, top, mm. top of the range fabrics, which are fabulous. Now, Jenny, we've got about six minutes left of the show. What yeah. else can we have a look I'm at? I'm just going to show you this, um, just to show you, I've added, I said, uh, with the paper pieces you get for the kits, you don't get enough without reusing. Okay. So as you can see, this is one block. So if you turn it over, all these can be removed, all of this shape can be removed. These must have been in here for quite a long time now, as you can see. It actually, the longer you leave them in, the easier it, the is, easier it? it is to come out, yeah. Because I'd only just glued that yes. when I took it yeah. off, so yeah. it hadn't dried at all. But this has been in here for months. So it's easy to see how that's out. just come out, yeah. yeah. So in the kits, so I've made sure, as, as you can see, you can't take these ones out. Okay. Until it's sewn to another block. So these ones would have to be sewn to a block here, block underneath. Got you. So, so it's only when so you've got more edge pieces in the pattern mm. than you have the center of the block yeah. pieces because yeah. you can reuse those really quickly. So all the middle pieces can come out as long as you've got an edge going around the block. Where your neck's going to sew. Where your neck's going to sew. See, if this was actually this corner piece here, yep. what you could do is before you sew it to these shapes is you could actually press around here and remove the edge ones because okay. you're not going to sew anything to that and they're going to have to be removed yep. before you quilt it anyway. So you can do it like that. And have you quilted that one? Is that? Yep, that's quilted. How have I quilted this one? You've got to look quite close. I have quilted through the blocks. Do Simple you know, quilting. Do you know what I've just seen again like with box. that? This is what I love about blocks and quilts. I've just, yeah, I've just seen, seen the star. them. Now, that's what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on the star and the actual fabric patterns are just giving me that lovely colour in the background. I can't, isn't that, this is what I love about block quilting. It's what I love about patchworking. It's all patchworking. about colour placements. Because you could make that again. Yeah. And you could use all the same edge pieces. Yeah. And, and it would just be a block star. And now I'm so focusing there would be on less the circle. In it. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm focusing on just like the circles in the middle. It's, it's beautiful. It really, really is. Um, if you want the full kit, £59.99, pence one two nine six seven zero. Uh, two payments of £30. You can divide the cost over two months if you want to. Just £30 today and £30 in a month's time. Now, this is Jenny's only show today. So do bear that in mind if you want to make your choices and you want to check out your baskets to make sure you get all of those goodies. Now, the tote bag... And I'm fashioning, which is great. <laughs> if you want this with the pattern and the paper pieces, so maybe you don't want the fabric, you've got fabric at home and you're more than welcome to do that. We've got the pattern and the paper pieces already pre-cut for you in quality. Well, it's card, isn't it, Jenny? It is lightweight card, but yeah. it's, it's basically thin enough to bend if you can't help but bend a shape, because yeah. sometimes you need to. But it's thick enough for that not to ruin the shape and you'll still be able to use it again. Excellent. Love that. £16.49. pence. Dispatching on the 28th of August. We sold out once. And it's going again. So sixteen pounds and forty nine pence, six double nine zero zero four. If you want to go for the full kit with this fabulous fabrics, do like it. Just think it's wonderful. I really, really do. Uh, love the colours that we have in there. Let me just bring this down to show you. There you go. So you've got those crosses in there. What makes this interesting is the quilting that's running down from the top to the bottom. You don't have to do that though, Jenny, do you? If you didn't want to quilt it from top to the bottom, can oh, you, no, you can quilt else? it however you want. My mum's yeah. made loads where she's done tiny little grid quilts on yeah. it, and oh, it was wow. lovely. 
Yeah, that would look, actually, yeah, that would look um, brilliant with the thread. £38.99, 957-405 is your item number. The sewing machine cover, that's proven to be popular as well. Um, the details will bring up on the screen with the paper piecing. So the pattern with the paper pieces, £18.99, that's your sewing machine cover. Let's just open this up for you. You can see there, take it off your machine. It could be a little picnic blanket as well. It could be a wall hanging. It doesn't have to be to cover your uh, machine on it could be to put your machine onto yeah yep. you know some people like to have a steady surface uh, to put their machine onto so you could do that you could use this uh, as another pattern this could be oh, I don't know, you could use this as a big cushion how about a big cushion from yeah you could make a big floor cushion that'd be lovely you said a dog coat earlier but yeah well I didn't, <laughs> do you know what i wanted to say that but i didn't want to insult anyone oh, no, but it's not no, is it as you had it when you picked it up and it was still tied together the way you were holding it little, yeah you could yeah look so look here's the neck here's the neck of your doggy Nice little house blanket yeah. for the dog that could like, walk yeah, around not, with it. Yeah, nice little smoking quilt for him. That that's the head of the dog. Well it's more like that, isn't it? Woof, woof, woof. Or something like that. Woof woof. Uh, it looks more like him. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that would be your dog wearing that. Uh, or your cat. I don't know. Your cat might like to wear one. I don't know. That's entirely up to your cat. Probably not. Probably not. Your guinea pig, rabbit, I don't know. Husband, wife or children uh right we've got 40 seconds left right um, i was just gonna yes. say about the uh the crown cushion it's only one sh shape in this whole pattern rotated wow because we didn't talk about it so the shape is like a crown here oh i see so if you sew three together that's yep. what makes a hexagon i see so it is just those so you cut in in the pattern it shows you really clearly that you sew loads of threes together and you actually just rotate them amazing to however amazing. you want them to oh look. i'm so happy for everyone that's bought their kits you can still do so though after the show jenny thank you so thank much you hopefully much. it's not going to be so long till yes, i see you again hopefully not excellent yeah. uh we'll see what's coming up next in a moment's time but in the meantime check out your basics and get what you want hello my name's stuart and i'm the managing director of oakwood archer Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high-quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks which are just a water-based ink and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. Hi, I'm Anthea. Uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. We love wildlife um, and often our designs incorporate lots of British wildlife. We're, we're really well known for that. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room anything if it pops into our head and we can physically make it then we'll go for it as i said the buzzword is all about fun for us on our shows we always like to have lots of fun there's always lots of laughter and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way
so don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hello and welcome. I'm colouring in. Well, we were waiting, I were colouring in. Um, it's lovely to have your company. We're ready for our second hour of Lessia Zagada. Um, our Derek is all yonder. Hello! Hello! The fellows are in my head. Hello, fellows. Um, and of course, our lovely Sean is on. Hey, there's Jimmy again. Last day tomorrow, who knows what's going to happen. Uh, now then, we have got a lovely show coming up. As I said in the first hour, uh, the counter is completely different to the first hour. Your best place is to have a look on the website, because obviously you can see everything that we've had on this morning as well. Um, oh, the stamps are absolutely glorious. And the thing is, a lot of them will work together. You know, so a lot of the stamps you saw this morning will work beautifully uh, with the stamps we've got this afternoon. Um, as ever, if you've got any lessier designs, at home because we have had Leslie on quite a few times now if you've got any Alessia's designs then we would love to see pictures um, of what you've been creating so get those in studio at the craft store.com uh, we do like your emails some of them do give us a giggle so thank you especially like when people give us hints and tips what they've been using products for sometimes it's quite random um, but we do like hearing about that so do email in <laughs> at studio at um, the Jess O one, if that's you, we know. <laughs> that made us giggle. Um, okay then, um, but I wouldn't advise it. Don't say anything about that on the tin. Uh, now then, we have got for you the first one. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. You eucalyptus wreath. I adore wreath stamps. Adore them because there's so much you can do with them. This is so delicate. It is so, so pretty. You can see now this is with the moth from earlier on today, but isn't that just exquisite? And again, Lesia, incredible artist. Her colouring in is absolutely second to none. It's amazing. And she does teach, uh, she gives lovely classes on uh, colouring in tips and techniques that you can find on Instagram. So please do look less here up. Uh, but yeah, that is sensational. Only 10.99, beautifully detailed uh, stamp there. 001701. Now, um, the thing is as well with Lesia, they are being sent from abroad. So you have got a little bit of um, extension there. They're waiting until the 27 so not long at all now this next one i love this set and this is huge you're getting so many stamps here now what i love about this set is you get all the separate elements to build up your lovely little dandelion and i just think that's such a good idea um 20 pounds and 99 pence again it's the detail lessia gives us such incredibly detailed stamps i mean look at that isn't that cool such a beautiful, beautiful stamp. And for £20.99, there's tons you can do with that. And that will work as well. Like earlier on, we had the gorgeous grasses in the first hour. That one will go beautifully with the grasses and with the wild um, buttercups. We had the wild buttercups as well this morning. So, yeah, they'll go hand in hand. Now, if you do want those, £20.99 is your price. That is 934269. Already busy is that one, so please check your back gets out with that one i'm not surprised it's really cool it's different this is lovely as well i really really like this i've just been coloring this one in um uh, it's one of those that again it's different but it's got it's got such movement the beautiful thistle i love thistles anyway don't you i've got so many photos when i walk the dogs of thistles it's ridiculous because they look so beautiful i tell you what i love though with your thistles you know like when it's um like, you know, when it's first thing in the morning and you've got the cobwebs off them, but it's that morning dew, they just look tremendous. Anyway, 9.99, that. Beautiful. Really, really like that as well. Uh, 268353. And again, it's about the detail. Lesia absolutely nails it. When you talk about detail in those stamps, and they stamp beautifully, so you get that detail transferred. Now, the florals, these are super pretty. Um, I love the fact that you've got them separate as well, so you can build them up. Obviously, 
obviously you can mask them off to create as Leslie has done on that beautiful finished sample. You can create depth within your work, but that is so, so pretty. And that is your anemone. Um, I like that word, anemone. Um, 11 pounds, 99 pounds. I love anemones in real life as well. Um, really beautiful. And of course, the bug from this morning stamp, um, that's on there. And oh my gosh, don't they work? See, I love the way she does this. And, and the buttercup. Can you see the little buttercup that she used in the background? What Lesia does, she's so, so good at building up all the, those beautiful um, nature scenes, if you will. So, you know, she's combining the beautiful geometry. She's combining um, nature. She's combining her florals. And it works so well together. That is stunning. And, yeah, the little, that at the bottom, the little buttercups that we had in this morning's show. I didn't notice those at first, but, wow, that looks good. Okay, 11 99 if you do want your beautiful anemone that is 894450 now next this one is gorgeous the beautiful poppy this is a really detailed stamp and again wow i mean look at that they are absolutely exquisite um and as I say, all that detail stamps out beautifully. It's so pretty, is this one. £9.99. £9 Again, Lessie's card. Um, she does all these cards for us and sends them in. And they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, you've got the, the fellows. You've also got uh, the beautiful grasses. Uh, in the background, of course, you have got one of those. In fact, I think that is the, um, the circle one. What was that one called again? Not mandala. Oh, that'll bug me. Rosette, thank you. Well remembered, oh, Ross, that's a rosette in the background. Yeah, that is absolutely exquisite. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence your price. Six five um six eight five two one eight your item number now next these have been on before but you may have missed them um and oh my gosh these are exquisite exquisite i mean look at him what a beautiful beautiful stamp that is our gorgeous fox and the hair our um our little my doggies would like these again um the hair is beautiful Look at the detail of that. It's absolutely exquisite. And you can see all the fur on the hair, um, which is just exquisite. Now, when you look at the finished samples that Leslie has done, so she has used the beautiful grasses. She's used the, that beautiful uh, wood, um, the little wood cutting, and, of course, the crackle. All of those are on the show. You will be able to get them on the website. We had them on this morning. And then the fox, just exquisite. Really, really beautiful. And she's amazing at colouring, isn't she? I mean, yeah. And please, again, check her out on um, Insta because she, it really helps when you can see images like that. It's really inspirational. And obviously, with something like this, I mean, you don't have to be as good as Lesia. It's a beautiful stamp. So it's still going to look absolutely gorgeous. Now, £15.98 for those two. That is 425164, your item number. And funnily enough, they are your favourite. Yeah, I could have called that. They're well cool. Um, Lesia, the first time I ever saw Lesia, um, it was, she does the animals that are all curled up and sleepy. And that was the first time I ever saw her working at like, oh my gosh, Kaz, we need this lady. And, um, and there you go. That's quite a while ago now. I, can't, I don't know how many shows we've had, but that's a little while ago now. Now, we've also got for you, again, beautiful florals. So, we've got the lavender and then we've got the sunflower. Oh, is that not just gorgeous? And yay, the little ladybird. The sunflower is amazing. And I love, again, I love with this that you've got the separate leaves. So, you can build that up. And it really allows you um, to, to build the floral up as you need it. You know, so it's, it's going to be exactly how uh, you need it to sit on your project. Um, again, with that one, you have got the rosette. You've got that beautiful butterfly from this morning. And then the lavender is just gorgeous. So you've got that lovely lavender all wrapped up with string. And it's just so pretty. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And it does look amazing. And again, on uh, Lesia's finished sample, she's combined that with that beautiful geometry stamp uh, from this morning. The, the wonderful sun. And of course, coloured in ridiculously amazing. 
amazing. I mean, I don't know how she does it, quite frankly. That's stunning. Um, only seventeen ninety eight for those two. Really, really beautiful. And I love the lavender stamp, the actual, um, the writing, because it looks, it looks like it's been handwritten, doesn't it, on your card, on your project. Uh, two nine seven eight nine eight is your item number. Now. When you check your basket out, you've got a couple more stamps, actually. Um, and I really, really recommend these, especially that um, we've got that beautiful little kind of... Um, well, it matches the wreath one. Uh, you've got the, the beautiful jar. That is just sensational. We love the jars ones as well. There's been uh, quite a few photographs sent in of jars ones. And then, now that one, you need that one. That matches the wreath one. And again, really handy. Only £8.49. So have a look when you're checking out your baskets. Look at those because they are um, they're completely available as well. Okay, let's crack on and get colouring and stamping. So I am going to use a, um, the dandelion. I want to choose dandelion because it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, you have a couple of ways of doing this. When you're actually stamping it, if you don't want it to be too heavy at first, um, use a, a lighter ink. Now, I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to actually, I'll use a lighter, lighter ink. I'm going to use antique linen for this, okay. Um, just for the the actual, um, to start the dandelion. So what you've got, first of all, you have got um, some of your, this is um, the, the stem, okay. Now, the reason I'm working on antique linen is because then when I colour it in, I don't, this doesn't stand out too much. So hopefully you can see that. Is that a bit too light? If, I, if it's too light, I can stamp in a darker ink. But I just want to show you what it looks like. So what you're doing, first of all, let's just build this up. So that little stem, you can have the little stem coming down. So that's going to be our first flower. The next bit of stem, I'm not going to do the full stem. I'm just going to do part of it. So that's our first little flower. The next little flower, and I always have to look where I want it to tilt because I always get mixed up with my left and my right and all that malarkey. So the next one I'm going to have up here like so. And then I'll straighten that off and I'll have it going right down the side of my second, of my first branch like this now the reason i'm doing it in a really light ink is because it gives me a little bit of leeway so if i go wrong if this is a bit dodgy um when i'm coloring it in i can obviously correct it so if it's not exactly right it doesn't matter it'll allow me to to be quite you know it's quite forgiving is the lighter ink so this one now let me just make sure i'm doing it the right way around with the curve so this one, I'll have that one curving. Oh, no, I won't. I'll just have it going behind the others, actually. So I'll just gently curve in behind the others. And the lovely thing with the stems, you can actually, as you can see, you can curve that stamp. So it allows you to get lovely movement on it. So I've got my, my base, okay? Um, now... Once I've got the base, I know where I'm going with that so I can go on darker. So with my, my next ink, I'm going to go on properly and darker because I want to be able to see these. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a brown because I kind of love the fallen leaves. So go with the fallen leaves and now bringing these in. And again, the detail of these stamps is sensational. So if I go in, that one is going to go right at the top there. And look at that. Isn't that just magnificent? Such beautiful, beautiful images. You've got the leaves. And the leaves, again, you can kind of move them. So if you want a little bit of movement to that stamp, you've got that ability. And I really like that because you, you want to be able to do that. You want to be able to make them different every time. You don't want them to be the same every time. And, oh, I've missed it a bit there. I might go in and try and go in again. Maybe not. Uh, but it just allows you to, you know, to make them a little bit more natural. And then that one, the smaller leaf. 
And when I missed it, that was absolutely my stamping, not the stamp, because they have been stamping utterly perfectly. You can see, as usual, my card's getting absolutely filthy. I'm working on bigger cardstock than I'm going to need. I will cut it down later. Um, I always like working on bigger cardstock because it then allows me to... Um, I'm not restricted, so if my stamping goes a bit skew whiff and it's it's kind of not what I'm aiming for, it doesn't matter. I love this one. So we've got the little stamp head. Isn't that just pretty? The detail of this is phenomenal. Obviously, I'm not going to colour all of these in, but I am going to show you a little bit of colouring in just so you can see um, how that stem works. There. So, stunning. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I've got my main frame. And because you're getting them separately, because you get the stem separate to the actual, the rest of the, the dandelion, it allows you to work with this however you want to. Remember, because this is the, the wild dandelion, if you wanted to, if you wanted to bring in, say, the lovely little buttercups, you could absolutely bring in the buttercup because this will work beautifully with the dandelion. So the buttercup was in the hour before um, and this will work so well. Like if I wanted to now, I could just bring in and I'm only going to stamp it part way up. I'm not going to do the full thing, but... And this is just super, super fine. I might want to actually miss off. In fact, I'm going to be a bit fussy, which I don't normally do, but I am going to be on this one. They're a bit fussy. I don't normally get fussy, but I am with this one. Because I want it about there. Oh, look how pretty. So it all, look, it all just sort of fits in. I'm not going to carry on with that because I could get really carried away and I'm going to try not to get really carried away. Instead, I just want to show, right, so if you're colouring this in, so think about this one. Add the, um, with this I would add the, um, which would I do, the grasses and that buttercup one. That will work so well with this now. Because I've put that nice fine line in there, when I come to colour in, I'm going on with my pencil crayons. So when I come and colour this in, that fine line, I've got it as a guide, but actually it doesn't need, I don't need to really see the line. And I really like that because it means where my, my dandelions overlap, if my ink isn't perfect, it won't matter. I mean, there's obviously techniques that you can do this so it's absolutely spot on but i really like this i think it works beautiful i'm then just going to get my water brush and just drag that oh we've been getting images sent in thank you so much i love seeing what you've been doing <laughs> and then just moving that about with my water brush and you can see it just blends those colors so you get that beautiful effect like so and it's kind of cool because while your stamping isn't a hundred percent perfect you can kind of get away with it and i like that because it means it's it's not you know you don't have to be perfect you don't have to have um your stamping absolutely spot on you can come in then and as i say i won't color it all in but just do a little bit of coloring just me i do like me me pencils i love my watercolor pencils because they're really forgiving like you can just go in and i know leslie uses pencils she doesn't use the watercolors i don't believe i think she just uses normal pencil crayons but i'm a watercolorer because i find them the easiest there we go and then i'll just bring that darker green as well so the darker green <coughs> can just go down there we go now <laughs> with this um <coughs> oh, i do apologize i've got a tickle 
that'll tickle. So with this, just bring in the green and look now. You'll get that beautiful blend of colour, which looks absolutely gorgeous. And this dandelion's nice and busy, actually. I'm so pleased. It's such a pretty stamp. Do make sure you get the other wild ones as well. The wild ones. The bugs and all the, the beautiful creatures that go with it. And the da yeah, you need your wild buttercups. And you want your grasses because they'll go gorgeous with it. And what I like as well with things like this, I'll go in with my pencils, but then when I want more detail, I'll go back over with my pens because then you can start filling in. Like with that, if I then wanted more detail on it, so say I did want more detail on the actual stem, I'd come along with a fine pen and actually just sketch in some of the detail on the stem. And I kind of like that because then it allows me, it allows, again, it allows me a little bit of control. See, so it means that when I'm actually stamping, I've got a little bit of freedom with the stamping, a little bit of leeway for making mistakes. But then when I'm happy with it, I can come in and I can add the extra detail, extra um, emphasis on some images to make those, you know, to make some of the detail pop. Because that's the thing with this image, there's that much detail. So you can really kind of bring out some of that detail. I shouldn't do any more, should I? Because now I'm just colouring in and having a lovely time. But you can see now. And I might bring a little bit of the pen. Just in like that. The, the, um, the drawing pens are lovely, actually, to do stuff like this. Just doing a little bit of sketching over the top. And I like the sketching over the top because it makes it look really quite... Um, it, it makes it look like your work then. See, I want to fill in these now, but I'm, now I'm really, really playing. Okay, I should stop, really. Now, your gorgeous little dandelion. I'm not going to do a full card with dandelion because I want to show you some, other car, um, some of the other products. But if you do want your beautiful dandelion, um, as you can see, with the buttercup, it works so well. And I do want to then bring in all my grasses, but I'm not going to do that as well at this stage because, isn't it pretty? And the, the actual head of the dandelion, that's dead easy to colour. What, um, oh, see, off she goes. Because so, what Lessia did, I, obviously the yellow, and of course she did it a lot more, <laughs> she did it a lot more detailed and stuff than this. But if you go in with your yellow, but then just pick out where you want it richer, you can just go in and make it a little bit where, you know, at the, the end of the petals like that and just bring a bit of, um, make it a little bit darker and that will give it real depth. I won't do all of this. I will do all of this, and then, but I'll do this well. I do. It's giving a bit of a reminder because you don't want me to see during this. But um, I'll try. I will try and colour this in. So when you come back to me, it might be coloured in. It might not. I'll see how long it takes me. Um, but please do get hold of this. Oh, we've got pictures. Who's this from? Beck. A vet, a vet, that is lovely. And that's the beautiful moth that we had on this morning, isn't it? Our cacada, that I've said wrong again. Uh, cicada, um, that is absolutely beautiful. And these are all from a vet. Oh, a vet, that's the beautiful fox that we've got on stage. Oh, a vet, you're colouring in, it's amazing. Um, she loves Lessia's stamps. A vet, that is gorgeous. Oh, wow, a vet. Yeah, that is stunning. I love your colouring. That is stunning, Yvette. Thank you ever so much for sharing that. Really, really beautiful. Um, please keep those emails coming in. I love seeing your photographs. Stunning, stunning work. Um, right, I'm going to carry on colouring in. Over to you, uh, Derek. I'll see you in half an hour, then. See me in half an hour. Yeah, I want to shift it. one of those little uh, <laughs> colouring comas. Goodbye. That's all right. That's about. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> uh, right, let's go through everything that we've got in this hour selection. And it's well worth going through the website because everything that we talked about, everything you just saw in those images there, um, and everything you'll see in the samples um, is across the two shows as well. So in this hour, we've got that wonderful eucalyptus wreath stamp. Sorry, it's me wobbling the table, Jim. It's me. Yeah, sorry. I'll... I'll get off it. Well, actually, it's partly me and it's partly Leonie because she's covering, because she's colouring on this one. 
It's because she's so used to moving, being on the boat all weekend. <laughs> she's, she's now getting that feeling on the telly as well. Uh, so this is the eucalyptus wreath stamp. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll anchor it, this end. Uh, beautiful. I mean, again, the highlighting and all the detail in the veining. And I, I love the fact that actually there's a real difference in the thickness of the lines going through the main stems than there are going through the, the vein of the leaf as well. It picks out all of that dimension just beautifully. So it kind of leads you by the hand in terms of the highlighting as well. And that moth um, is on the show, but that's from uh, this morning. So that's well worth looking up as well. 001 701 is the item number for that one. And it was nearly 007, wasn't it? Not quite. 001 701 uh, for £10.99. pence. That's going out for you on the 27th, by the way. Uh, so it's a uh, uh, slight delay on those, but it's not long at all because it's like the, what is it now, the 18th? 18th today, so that's not long at all, is it? Uh, let's shuffle our way down the counter. Uh, this is what has Leone quieter than we've seen in some time. Um, it's the dandelion, and they are fabulous. Yeah, she's still there, don't worry, it's fine. It's all fine. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. Do you know what I love in particular as well? And you were saying that dandelions are lovely and we should embrace them and everything else, and lots of people see them. Well, they obviously they are a weed, uh, but the, the, the bees and everything love them. And it is quite nice to embrace a few of them here and there. And I, what I love, what Lesia has done so beautifully here, is picked up the fact that a dandelion leaf is not, it's never straight and true, and it's never they're never the same size, and they're quite raggedy the formation on a on a dandelion leaf dandelion leaf is quite raggedy it is always looks a bit of a mess do you know what i mean um it's never true and perfect like some leaves are and you've got a little essence of all of that going through its life cycle as well so you've got it there in full bloom you've got it there in early bud and you've got it there at its kind of final stages as well where it goes even beyond the clocks and when the clocks have gone and when it closes up again so you can kind of do a life cycle um, there and build up a really, really lovely scene. It's gorgeous, that, and it's nice to have so many different choices in one set of stamps, actually. Well, 934 269 is your item number there, £20 and 99 pence. I love it, it's brilliant. Now, this always reminds me whenever you say the word thistle, I always think of thistle whistle. You know, in um, what were they called? The Family Nest. I have no idea what oh, this is. Oh, it was a cartoon, you oh. Yeah. Yeah, the, um, what were they called? The Family Nest, yes. It was a cartoon you spent in the afternoons. That's my misspent youth oh. uh, with my Thessel Wessel. <laughs> um, and, and it's fabulous. Anyway, um, <laughs> here we've got that big, beautiful thistle looking very sort of artichokey in its yes, sort of bulbous nest yeah. as well, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, they are amazing thistles. You were saying about seeing them first mm. thing in the morning, you know, with the dew on them and whatever. Um, they are stunning as you yeah, watch yeah. them grow and develop. And they're huge thistles. I mean, they can, they can be five, six foot tall as well, thistles. They're, they're brilliant. Um, they really are. Um, and again, you can see on the sample there, mixing it up with the dimensional stamps that we had on the show earlier. Oh, you're over here, aren't you? <laughs> this one, I always forget where we are when you're looking back to front. Uh, there we go. Uh, with one of those lovely um, background stamps that we had. Is that the rhombus? I think it is, I isn't it? it With the arrow the through it. Rhombus, yeah, it's the rhombus, yes. isn't it? You're getting all of the lovely detail from the rhombus in there as well. It's just a lovely backdrop for it. Just a very, very simple bit of shadowing that Lesia has done around that thistle just helps it to leap out. She's an amazing colourist, isn't she? Mm, yeah. uh, 268353 is the item number then for that one. £9.99. pence which is brilliant. Right, next up, we've got a poppy for you. Uh, tell me who doesn't love a poppy, because they're great for colouring. And I tell you what, with this one, Lesia has picked up so beautifully, is that it's not even paper thin. You can't, it's not even rice paper thin, is it? The, the, the petal on a poppy, they are, they're so delicate. You look at them and you don't touch them, because you want to keep that beauty forever. They're wonderful, aren't they? They really are. Um, and again, She's with this one she, in the sample. She's actually mixed in those wild buttercups from the, the other stamps from this morning, and some of those, uh, some of those other stamps that we had earlier on in the day. Again, you've got the life cycle there. So you've got two different sizes of poppies, and you've got the bud 
as well, which is beautiful. 685218 is your item number. Again, it's the detail. It's the exquisite detail in these stamps that, again, will give you so much inspiration. You know, just make some backgrounds um, and then just let your imagine take, uh, imagination take you on a bit of a wander. Uh, okay, next up, we have... Oh, where are we? This one. Yeah. Is this Poppy 2? No, the other one was your anemone. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't oh, really listening to you. Oh, was the one with you. three, the anemone. I'm so yeah. sorry. I said Poppy, didn't I? You did, love. I'm sorry. Do we have the details up for that? Right. We should, we, should we come back to the anemone then? Let's come back to the anemone. I should know that. I've got huge great anemones in my oh, garden. They yeah. do look very poppy-like, though, they don't do they, actually? They do look poppy-like. When you see the stamp uncoloured... You, it could very, very well yep. key in with the poppy very, very easily, couldn't it, actually? Yep. Um, but yes, anemones, they're beautiful. They are very tall as well. Mm. And they're all foliage. They're all foliage. Then they have these great long stems that come out of nowhere. It's quite... Because you think, now, are you a weed or whatever? Because <laughs> you see big leaves for ages and ages and ages. And then all of a the sudden. stem comes up and then appears. And actually... They're exactly the colour of the anemones in my garden as well. I'm going to take a picture of them later, well, <laughs> later Friday. They're stunning an an anemones. They are beautiful. Anemone. They're not easy to say, but they're lovely to look at. An 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 still demonstrates how beautifully wather thin those lovely petals are. And the great thing with poppies, you can go very, very contrast. So you can go so, so red with the actual petals and then go really, really dark with the, the seeds in the middle because they are absolutely true black as well, which is brilliant. Love, 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 love. 685218. Sorry about the confusion there. I'm sure you're working out. You're all, you're all working out. Uh, no, you have cat. Absolutely. 9.99. Right, let's move on. Uh, next up, oh yeah, these are very, very easy, aren't they? We can't get this wrong. It's the fox and the hare. No anemones. In fact, they look quite friends, don't they? In oh, fact, see what you've done there. boom. Lots <laughs> and lots of texture in there. Quite a wily fox there. He's having a good look at something, isn't he? He's looking at, yeah. looking at the hair at the moment. <laughs> that hair, they can move though, because they've got legs, haven't they, hair? Yeah, you can mistake, we have some just near to where we are right now, and they have the um, biggest back legs. Yeah, they're stunning. Have you ever seen them boxing? boxing? No. They box the hairs, don't they? they yeah, fight, they stand and they up box. and do that. Mm. Yeah. Stunning. Rough and tumble stuff, don't they? But sometimes when they're running along the, the road, you think, is, are you a baby deer or are you a hare? You're not no, quite sure sometimes because they, they can actually be very, very tall. They're quite magical. They are beautiful. Stunning. And foxes and hares should probably stay away from each other, in fairness. Yes. Probably shouldn't be friends. Probably, probably never destined be to be friends. No, not probably really. Probably wouldn't be friends. Uh, 425164 <laughs> is the item number. And they're both quite good runners as well. Anyway. Lovely detail on the stamps there. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> it's like a disaster movie waiting to happen, isn't it? Don't think about it. Use them in isolation. Store them separately. Uh, this is a lovely um, combo as well. The sunflower and the ladybirds together. I love the detail in the, um, the sunflower as well. Again, because you can go so, so yellows and lots and lots of different yellows. And even some oranges, you can work some oranges into your sunflower as well. Um, all the different leaves there, you need them. Because the sunflower is another one as well. The foliage is very much secondary to the flower. And the, the leaves kind of... The, the seed head on a sunflower kind of pushes all the leaves back and out of the way, so they end up looking a bit, mm. you know, rough and ready. Um, so the leaves do go off in different directions. They're absolutely beautiful. And I love that you've got the little ladybird in there as well. Look, so stunning, beautiful. And the lavender, just beautiful, isn't it? A very, very quintessential. You can, you can put that in a jar, you can hang it upside down, you can put it into lots and lots of different contexts as well. It's very sweet, it's very light. It's almost like, it's funny, when you see a picture like that, you, you smell lavender straight away, don't you? 
Mm. You can't help it, especially when a uh, sample has been coloured so beautifully. Amazing, isn't it? Uh, 297898 is the item number for that. £17.98 pledge. Everything going out for you on the 27th of August, which is not long at all. And everything's here on the web. Um, all the stamps that we had this morning, by the way, so all the butterflies and the moths and the bugs and the ge geo shapes and the rhombus and the rosette. That was the word I wanted. Um, and lots more that you'll have so much fun putting together. And if you didn't see the show this morning, must watch it on Rewind, obviously after this show. Um, it was 11 o'clock this morning uh, when we first let Leonie loose. Oh, she's finished colouring in now. She's, she's back to faffing mode again with the script stamp is coming back in, which was on the show this morning. Fabulous. I finished colouring in. Back to you, Mrs. I finished colouring in. Beautiful. Does it look lovely. good? Um, your script stamp, absolutely brilliant because it fills in that space. Beautiful. I also wanted to bring in um, some of the grasses, the grass stamps. I know these are in this morning. Not for. Now, the grass stamps, I'm not bringing these in for um, a main image, if you will. I want these to be background. So because I want them to be background, I'm just going to get a scrap of card and actually take off my first generation. So they'll come in then just as part of my, in fact, I will go in a bit heavier, because just as part of my background, bringing those in as well, because I just think they look absolutely beautiful. The grasses are such good stamps. Highly, highly recommend those. You need those in your life. Um, and that kind of stamps that you'll use again and again as well. We so many different, you know, with so many different projects. Um, but something like that, I knew I'd faff. Of course I would. And something like that. I mean, it's such a glorious, glorious stamp. It's lovely to colour in. You know, I've just used my pens and my pencils colouring that in. But it just gives you such a, a fantastic finish. I'm going to bring one of the grasses coming up like this, um, just because I can. In fact, one of the other grasses... I'm going to have one of the other grasses just coming in like that, just to frame it. And then, to finish this one off, Obviously, I'd probably faff quite a bit longer yet because I want to just, I would faff on this edge as well because I feel I haven't covered that one. But I'm not going to because I need to get on with another demonstration. But, of course, it's Distress. So because I've used Distress on that background, just giving it a spritz with the water, getting the ink moving as usual. Um, go over with, I'm not going to take, well, I will take rice paper this time. Rice paper doesn't, it's not as observant, observant, it's not a, as absorbent, so it doesn't lift as much ink off. But you still get a little bit of movement there. And sometimes you don't want to lift all the ink off. Sometimes you only want the ink to, to oxidise and sort of shift a little bit. But doesn't that just look beautiful? I would. I've left quite an open white space there. But actually, I think I would actually ink in that a little bit more so it's not quite as vivid and white. But anyway, that is your beautiful, beautiful um, buttercup. Right, let's move on. Second demo. Um, so what I wanted to show you was, and I had to play with uh, the gorgeous rabbit. So I have taken, let me just find her. Where have I put her? Where have I put her? There, oh, right in front of me. So the beautiful, beautiful rabbit. So I've got the fox and the hare. So first things first, let's stamp the gorgeous, gorgeous hare. This is a stunning stamp. I mean, these two are beautiful. They're both the fox and the hare. The detail is just exquisite. Um, and they're just such glorious images. I mean, it really is a celebration of nature, isn't it? These stamps with the bugs and all the beautiful florals. And then are, are wonderful wild animals as well. It's stunning. And you can see, I mean, look at that. That is gorgeous. Just in its own right. Before you do anything, it's beautiful. So, stamp my lovely hair. I've already cut out a mask for this one. So I've created a little old mask. Now, when I've done the mask, I haven't done the whiskers. No way was I creating a mask for those whiskers. I mean, I'm not a patient person anyway, but that, that would be just too much for anyone. So, it's like, nah, it'd be right. There we go. I ain't doing the whiskers. So I just put my little mask down. It's folded over there a bit, so I'm getting that out. Boom. Okay, I cut it a bit badly there, but that's okay. So that's my main friend. Now, uh, from this morning show, actually, 
that beautiful rosette. And I thought, I know Leslie used the rosette in hers and I'm just going to copy. I'm not really. But I am going to use that rosette because when I was playing with this image earlier, um, I thought the rosette just made such an incredible background. It looks so, so pretty. So that's what we're doing with this one. So I'm going to go in, first of all, with my antique linen on the rosette. But then round the outside, I'm actually going to darken it. So on the outside, I'm going to go in with um, my... I'm going to go in with gathered twigs. So just round the outside, bobbing that in. So it'll give me that really nice sort of two-tone look, like so. So then when we ink it up, I've got the mask on, so I don't need to worry about it going over my little hair. It's just deciding where I actually want it. I might off-centre it. I think I will off-centre it, actually, like so. Now, um, I love that. Already absolutely adore that. This one, you've got ink on this. So, because we've got ink on this, my scrap piece of paper, I mean, that scrap piece we can make into something at the end of the day. If I spritz water on that stamp, it's just awakening the, the bit of ink that I've got left on here. The lovely thing is with this, I need it like that because otherwise it'll do me head in, so I'll have to cut my card down. But the lovely thing with something like this, it's wasted ink, so if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. But actually, you've got a really nice print there. So it means if I was chopping this down, obsessively trying to make it straight, I could create a really gorgeous little extra topper. It doesn't even need to be perfect. You know, you can chop that down and have that as a, a little collage element. And I like things like like this just little elements like that because because it's something that you would have wasted otherwise but it, it gives you a beautiful second print does that one so now moving on to um that wonderful wreath oh i love this stamp this is absolutely exquisite. The detail of this is sensational. This is your eucalyptus one now actually I did think to myself I'm going to use my good old stamping platform for this one because I need to know where I'm stamping again the second time. So bob it in there and let's use the beautiful eucalyptus there. So I want it so it's going over my circle slightly and so it needs to be a little bit off centre as well. Perfect. So that's my uh, stamp. Get it inked up. And then I'm going to go in with green. I'm going to go in with peel paint, actually, because I don't want it to be too dark and intense. Let's go in with peel paint. Spritz onto the stamp before I put it down. Because I want that ink to start moving straight away. I don't want to stamp onto here because I don't want to um, ruin the, the first image that I've put down. And then you can see how gorgeous and watery it is. So then if I take my one of my water brushes and just start moving some of this ink. Um, and I don't, again, I'm not aiming for it to be perfect here. I want it to go out the lines. So when I re-stamp over the top of it, I've got that kind of blurred imagery underneath it. So it looks like it's been watercolored. You know, when you're watercoloring, you get that really nice sort of, it's kind of really loose. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of what I want it to look like. There we are. So happy with that. Then make sure your your stamp. Now again, I bet I could get another stamp out of that one. This could be a bit of a faff though. No, don't do it. You could get another stamp out of that one. <laughs> don't do it, Leone. If if I wasn't um, on live TV and blah, 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 I would, but I am, so I'm not. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in. Now, this time I want this darker. Um, I've stamped the rabbit in the brown. I think I'll stamp this in the brown as well. Um, I want it to be darker than my background because I want this to pop and the detail of that image. Isn't that just gorgeous? Light taps, don't over ink these stamps because you don't want to lose that detail. So don't over ink and don't press down too hard. You don't need to. I did some, you know, on my, my previous one, 
previous hour I did, and it blurs it, and you don't want to do that. Whereas now, you've got that really rich, I mean, you can see the detail of that. It's got that soft brown, um, sorry, that soft green just inside, which looks incredible. And then, of course, that beautiful rosette, um, which again is just exquisite. Move that one. Now this, now I can play. Bear with, bear with. So this, I'm going to bring this in. I know it's not going to be perfect, but that's fine. Because there might not be enough ink on this anyway. Second generation. Yay! Which is this? I wish my grass weren't up there now, but it doesn't matter. Because it's just a scrap of paper. Okay, so. That's my beautiful rabbit. Let's bring that down there. Let's bring that down there. 12 minutes. Oh, for some reason, I'm ready for a more dinner. I've only just had my dinner. I only had a rubbish microwave meal. It was rubbish. But I'm really hungry again. I don't know where that's come from. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't the best. It wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't satisfying. It didn't. It didn't fill. It, it was just, yeah, a bit. Anyway, moving on from my stomach. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? You know, when you just get random thoughts in your head. Um, now, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that little beauty. I want this one because... But now, this is when you're checking out your baskets. Um, you, get, uh, you can get hold of this one as well. Um, obviously, it matches perfectly. So, let's take both of those off like so. And it's only eight pounds and forty nine pence. Um, if you do want to get hold of that, absolutely stunning. I mean, these are so 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 pretty. Um, please do not miss out on those. Um, just gorgeous, and you can make some really nice backgrounds with that as well. It's one of those stamps that it's another one. You know, when you start to play and start to experiment with it, there's so much you can do with it. Now I'm going to bring this in. I'm being careful because obviously I've still got that mask on. And I said that as I went under the the actual, under his actual um, thing. <laughs> that Leon is an ear. That's the one under his ear. <laughs> so I'm just going round with the green. I'm leaving um, the open space because I want this to be open. So I want to go round with the green because I think that will fade in beautifully. Let's bring in um, some brown as well. I'm actually bringing that antique linen. I don't, oh, no, I'm actually going to bring in. This is Leona who's bought new ink pads. I bought new ink pads. I've finally got nearly all the colours, which means now I'm obsessed with playing with all the colours. So it's, it's just like, oh, I can use that one. This is, this, they're not new, obviously. They've been out for years, but I've suddenly decided I needed some new ones. Okay, so, oh, that's perfect. It's funny because... I've I've changed with my I've changed with my distress. You see, I used to, I never used to use tea dye because it was too light. I read either into the bold brights or the really intense dark ones. But now I'm actually I kind of like that that soft subtle colour as well. And there we go. That's really really pretty. Um, I'm annoyed at myself for getting splodges of ink, but as I'm used to it because I do it constantly. I won't beat myself up at all because um, I do it every time I open an ink pad. Okay, and I'm going to use the tea dye because I want this gentle. I don't want this dark at all. I want this in the background. It's part of my background. It's part of that beautiful sort of surrounding. So surrounding the gorgeous hair like so. I'll use the other one as well. Still using the tea dye. Whoops, a daisy. That's okay. I keep doing that on all recently. There we go. Such a nice. These are lovely. And remember, these are as you're checking out your basket. And they do match just beautifully. You've got that lovely sort of curvature. Of course, the other one that's going to go are those wonderful. You've got your grasses and your beautiful dandelions. Um, I know they're in the first hour, but they just go so well. I mean, this is the thing with Lessia stamps. Everything coordinates, everything works together. So with these ones, I use the peel paint for the outside. So if you use the peel paint for these ones, 
then it all matches. It all, I mean, it all goes beautiful. That would have been better if I'd stamped it proper, but that's okay. So just coming in now, bringing some of that, the gorgeous little, there, buttercups. I keep not stamping that one right, which is annoying. I'm going to stamp it right now. Otherwise it will irritate me. Let me just make sure I've inked that bit, because I don't know if I did. There we go. That's much better. And oh, they are so pretty. It's such a gorgeous detailed little stamp is this one. How pretty. That's better. That's better than that one. That that side's really annoyed me. So I'm going to just go back in there. That's better. Perfect. And just a tiny bit more down here where it annoyed me as self as well. Oh, I'm really happy with that one actually. And then just one more, like so. Oh, beautiful. And then, obviously, we... Oh, again, ink on that stamp. I won't bring this one in because I'll just fall out with that. I'll do it other side. Ink on your stamp, spritz it. Do your normal thing. It's good if you can get into a habit of doing this. I don't, as you can tell. But if you can get... Because look at that. It... it you know, that, again, that's wasted ink, isn't it? It's so nice getting into a habit of cleaning stamps off but on a piece of cardstock and just getting a second print because, honestly, it's something that I should do more. You know, I say it, but don't do it. I should because you get some stunning prints. Right, we have, of course, got the beautiful mask. So let's take the mask off. I'd forgotten the mask. Look at that. Yeah, but that image... Isn't that image sensational? And then I, I almost don't want to colour that in because I love how strong that is. In fact, in fact, all I would do with that, rather than completely colouring it in, I'd actually take just a little bit of my good old vintage photo because it's one of my favourites. And then I'd just go in really, really subtly and gently. So just a tiny, tiny bit of ink. I wouldn't bring much more into this because it's just such a powerful image. It's lovely, just an, a tiny bit of colour, just where, where it's a little bit, yeah, like an Arctic hair. It's such a gorgeous image. Hairs, I love, I always feel they're a little bit magical hairs for some reason. They're just beautiful. They're gorgeous. And they're just so ridiculously fast, aren't they? My little Lola, um, no, obviously she chased her hair once. They were, oh my gosh. Well, they both had a, they both chased them, but obviously they haven't got a chance. But it's beautiful seeing the hairs. Oh man, oh Andy, oh they've chased everything. <laughs> they've chased everything. <laughs> oh my dogs. They, they love it. But, um, but yeah, it's funny because Lola, when she chases, when I, I, I didn't, they were like, my gosh, she's found a hair because I hardly ever see hairs. And anyway, she makes this funny little yipping sound. She goes, yip, yip, yip. Well, she's chasing this beautiful hair. Not a chance. And she's only got short legs. She had a chance. Lovely little thing. Okay. And that gorgeous. And then, oh, you oh, see, faff, faff, faff. Oh, you do, just give it a little bit of a drop shadow. You can do it in the same colour. It doesn't have to be a grey. So if you do want a nice soft drop shadow, taking the vintage photo, you just... <laughs> there. <laughs> You're just blending that, see? <laughs> <laughs> just taking sorry yeah, people have no idea <laughs> Ross is doing his little yipping <laughs> there we go four minutes oh I did get carried away didn't I there but see that little drop shadow and sometimes I mean I get carried away thinking it always has to be great absolutely not I mean in that in that beautiful vintage photo that looks absolutely exquisite and it works as well you see because it gives you that really nice soft brown tint 
which looks stunning. There we go. I'm not going to bring any more colour into the the um, the actual wreath because I really like it as is. All I'll do, as ever, is splash just to create um, a bit more depth into that that background, as usual, because that's the thing, isn't it, that we all do. I am looking for my uh, kitchen roll. Where is there? That's super. And then I am. I want to lift it this time. And there you go. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'd probably put a little bit of a little bit of pink on its nose, uh, but isn't that just a beautiful, beautiful image? Love, love, love those stamps. They're absolutely exquisite. Do not miss out on these stamps. Don't miss out on the stamps. Don't miss out um, on your your beautiful meadow set as well. Remember, that's got the olive and the. Um, the wonderful, the olive branch and the wonderful buttercup there. But you've also got the hair, the hair with the wonderful, wonderful fox, which is just exquisite. And that one has been really, really popular. How many minutes have I got? Two minutes. I wonder if, where's my hair? Uh, my hair, where's my hair? On your head, love. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Let me just stamp the fox before we run out of time. Just to show you. Just because I can. Okay, we're, before we run out of time, oh, gorgeous Mr. Fox. We're going to stamp him in black. What's his name? Um, his name is... Um, what's his name? I think he should be called Nicholas. Nicholas the Fox. Or he should be called um, Graham. <laughs> All right, Graham. There we go. There. Look at that image. Is that not just absolutely, again, beautiful? So beautiful. And, of course, you can use all your, you know, the, the gorgeous rumbas. I wonder if I can quickly get the rumbas in here. Like this. Just bring my gorgeous rumbus onto this one. And what I love about this, I haven't even, um, I haven't masked it off, but because it's only in light tea's dye ink, then it means, see, you can literally just get rid of that ink and it means you don't need to do masking. You can only get away with that a little bit, and obviously, when you colour over the top of it, you can get rid of it even more. But but it's quite nice for uh, it's quite nice when you can't be bothered masking. Beautiful, beautiful image. Um, please check your baskets out because everything is absolutely fabulous. Let us say goodbye to Derek too. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Shauna, 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 get in, give us a wave. Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, with some beautiful art materials. Thank you, Derek. Thank Bye. you. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just $19.99 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates.
If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away, or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888, and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Pat and Mark from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. everyone welcome to the craft store it's lovely to have your company this afternoon now we've got an hour of tapestry ahead this is something we don't get to see that often here at the channel I don't think you will recognize our guests though let's introduce the lovely Rosella who's going to talk us through the demonstrations this hour very good afternoon well likewise how nice to see you and mm -hmm. nice to see you too yes do you know, I don't know if it's just that I've been on the different shift when we've had tapestry here, or is it that we don't see those sort of shows very often? Um, I brought a tapestry show fairly recently, last couple of weeks, and that's the first one I'd done on tapestry on really? Needle Point. And it's something that I've, like many people, I've done it for years and yeah. years and years. It's, it's probably the first kit I ever did. In fact, I remember it's a lady with a black and white tiled floor. Um, but <laughs> because it's half cross stitch, and so it's nice and quick and easy to do, so it's great for absolutely everyone. Oh, perfect. So maybe you've been looking at cross-stitch and thinking, do you know, I want to give it a go, but I'm not too sure. Maybe this might be for you because, as you've just heard there, the half cross-stitch. We'll see that, of course, in demonstration as well. Let's have a look at the first kit. It is brand new. What I'm going to tell you as well, I know every one of the prices we've got this afternoon is absolutely incredible. Now, you straight away you can see you've got a £3 saving on this one. This is our autumn scene. There's a lot going on in that scene as well. We've got the trees there, we've got the cottage, we've got the ladder. Looks like they're apple trees, are they then? Yeah, absolutely, because it's the printed canvas, um, it's quite a small hole, count on that, it's a cotton canvas, um, and you're getting that detail on there then. It means that because the stitches are relatively small, look at the detail that you're actually getting from it. Um, it also means it's lots and lots of fun to stitch, of course, because of that detail. It certainly is. Now, you are looking at a framework there. That's part of the packaging. I'm just going to take out the canvas itself just to show you because you get all of the threads and, of course, you will get the coding as well. Now, the threads are so, uh, soft cotton, aren't they? They are a soft cotton, that's right. And you'll see, actually, under your fingers, Catherine, that you've actually got a code for the DMC stranded cotton threads as well because you've got threads with this, but actually you could mix and match, add a little bit of different textures on there as well. Um, but great, I love the size of these. Um, I personally think the price is great for what you're getting on this one, but it's an achievable project, isn't it? It certainly is. Do you know, I love the packaging because that you can imagine that then being framed yep. once it's created as well. Yep. Wonderful. Now, you do get the needle included as well. And of course, it's specific to tapestry. $16.99, that's all it is for this whole kit. The amazing price we've got, as I said, because look at the amount of threads you get in there. 173127 is the item number. Very nice indeed. Now, we've, I think we've got something to suit everybody as well. We all love roses, don't we? Well, we've got a bowl of roses next. Lots of beautiful colours again in this one. Uh, Rosella isn't there. Again, it, you've got the canvas pre-printed. You've got the chart. You've got all of the threads, the instructions, and, of course, the needle in this one as well. It's like an old master, isn't it, this one? It, isn't it, it is, it <laughs> isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Um, actually, this is one I've chosen as well to demonstrate because I think it's, it really is lovely. And, again, you're getting so much detail on there, but look looking at the contrasts of threads, you can see that it's not complicated to stitch, but when you've actually stitched it up, you're going to get such a variation on there, it's going to look super. It certainly is. There you can see those lovely soft cotton threads again, just £16.99, £6 saving on this one, 433 177 is the item number there. 
let's move on again because we've got, we're going a little bit more oriental now we've got the japanese lady now this one is already busy you can see the parasol you can see oh the beautiful colors in the hills behind there as well very scenic but the focal point being the japanese lady i think this is just absolutely stunning isn't it and i can understand why this one's busy because i think, think this is so different to what we ordinarily see isn't it it certainly is and it's just going to look so fantastic on um, a wall um, I'm looking at these as well, and I'm thinking maybe book covers, album covers as That's well, a good idea. because these are these are tapestries. So naturally, they are hard wearing. If you sort of think of tapestries in stately homes, etc., they're hundreds of years old because this is a good hard wearing stitch. Could you set some of these maybe into a little footstool or something yeah. like that as yeah. well? Or Absolutely. A size screen? Um, actually, on a previous Tap at Needlepoint show, we had um, somebody rang in and talked about quilting with them as well and actually have them as panels on quilts and things oh, like this wonderful. as well. So, yeah, don't just, though it's packaged in a frame, don't just think, oh, okay, I'll frame it. Definitely not. Oh, they are stunning, aren't they? Sixteen ninety nine again. Another six pound savings. Zero five six six five two is the item number. Now, one of my favourite fruits coming up next. I like real ones, but I love them in tapestry form as well because we've got strawberries for you. This is really sweet, actually. Oh, that wasn't meant to be a pun. They, they, they look really nice. I love how you can see just from the canvas there, the shading on the strawberries there, the catching a little bit of the light there. You can see every one of the seeds. This is going to be very pretty. It is, because each of those strawberries, you've got, I think, three different colours of breads within there as well. I'm looking at that and I'm thinking maybe a table mat, pot yes. holder, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I just think it would be super, either outside in this summer that we're all waiting for, um, unless we had it that week, um, or, you know, maybe in the kitchen. Maybe that's going to be a theme in your kitchen as well. I just think it's lovely. It is gorgeous. Nine ninety nine. Wow, if you're looking for a kit to get going, that price point as well doesn't get much better than that, does it? Three pounds saving, nine to eight, six eight nine. Then we're going to move on again because, oh, when it comes to those florals, they're always favourites, aren't they? We've seen the roses always very popular, but look what we've got here. We've got poppies at coffee time. Oh. I get for uh, poppies at tea time, but yeah, <laughs> exactly. I just don't like coffee. That's why, oh, but it looks wonderful. It could be a cup of tea. <laughs> Well, got yes, cake. It, it, it's got cake basically it's got cake and it's got flowers so it, it ticks the boxes really doesn't it and i think this is just going to look super made up it really is isn't it um i'd have this in my kitchen most definitely or um, maybe in the conservatory maybe you know around yeah. and you don't need to frame these and put them on the walls these can go in frames that you can then stand on a table so maybe you're having someone around for tea this would be a great sort of um object then to would, just to decorate your set with yes do you know what you could do as well Sometimes, oh, I'm back to my upcycling now, but you know you can sometimes find the tables that have had the glass in? Yep. And then the glass has got broken, but you've got the, the reset. Yep. You could put a tapestry in something yep. like that and have a, a piece of glass or perspex put over the top. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think it's, it's sort of, because it's such an ancient craft, isn't it? I mean, it has been going for so long yeah. that it's so appreciated. And most people will recognise it for what it is, that it is a tapestry, and they'll, they'll ask you if you've made it. Oh, these prices, honestly, you couldn't go out to a cafe and get a cup of tea and a slice of cake for the family for uh, less than that, could you? Think of the hours of fun you're going to have with this. Sixteen ninety nine is the price of six pounds saving. Five four five one four one is the item number. Now, if you're loving what you're seeing, and we know you are, we've got a bundle next for you as well. One big bundle. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, what's the overall size of this? Do we know the, the size when these are created? We'll see. 14 by 18 centimetres. Now, you can go for these individually. Each has a £3 saving. Now, those £3 savings all carry across this bundle. So the fact that we've got four here, if I can do the maths today, that's £12 there, then another £2 on top, that's £14 saving, bringing the price down to 37.96. And again, some favourites here. Sunflowers, tulips we've got there as well. What was the purple one? Oh, oh we've got another rose and we've got the bluebells as well. Beautiful. Do you know, I would put the, I would actually frame these and I would have them as a quartet on a wall. Yeah, I think some I would as well. Some of my flowers. Either in one of those long ones. Yes, that, They'd that look all work. great together or in sort of four separate ones. I think these are going to look so, so lovely. And, and actually, you know what, maybe we're thinking of gifting now. You've yeah. got four gifts for that, haven't you? And you're not just giving a kit, you're giving hours and hours of pleasure and inspiration then, aren't you? You certainly are. What a great price. £37.96 for the whole collection. 959 457. 
Yeah, I think we're going to be busy on those. Now, we've got another kit with the threads for you as well. Remember, these are all soft cotton threads in here. You do get the instructions. You do get the needle. You get the pre-printed canvas. Oh, we've got some gorgeous little kittens now. How sweet are these? <laughs> do you know, and that's before they've been stitched, Rosella. Yeah. I mean, when you can see the detail and how adorable they look there, you, it, you know, once you start to stitch and you see that detail coming through, it's going to look amazing. And I think because it is printed, you can see exactly where you're heading as well. And it also means that actually, because you've got it there, maybe you've got a cat of your own and you think, well, actually, my cat's got a little white V or something on his forehead. So actually, I'm going to change it ever so yeah, slightly because, of course, idea. you can be creative and do change the colours on these. Oh, they are adorable, aren't they? Everything included again there. $16.99, another £6 saving and another new today. 512-763 is the item number there. Now, it changes a little bit now because we've got some canvases on their own. There's no threads with these, but you can see the guide is there. So if you want to match those colours, you can. But there's nothing to stop you using different colours, is there, Rosella? No, absolutely not. I mean, that's a sort of an autumnal theme, isn't it? But actually, maybe you would like to create a spring theme with that. So add some pale greens instead of the, the yellows and oranges on that. Um, and maybe actually you'd like the house a different colour. You know, my dream house, I think, would probably be apple green. So maybe I'll change the colour of the house. Um, it's your Choice. but what you may have is either some stranded cottons and the numbers down the side are the DMC numbers for stranded cotton so you could use six strands of um, thread for this okay. or and or and you may have some tapestry walls that yeah. you've got left over from other kits that you can think oh actually I'm going to use a bit of that in there maybe you're going to mix and match so you're getting different textures within there as well I like the sound so of that, yeah actually. I mean think, think of the leaves with with stranded cottons and with walls so that you you're putting things in the background there's an awful lot you can do with that and I just think it is a lovely design as well slightly larger as well on this one I'm loving what you're saying there. I like the idea of turning that from autumn into spring as well. If you want to go for this one, it's only 1049-998-627. Perhaps you're someone that's done a lot of cross-stitching, a lot of tapestry, a lot of sewing in general, and you've got those yarns ready to go. You can decide on those colours. Yeah, £4 saving there as well. Now, we do have more. We've got more florals, but this time we've got the butterfly as well. Oh, isn't this lovely? Butterfly on roses. So another canvas. So you can choose the colours or you can use the guide and match those colours if you so wish. Only 10.49 for this one, a £3.50 saving, 012547. Every one of these prices, Rosella, is yeah. just... <laughs> ridiculous really it, it is such a good price it really is and again this lovely one you're going to add your own threads to that i'm thinking definitely a cushion for this one and it's okay the canvas is about this size so what i would then do is choose the border maybe to match the curtains maybe to match your bedding so that then you're going to be able to mix and match your home decor with this because you've got the ability to put your own threads to it then you can pull those colors in from the yeah. fabric that's going around the outside Amazing. And it doesn't stop there. We've still got more to tell you about. But remember, for that one, it's 012547. Moving on. This is a favourite of someone in our gallery. I do know that. Uh, our caterer loves the horses. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, this is just the pre-printed canvas we're looking at. So you can imagine the detail that's going to come out here again. But if you wanted to change the colour again, you certainly could do. Yeah, absolutely you could do. And yeah, it's going to look absolutely stunning when it's made up. It really is. And again, you've got things like the flowers that the, in the meadow there that the horse is standing in. You could then change the colours of those. We've got sort of yellows, maybe primroses, but actually you could change that to clover. Or so I don't know whether horses can have clover. I don't know. Um, but that you can just change anything that you'd like to do on this. Oh, I'm loving the blossom in the trees behind as well. That's one of my favourites on the show as well, I think. £10.49, £3.50 savings, 691962. We've got one more to tell you about on the counter as well, and we're back to that cuteness. There we are, the little puppy in the flower pot. <laughs> Oh, I, I think this is just lovely. And I mentioned the first kit I ever stitched was actually a tapestry kit. Um, and if I'd had this one, I would have been over the moon because actually I think for a younger person, if you would like to give somebody the gift of actually learning how to create tapestries and this lifelong maybe love of crafts, this is a great one to start with. But also it's just so much fun to do. Maybe you're a dog lover, you're going to really enjoy it. Oh, it is lovely, isn't it? And only nine ninety nine again. Another three pound saving. Nine nine six seven five seven. 
Now we'll pop over to the website briefly because we've got lots more for you there as well. We've got extra needles. We have got bundles of thread as well in different colours. So do have a look at those. They are more your wools, uh, your wool skeins. You can see in the details there, 10 skeins in each of those kits as well. Amazing value. We've also got the hoops for you. These are Millward hoops. We've got the standing frames as well, the seat frames and the embroidery seat frame uh, and books galore. I'm sure they're on the website as well. So do grab yourself a bargain. Make sure you've got everything that you need. But if you've never done any tapestry before and you're thinking, well, I'm not sure what it means, half cross stitch, I have no idea where I'm going to start, then there's only one lady that's going to tell us, and that's Rosella, of course. Shall we head over there now? Are you ready to go, Rosella? Let's, let's have a look. So Love I always that. like to have a look at what we're getting in our kit because this is a how I'm getting it home. So I've just taken it out of the wrapper because it's quite a noisy wrapper. Um, and I'm going to look first at the bluebells. So... Look, and I love the simplicity of this kit. Um, Collection Dart, this is, I think, the second show where I featured products from them, and they are such good quality products. I think they're a uh, Greek form firm, actually. And so I love the fact that you've actually got it within the frame. Now, I mentioned that this is just a half cross stitch and I'll, I'll show that a little bit later but you've got the instructions on the back and a half cross stitch is a very very simple stitch so it creates a tent stitch so tent stitch is sort of a, a, um, three stitches within needle point of tapestry and one of them being this half cross stitch so I love the fact that it shows what it's going to look like on the front how you're going to stitch it but also what it's going to look like on the back as well so um, and if yours doesn't look exactly like that that's absolutely fine it really is um also how you're finishing off as well and and when we stitch through we'll actually have a look at this so um they mentioned these are not washable kits you don't need to wash these it's not like you're going to wash off um, a design like you would on a tapestry a, a needle uh, embroidery tablecloth something like that so you're not going to need to wash. Now, it does actually say not, uh, not for children under the age of seven um, and for use under adult supervision. And it says sharp objects. However, let me just show you the needles that you're getting here. You're getting John James needles here. And these are a tapestry needle. Now, a tapestry needle is slightly different to an embroidery needle in that you've got a blunt end. Because you've got holes already in the canvas, you don't need a sharp end on there. And then you've got a large eye because the thread that you're using, whether it be the thread that's actually within the kit, so maybe you're going to substitute it for some wool, etc., that needs to be able to thread through that needle really easily. So you've got your needle within there as well. Just talking of needles, on the website we have the Pony, it's a set of gold tapestry needles. If you love your tapestry and you cross stitch like I do, then I definitely recommend getting those uh, needles as well because <laughs> A, if you lose it, you've got another one. But they are an absolute joy to use and just a cracking price. I love them. Absolutely love them. That is a cracking deal as well, Rosella. Look yeah. how much you get in there. Sizes 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. You've got your 18 to 24, your 24 to 26, all for just £10.49. That is a really, really good buy. It's 239702. And if you, if you do cross-stitch and if you do tapestry, then people will talk about gold needles and you'll understand why. They, they thread nicely, they stitch nicely, they're just nice to use. Um, so you've got a little note in. It says, before embroidering, please make sure that you assort threads by colour and stitch a small piece of each colour to the corresponding box on the edge of the canvas for a convenient example. <laughs> I think that loses slightly in translation. Um, do not embroider the line frame that, that <laughs> around the design. Unless, of course, you would like to. In which case, go for it. It's yours. Um, so you've got a great size on this. Now, I'm, we were talking earlier, and Mr Baker, our director, says, how long do we think that this would take to actually stitch? Now, I'm thinking if you gave it a good go... I would think three or four days, but you'd have to give it a good go for that. If you were going to do it on an evening, um, a good week, maybe maybe two. So you're going to get loads of pleasure from stitching these. You really are. These are your swatch colours that you're then going to look at the threads. And if I just put the threads against them, you can see they are just so beautiful. And this soft cotton thread really is lovely to actually stitch with as well. I'll talk a little bit later about binding these, etc. Um, if you follow me, you know that I always stitch within a seat frame or a hoop. And I've got the seat frames and the hoops on here. And we'll talk about those as well. Um, 
tapestry is really quite important to keep it taut, especially if you're doing a half cross stitch, because all your stitches head in one direction. And if you're, if you're only stitching in one direction, your tapestry has a, a tendency to go in that direction as well. So I'll give you a tip on how to do that as well. So um, this is the bluebells, and you've got so many in that bundle, Catherine. They really are such a beautiful, beautiful collection. And um, so can I hand over to you, and then I will get ready. You certainly some, can. Something else? Yes, let's give you those details again for the full bundle. Let's go through the different variants as well, because, of course, the bluebells, the one that Rosella's currently looking at, she's right, those colours are just beautiful, aren't they? Then we also have the sunflower. There's something for all seasons, really, here, isn't there? The sunflower, another flower that is always very, very popular. You do get a needle with each one. Just because you get in the bundle, don't think that anybody's scrimping on the components in there. You will get those needles with each kit. Then the next one, it reminds me of watermelons, this next one. We're looking at the threads there, the greens, the whites and the pinks. But it's actually your uh, tulips that you're going to create out of this one. And then you've also got the rose as well, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got the rose buds, the rose out in bloom and also those leaves as well. Um, every one of these together, remember, individually carry that £3 saving, but bringing them together, you've got a £12 saving there and we've got another £2 on top. The whole lot for just £37.96, 959457 is the item number. How much was that gone? 40% of the stock has gone very, very busy on these. I think, as Rosella said, you could break this one down. You could gift these. You could create them and then gift them. Keep them all for yourself. Do you know that you've got hours and hours of entertainment? It's not really the right, right way of saying it. Is that you are entertaining yourself when you're doing something you enjoy. But this is mobile crafting. This is sociable crafting. This is something you're going to see coming to life before your eyes as well. And there's no rushing with this. 959-457 is the item number. Now, we've had an email in. From Jane. Jane is saying, oh, you can get a, a UV blocking plastic to frame them as well. Right, so you don't have to worry about anything, if, if the, you know, if there was a possibility of it fading at yeah. all. And, and also, it just shows it off to its best advantage, because I think that's, I'm right in thinking that's the, sort of the anti-glare one as well, so that you see exactly what's under there. Because obviously, embroidery looks best with nothing doesn't it so yeah. you need something to protect it but that actually you can appreciate every stitch that's gone no, I didn't in if you know you could get that so thank you jane i've learned something new as well there uh well done do have a look out for that if you want to use of course your finished projects wherever you want where you might think there's a little bit of sunlight as well how are you getting on rosella oh uh, right well i'm on my bowl of roses now so i've got my bowl of roses now i didn't mention there was a little slip there that said you need to separate your threads. Now, this is really, really important on this. The reason being is you've got a lot of different color threads here. And just because this thread, it, this swatch is this color doesn't necessarily mean that the thread that you're using is that color. Because you've got, if you have a lot of detail in a kit, often your color on the kit is, is not as similar to the color that you're stitching because they need to show a contrast because otherwise you can't determine what color it is yeah. to stitch. So you have to have a greater contrast within the thread. Okay. So it's really important to actually separate out those thread colors. So um, if you say I've got sort of two colors of pink there and that's going to be that one this is going to be this one and then i'm going to go for the red so it's really really important to sort them out now what i've done is if you go through your threads and you pull out one of every color and i wish i'd done this before you might have to talk amongst yourselves for this one so there's quite a lot of this green but oh let me show you that so on here look how similar these two greens are and that's because um it's going to create a beautiful uh, design. However, if you actually put those two really similar on a colour chart, there's a good chance that you're actually going to confuse those, isn't yeah, there? So, so your colour chart might have a little bit more contrast within there. So you've really got to sort them out really carefully. In fact, I've actually got three different colours there together. I hadn't realised. And it's very important to do that before you do anything else at all. <laughs> and I want all the greens out because I want to show you what to do with them. And uh, now I've got too many greens in my hand and they're all different colours. Now that's a different colour as well. Are these cut to the premium length? They, they, they are, are absolutely cut to the premium length, which is it's slightly longer than your embroidery thread. I always say sort of top to 
to the elbow there but it's cut so that because it's going through a stiff canvas it doesn't want to be too long because it might fray so it's just at this great length where you're not having to start and stop too many times and that just speeds up the process so much it really does um, I want to show you platting them, but I need a few more threads yet. Catherine, can I just throw back to you for one minute you whilst I just can. sort out a few extra greens on well, here? Well, we will have a look at that kit that you're working with now, Rosella. Actually, the bowl of roses, you can see there. It is like a masterpiece, isn't it? There's beautiful colours in there. You've already heard from Rosella how you need to sort those threads. You've got various different greens in there, but you're going to see the contrast looks so beautiful. But yeah, they're not going to look the same as a canvas, as we've just heard. You'll see them blend so it will look more realistic. 16 99 is the price for this kit. Just a reminder, if you've just joined us as well, not only are you getting the printed canvas, you've got the full guide on there as well on the packaging. You can see all the colours there, so ready to sort those colours out. Uh, just to point out again as well, the DMC colours that you can see down this side here are for the stranded cotton. So if you want to use stranded cottons, you can match those colours up. The threads that are provided in the kit are soft cotton, which are absolutely beautiful. But you have got choices here. But I think as a starter kit or something just to get going, just something to work with straight out from the pack, you certainly can get going with this one. And all of those with the threads and the needle, instructions and canvas already printed for you. $16.99 as I say for this one, £6 saving, 433177. We've got so many different kits for you as well. There really is something for everyone. We are busy on the phone lines as well, so do make sure you're checking those baskets out. Now, I will just check with Rosella to see how she's getting on. Yep. So if she needs any more time, you're all right, you're good yep. to go. Yep, we've got enough here so that I can show you what I want to show Lovely. you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay all your colours out and you're going to establish on these swatches exactly which colour is which. So I'm, I'm going for a stab in the dark, we're going to go for this one. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to thread your needle up and um, because these are large eye needles you can see they're really easy to thread so what i do is if you squish the thread between your thumb and your forefinger and then push the needle onto the thread it doesn't really have anywhere to go except through the eye of the needle so rather than try and poke it through push it down and just taking one of those threads all you're going to do is you're going to just pop a little swatch a little piece of thread on that swatch because as you're stitching these as you're working your way through and the, the greens are really close in colours, it's really important to remember which colour goes with which one. Um, not so much for the design because, you know, maybe you want to change the design, but you want to make sure you've got enough thread to do that at the end of the day. So let's just cut that off. And then what I'm going to do is, whoops, I'm going to put all the threads together. Now this was a little trick that was taught to me by some of our lovely viewers, Bridget and Rachel, um, on a different show actually, but it's, it's just as valid. Because you can see that my cottons are all getting a little bit mixed up and how easy it is to confuse the two greens, which I did. So what you're going to do is you're going to sort them all out to start with and organise them. And then you need something to hang them around. Well, I'm actually going to use one of our anti-slip hoops because I found this was really useful. Um, can we just have a picture of these whilst I sit back and put it between my knees? <laughs> we it's will coming, bring it's up coming, the roses there it's for coming. you. It's, it's, <laughs> there, <laughs> they are. there they are. So you get four hoops all in the one set. So these are your non-slip embroidery hoops, $9.99. 207657 is the item number. Yeah, well worth popping those into your basket. They're really good actually because when it says non slip, they've got a little ridge and a little um, lock in position on the side of the hoop there, so they can't slide around. So, very, very nice indeed. Now, just while we're waiting for a seller as well, we have a sellout to tell you about as well. I'm not surprised this one. The horse in the orchard, that has gone. Well done if you managed to grab that one. No point in giving you the details because it has sold out. That shows you how quickly things can disappear. We have got lots more on offer, whether you're going for the kits with all the threads, the, the fabric, pre-printed, and the needles, of course, or we do still have some more where we just can offer the canvases. So you can use your own threads, your own colours. It does give recommendations, but if you want to change those, you certainly can. Let's get back to Rosella. Let's see if she's all right now. Are you okay? <laughs> I know. So you, you don't have to grasp your hoop between your knees, however it helps. <laughs> as long as you've got something, you, you could use a, a member of your family, anything like that, but all you what you want to do is hook your threads over something and you're going to plait them. 
So you're going to separate them into three. So the middle ones are actually going to go together. We'll have another one on that. Come back, come back, come back. And then the reason being that it keeps all of your threads together, keeps them neat and tidy. Um, if you've got extra threads, they're already then pre-sorted for the next project and you're not going to get confused with the colours. Looks nice. It's quite a lot of fun to do. Um, if actually you're thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm a little tired, I don't want to stitch tonight, sit and organise your threads and plait your threads. And it's, you know, it's great practice if you've got a little girl in, you need to, or a boy, and need to practice plaiting their hair, or a horse, as it goes in. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay, that's enough. It's not going to come undone. So, you're going to release that from your hook, uh, from your hoop there. That can go back to your project. And then what you've got then is you've got your, your plait. And then all you need to do when you want to thread is gently pull one side and then the other. I just kind of tease it out then. I know. Isn't that great? That is wonderful. Thank you, Bridget and Rachel, for sharing me this. That because is a, it's such a good idea. It is such a great idea. And if I just show you um, one of the others that I've got on the go, you can see then that I've got all my plaits here. I've been using quite a lot of white, so it's loosened a bit. But it means then that they're all neat and tidy and you can go straight to the colour that you want. Love it. Isn't I that a great that idea? idea. That's brilliant. Yeah. And it's quite fun to do as well. Who doesn't <laughs> like plaiting? So, so that was me plaiting. Um, right, next, what we're going to do next. So the edges of your canvas, quite prickly. Now, what you can do is that you could um, over-sew them with sewing machine, if you've got your sewing machine handy. What I do is get a bit of masking tape and find the end. Oh, sorry, that's very noisy. And if you just then, you don't have to do it in one long thing, you can do it in several sm shorter, smaller pieces, and then just fold it over. And that's quite tacky. That will stay in place whilst you're actually completing your canvas. And what it'll prevent is that your um, thread snagging on it, basically, because um, it can snag on the edges as you're working. And also, would the edges wear a little bit? Would they start getting a bit raggedy? Potentially, they could. These canvases are great because you've got quite a lot of extra along the side. Okay. So, but yeah, if you're going to then, um, perhaps we are going to frame this. And if you're going to frame this, after you've stitched it, you would probably lace it over a board. So what you would do is you turn it over and you would then stitch yeah. and lace it like that. You take your masking tape off. So actually, yeah, if you can preserve your edges, then it's going to be a whole lot easier, okay. isn't it, at the end. So I would definitely recommend um, just binding the edges as well. Um, even if, you know, you, you're really eager to get on with it, just do the bottom one, the one that's going to be closest to you or the closest to where you're stitching because you're going to have your thread closest to that one and it's going to be on your knee as well. So um, Now this is going to sound slightly odd but there's a reason i'm asking it and i think you'll understand why is it important the clothing that you're wearing when you do your tapestry um well <laughs> i have learned it's ideal not to wear black because you'll pick up bits of fluff so right, yeah. um what i do find is if you're wearing either um or, or actually usually something like a tea towel that's either white or dark depending on what you're stitching. So on this one, I've got quite a lot of dark there, Catherine. Okay, what I yeah. would do is I'd put a white tea towel behind, if I'll just leave it on the desk, because that makes it a lot easier then to see the holes. Similarly, I if see. I'm doing a white area, I'd put something dark under there, because then, again, that's going to help me. So, um, and that will also protect your clothes as well. So, yeah. you know, usually when I'm going to sit and do a tapestry, I'll actually pop a cloth over my knee. Um, and also it catches, if you drop your needle, it catches your needle and various other things that yeah, you might drop whilst you're uh, doing this. Um, just whilst I've got this, you did mention that this is the DMC colours and you'll, you'll you probably recognise some of these colours. Blank is a DMC for white, um, 117 is the pale pink on there. But what we've also got on the show that you might want to think about as well, I mentioned with those other tapestries that you, you might have your own walls that you're using up. Um, the other thing we've got is we've got actually some colour schemes within there as well. If you perhaps want to bring in some of the colours from your home, I've chosen this one because my kitchen happens to be grey. And so I thought, oh, actually, nice. as a background, what you can do, of course, is add different colours on there. But what it would also do, if, we, if I just compare those threads with these, this will still stitch through this canvas. 
but because of the difference in the textures, it's going to create different textures as yeah. well. So maybe this sort of interest and excites your different textures within your stitching, then go for it as well. Maybe you've got metallic thread you want to add to it as well. So really have a play with tapestry kits because they are brilliant for this. I should imagine it's well worth spending a little bit of time again just to put those swatches in place oh, yes. if you are changing the colours because if you're not looking at the printed canvas in the same way as you are looking at the, the skeins then obviously that's very important to do that as well and that's great that's why they're there is that actually yeah. if you do want to transpose those colours you know perhaps the roses on here perhaps you're going to stitch this for um, someone who loves yellow roses so you're going to look at this and you think okay so the roses they use three different colors of pink and then they use a darker color we used to keep the darker color the brown etc probably so maybe you'd then choose three different colors of yellows yeah. to go with that or whatever colors suit you so it, it really does enable you to be creative now i mentioned about tapestry that because it's stitching in one way it tends to sway to that way as well if you can put tapestry in a frame. I always stitch embroidery in a frame, but it's really important with tapestry to keep it as stable as you possibly can. Um, you'll find that this particular one will fit in our, our frames that we got on the show. So we've got um, either, well, I know you, you saw this when he came in, didn't you? I've got, I did. I've got the yeah. table frame. <laughs> <laughs> I keep missing out on the frames. Every time I see them on the show I'm presenting, they're sold out before I get one. So I've got... I don't think I've seen this one I know. Uh, and when I think of tapestry, I actually think of this. And I don't know why. But I think because it tends to be out for a decorative purpose, I think, yeah. oh, actually, I love this. And I would be very inclined. I mean, you talk about the upcycling, Catherine. I'd be inclined after I'd stitched it to leave this as the display. Oh, and actually, definitely. I know, lace it onto the back, cover yeah. it with a bit of felt maybe to hide your workings or not. You know, it's really interesting if you don't. Um, but this one's, this is the table frame. So it's exactly the same. It moves according to um, how you'd like it to. If I just turn it over, you've got feet on the bottom. So it's not going anywhere near your table. It's standing on these feet as well. And when you leave it out, it's a real talking piece, isn't it? You know, it looks very well made as well with the wing yeah. nuts there to tighten things. Because things, when you're working with them as well, they can come a little bit loose. And if it's just a screw, it can wear the wood. The wing nuts there are going to mean that's much more stable. It certainly is. They've got washers on there as well, yeah. so it's not going to run through. The other great thing about here is you've got, on your screw, you've got the screw head, which means that if you want to tighten it more than you can by hand, hand that's why I use a screwdriver and yeah. then screw it so that and Nip if you're really using tight. this for something like an embroidery where you really do want it drum tight then use a screwdriver to tighten it um, and I just think a tapestry in that is just going to look absolutely super isn't it I totally agree with you and it's a great press it really is a very well made hoop there 30 pounds and 49 pence item number is 331996 this is 10 inches in diameter we do have the seat frame as another option as well for you so we'll have a look at that one with the Rosella next okay so oh cracker this is tight <laughs> might need a screwdriver that, yeah i wonder who put that on it was probably me actually <laughs> to be fair uh tapestries are quite thick so you're going to need to loosen that screw quite a lot um a great this is a, a seat frame so i'm going to sit on this in a moment but this is fully adjustable so it means that if you are oh. a lot taller than me and many people are um it means that actually you've got <laughs> that difference in height great thing for me about these is I need to have my sewing quite close because of my eyesight. It means that I can raise it to me yes, rather than me leaning down yeah. to the frame. Um, this one you're going to sit on, the other's going to rest on the table. Um, I put it between my knees, but actually you could sit side saddle if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. And what I would do is when you've put all your swatches on your, the side of your tapestry, you're then going to place it within the frame. Now, you might find that it's a little bit tricky to get it in the frame because they are quite stiff. So with these, what I would do is I'd take out the top of the frame and I'd do it this way around. Ah. Uh, yep, that way around. So I'm going to centre it and then decide which way it is. There we go. And actually press it in because you've got a lot of fabric here and you can see it's quite stiff. 
Yeah, and that fabric go. will soften as you work. Yeah, it will. Initially, it's, it does. It's, meant to be firm. it's great the way it does that because yeah. you think, oh, it's really stiff. And then, as you because you're going to roll it, and as you use it, yes, it does. So you can see that's gone into oh, that there. That's perfect, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then actually, it does need tightening up a little we bit. We are busy again on the seat frames. In. I'm not surprised. We always are. Twenty two ninety nine is the price. Six zero six two eight six is the item number. And then you are good to go and you're good to stitch on that one so and I just think you know you've got that out it means that if it sits out on your desk on your dining room table or your kitchen table and you've always got a needle threaded yeah. then you will always add a few stitches and because it's on this one it's not a counted canvas it's a printed canvas it means that actually you can just look at the colors look at your swatch and think oh I'll just do a little bit of that and you know you've got your threads here all plaited neatly as well we ought to find somewhere to hang them couldn't we, we could actually hang them on the wing nut at the back couldn't we depending how many there are there we go it's all neat and tidy Perfect. as Even well <laughs> Love it. Okay, I'm, and I'm going to get ready for something else. I'm going to do a little bit of stitching, so okay. I'm going to pass back to you if I may. Right, let's have another little recap down the counter then. Of course, we've got lots of new todays. Uh, we've already had a sellout as well, and we are very busy. I am not surprised if you've never tried tapestry before. There is something for you here. When you see Rosella showing us, you know, in demonstration how to stitch, you'll be surprised how easy this can actually be. Let's look at the first kit. 16.99 is going to get you the autumn scene. Now, you do get all of those threads there the soft cotton threads there's a whole abundance of different colors in there actually so, so many different shades you've got the reds in there of course for the apples on the tree you've got the cottage i love the scene there three pound saving on this one one seven three one two seven instructions for the stitches on the back of the packaging don't forget you do get the tapestry needle as well with that big eye so everything ready to go straight from the pack if you are wanting the seat frame though or one of those frames or a hoop i'd say be quick on those but you can manage with out, but it is advisable to use as we've just seen there with Rosella so it's nice to pop one of those into your basket at the same time the next item we had a brief look at this earlier this is the bowl of roses so there's different greens in here the pinks the deep red in there you can change the colors if you so wish but once again you're getting all of those threads the printed canvas the needle and of course the instructions and it does look lovely once again in the packaging there when you can see it framed up but how you use that finished piece is entirely up to you 16.99 again a six pound saving on this one four three three one seven seven now the next one has actually been our most popular item so far this is the japanese lady 60 percent of the stock has gone there's another great six pound saving on this one there's so many colors in here as well it's absolutely beautiful wherever you look you can see the cherry blossom you can see the beautiful clothing of the japanese lady the parasol in the background there you can see how scenic it is it's absolutely stunning zero five six six five two is the item number and once again just 16.99 then perhaps you are looking at a smaller project to get going. Maybe the strawberries is the one for you. I remember the price of this. It was only $9.99. Let's bring up the details though. 928-689 is the item number, a three pound saving. Definitely a nice little starter kit. Or perhaps you want to give this to someone, or maybe you're just looking for a project that isn't going to take too long, hasn't got so many colors in it, because although you've still got lots of colors in there, it's a little bit smaller of a kit, so it's nice and easy to work with. $9.99 is a great price, isn't it? It certainly is. Then moving along again. Oh, this is a stunner. The poppies at coffee time. What sort of cake is that? I know what it is, but I can't think of the name. Uh, it's always that shape as well, isn't it? Is it one of those that's got rum, a rum flavouring on it or something? I'm not sure. $16.99. Somebody email in and tell me. I can't, can't get it out of my head. $16.99 is the price for this one. A £6 saving. Yes, it is poppies at coffee time. Again, you're getting everything in the kit. 545141 is the item number. Now, we're moving on to the bundle next. This has been extremely busy. Three quarters of the stock has already gone. As we just have a look, we have actually got four individual kits here, all brought together in this one collection. Now, you can go for individuals. They each carry a £3 saving. The fact that we have got four individual projects there, that means you, straight away you've got a £12 saving. But we're going to give you another £2 on top as well. That takes the total to 37 pounds and 96 pence you're getting all of the threads for each kit a needle in each kit of course the canvas and of course the instructions again so you can easily split these down and share them with family or friends or gift them 959457 is the item number there and you do get the tulips the sunflowers the bluebells and the red rose oh we've had another sellout oh 
you like your adorable creatures, don't you? The kittens have gone. A technical sellout on that one. That means all stock is allocated in baskets. If we get any bounce backs, we'll let you know. No point in giving you the item number, though. Uh, let's have a look at the first kit now we've got. This is the first one we've got without the threads included. You can provide your own threads. You can change the colours. You can do whatever you wish. This one's got limited stock. This is the Barnyard, £10.49. Really nice piece, this one. £4 saving. 998-627 is the item number. And if you missed it earlier, Rosella said, if you do want to provide your own colours and threads, you could change that from an autumnal scene to a spring scene. You can change the colour of the barn. You can change whatever you wish. Really lovely project to do. Now, the next one, also very, very pretty. Oh, another limited. Wow, we are busy. Right, we've got the roses here with the butterfly, of course. Butterfly on roses. That would suit just anybody, wouldn't it? Who doesn't like a rose and a butterfly? £10.49. Again, this is a canvas without the threads. You can provide your own colours. You decide what sort of threads or a mixture of threads. £3.50 is the saving on this one. 012547. And then finally, if you missed out on the kittens, how about the puppy? The puppy in the flower pot. Oh, so sweet. Yes, again, you can change the colours if you wish, but I think he's adorable just as he is. Only £9.99, £3 saving, 996.757. There we are, that's the counter done. So we'll get back to demo with Rosella, of course. We won't see how those stitches are done, don't we? I do have a question, but I'm going to hang on with that question for a little while. Oh. <laughs> just think okay. you might cover it before I ask it. Oh, right, yeah. But I don't want to forget, so check with me later if, oh, if you've answered the question. Now, do you want to make a note? I'd have to write it on my hand. There'd be no chance I've of got remembering. No None whatsoever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for strawberries next because I just love this kit. Um, what I've done, you can see that then I've plaited all of my threads here and they just look so lovely like that. And this is such a lovely cough so coughs on soft <laughs> cotton. <laughs> Oh my goodness, to work with. It really is stunning. Now, I talked about the different colours on the swatches, how they may not necessarily look exactly like the colours that you're using. So when you look at these greens, because we've got similar greens, this actually looks quite mustardy on the colour swatch, but it's actually this colour green. And that's just to help you stitch it, because actually if you were looking at several different colour greens, it would be quite yeah. difficult to do. Now, I've talked many times on a hoop, etc., if you've got a canvas that is this size and your hoop is a 10 inch hoop, well that's not as big as a 10 inch hoop, what you can do, which is a really useful thing, and I've lost it all over, um, to do to make it fit is just stitch a little bit of um, calico around the edge there. So um, I'll take it out in a sec, but just to make it large enough to fit within your hoop. So on this particular one, if I can just take that out. Okay, I've tightened that so I can't. I'm just going to turn it around a moment. Come back out. There we go. Um, it may be one, two, three or four sides. Just pop a little strip on there and on the side, and that means it'll fit your hoop. Oh, but what, what it'll idea. also do, it means that your edges, you don't need to bind them because they're already prepared because they're actually yeah. attached within this as well. And also you might find it easier to lace if you've got a little bit more fabric on there as well. But um, So if it doesn't fit your hoop, add to it so that it does. Very good idea. Okay. So I've got my strawberries here and um, I've started with white. <laughs> which is not the easiest colour to show you. However, there was method in my madness on this. And the reason I started with the white is that it's the background. And if I can get the background quite stable, the inner is going to have a more difficulty distorting with that one-way stitch. Okay, yeah. So this is the background that I've started with the white. And if I just turn that over, and I've just stolen a little bit of blue card so that you can see that a little bit easier. As we looked at the back of our packaging... Ooh, come back and it's an, this is what the back should look like. So it should have little straight stitches up. That's the most economical way of working with your thread. So that um, the bit here, this is where I've joined the threads in and where I'm fastening them off, and I'm going to show you this as well. So um, that's, it's going to look similar. Now that looks really neat and tidy because that's all the background. Once you get the colours in there, forget it. It's not going to look anywhere near as tidy as that, and that's fine. But no one's going to look at the back, so it really doesn't matter. And then for your um, half cross stitch, all you're going to do is you're going to go on a diagonal. I've turned the design upside down. So from here, I'm going from bottom left to top right. And then I'm going to go back down to bottom left and to top right. 
And this is why you don't need a pointed needle because you're actually going through the holes that have been made within that canvas and um, with a tapestry needle. So I like the fact that on this one it's not a pointed needle. You don't need it. And you can see just how quick this is. Now the other way of preventing this distortion, and if it does become distorted, that's fine, because at the end all you need to do is give it a, a press under a cloth and um, you know maybe a spritz if necessary, and it's fine. You can straighten it out, just makes it nicer to work. But um, when you're working, try and make one row head as I am now, left to right, and the next row right to left. Now, the way I do it with the background, I've just got one more stitch on my background on this layer. And then let's head back the other way. So, I'm just going to finish this off for you because, um, yeah, we'll have another stitch there. Sometimes it's a little bit of a judgment call on a point on a leaf, which one's going to be white and which one's going to be green, but we'll finish that one there. Um, one way of reminding myself which way... I'm stitching is to leave a half row finished. So on that, I know that that row I'm heading right to left because I'm going to leave it unfinished right to left and I'm going to stop my stitching there. So the stitch itself is going in the same direction, it's just the way you're working. That's right, so the stitch always heads in the same direction if you want it to. <laughs> um, traditionally it always heads in the same direction but you, you know, I wouldn't say that that's law but um, You'll find that it won't quite fit together if they fit and if they go another direction, you're going to end up with a hole in it somewhere. So just carry on. And each time, you know, it's just so lovely to do this, isn't it? It's very yeah, hard to put down. Sally, even though you've just started with the white there, we can see how that's starting to build. And the great it thing about it the canvas. It changes it and it feels lovely yeah. when you're stitching it and you get to enjoy every stitch that you do. Is so lovely. Now let me just show you how I'm going to stop this. <laughs> really, I'm, I'm talking so I don't have to stop stitching because it's so <laughs> nice to do. I'm going to show you how to finish off. I promise. I'm going to finish off the now. The strawberries actually as well at nine ninety nine. Remember three pounds saving on this one. Uh, oh, it's just gone limited stock. Oh, I knew we were busy. I didn't think we were quite that busy. Yes, limited stock. If you want the strawberries, you need to be quick. Nine to eight, six eight nine. Okay, let me show you how to finish off. And really, all it is is weaving back through. Now, what I tend to do is I don't weave back through the stitch I've come from because I, I sometimes find that if you're sticking your needle through, it's pulling it a little bit yeah. tight. So ignore that one, and I go down down a row. And then you really don't need to go through many. You can see it's quite tight anyway. This. Let's go through a couple, and pretty much that's it. You can see that it's nice and taut there. It's not going to come undone. And then all you're going to do then is just snip that off. Oh, that is easy. And that's it. And then I do want to show you how we start as well. Okay. So if I just, and I'm sorry it's going to be white again, but I've, I've put the blue card so you can see a little bit. That shows what we were talking about earlier though, doesn't it, with the tea cloth or, yes. you know, whatever you're wearing. You that's can see it. there with the background being blue, that dark blue, and the white stitching, it really does help. It does, so, you know, maybe all you've got is a piece of card, that's fine. It really doesn't matter, just choose something convenient. Um, I, now, you can hold your thread at the back while stitching over, but it's so much easier if you just tie a waist knot. So, little knot in the end. Go down maybe five or six stitches along. Oh, I've got to let everybody know, Rosella. Go on. Literally just sold out of those <laughs> strawberries. Well done, everybody. We will bring the details in for the Japanese lady that's right next to us. She's been extremely busy as well. Uh, in fact, she was the front runner earlier on, but we've had a few sellouts. Japanese lady is 16.99 with a six pound saving, 056652. You imagine how beautiful that's going to be when you see all that stitching done. It's just glorious. It's absolutely, in whichever kit you use, the stitch is the same. So it's exactly the same techniques. So I've got my knot on the front. Oops. And then all I'm going to do is each time I stitch, when I go down, as I come back up, I'm just going to turn it now. You'll see that I'm... If, if I just... Can you see that's, that's my oh, knots yes, on the end loose. of that? And yeah. each time I'm enclosing that loose thread with my stitch and that's just yeah. going to hold us oh, yeah that's just going to hold it in place and um i love chris says just do it one more time because it's backwards chris i can't do it backwards but never <laughs> <mind>. <laughs> i 
I think I've missed one out, but it doesn't matter. A good shot of that nice blunt needle, though. <laughs> yes, it is, isn't it? And it is <laughs> lovely. But each time you're going to stitch over that, I know I've got to undo that one. <laughs> but then when you get to the front, all you're going to need to do then is a nice pair, sharp pair of scissors and snip that knot off. And it's already there. It's nice and tight, and, neat, and you just go. That is the best way. It's, the, it? it's just such that. an easy way to do it, and literally it takes seconds. Yeah. And because I think it's already in there, you're not having to hold it. It's really quick to do, so you don't yeah. mind changing your threads many, many oh, times. That's the only thing, you know. Whatever you're doing, knitting, crochet, stitching, if you leave all those ends till last and you haven't secured them, and then you've got to go back and thread all those ends in, that can get a little bit frustrating. Yes. Yeah. It's so as you go along. So um, what I would do on this one, I would continue to do the Y, and then I'm, I'm sort of giving it that framework. Now, whichever one you look at, whether it's Japanese lady, which I know we're going to talk about soon, whichever one, try and do a little bit around the outside just to give it that stability. Yeah. But I would recommend always putting them in a hoop. Okay. Definitely. Right. I need, I need to do two things, actually. <laughs> I was going to ask that question before I forgot, but I'm going to tell you something else first. We've had another sellout. The bundle has sold out. Well done. I'm not surprised, though. I mean, look at that price. Now, the bluebells or the sunflowers are available individually, but everything else is gone. Uh, well done if you did get that one. The ja oh, no, another one. Japanese ladies just gone limited stock. So you need to be very quick on this one as well. Six pounds saving, sixteen ninety nine zero five six six five two. Yeah, you need to be quick. Those phone lines have been busy almost throughout the hour, actually. Um, yes, if I may, can I ask the question? Because I, I think I know the answer, but I'm not 100% certain. When we do cross-stitch, mm -hmm. we do an outline. Do we never do an outline with tapestry? Uh, actually... Um, you'll find on the kits that they don't, you mean back stitch? Yeah, the yeah, back, back stitch. stitch yeah. That they don't tend to, but actually this is yours. And I would certainly bring in things like a metallic thread maybe that Ooh. you would make an outline with. Um, potentially on your Japanese lady, I would look at her face and think, is, is it detailed enough for me? I might give her a little bit of shadow under her chin maybe yeah. with a, you know, a very pale brown, but maybe a stranded cotton, just one strand, two strands, something like that. So just have a look. And also maybe you want something to stand out. Look at the cherry blossom around her. Maybe you'd like to put just a little bit of detail on there That's as well. It's, it's the oh. same canvas as a cross stitch. Yeah. So you've got the holes there to give you that ability. I'm glad I asked because I, I wasn't certain and then as we've gone along through the show I thought do you know, I don't think you do do a back stitch with um, tapestry but as you say the choice is yours yeah, and if it helps yeah. bring out that detail then certainly do it. Yeah, always a single strand because you don't want anything bulky. Oh, one or maybe two because you're using it this is a thick cotton I haven't got any stranded cotton on Oh, no, not next to me. Um, but this is quite thick, so actually two strands on that, you might need that so that you don't yeah. lose it. Okay. I would certainly, I, mean, I must get some metallic threads, we'll bring some on. I would certainly consider perhaps putting a little bit of sparkle within there as well to catch the light. The Japanese lady, that would look amazing, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's very oriental anyway, just beautiful. Oh, do consider doing that then. Right, we're almost out of time. We've had so many sellouts actually this hour. I'm not surprised, so make sure you're grabbing what you need if it's still there and check those baskets out. If you've missed out on something, do consider one of the other kits. We've got so many kits available with the threads included. Everything you need to get to go and get ahead of yourself, really. And I don't know if we've, how many of the stands we've got left. We've got two on offer today. We've got the tabletop stand. We've also got the seat stand as well. So have a look at those. Rosella, do you know it's been a really lovely hour i know it's been so much fun isn't it i do love tapestry i really do oh well you're back at seven o'clock as well with some cross stitch amazing so maybe if you've been wanting to start cross stitch have a look out for a kit there as well so a lovely lovely hour yet yeah, still busy phone lines always the quickest way is to go to the website of course or use the app you can do that as well but if you are hanging on the phone sir please do hang on a little bit longer and we'll get to you as soon as possible i shall see you a little bit later rosella stay with us everybody you know what time it is don't you four o'clock's almost upon us that means lose back Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. Zuri Design moulds are used in all areas of crafting, not just for your clays and your resins, but also their food grade silicon as well, so used for your cake decorating designs.
Zuri excel on the detail in their moulds and the designs range from animals through to fantasy and much further beyond. If you watch the Zuri shows I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. We're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. We decided to embark on turning our own designs into polymer stamps. We're really excited about where this is going to take us in the future and how we can evolve those designs and keep bringing you something that's just so, so different. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection and this was down to Josie, hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Good afternoon, how are you? We are the final hour of the One Day Special. A One Day Special is launched at 6pm every day here on the craft store and it goes all the way through until 6 p.m. the following day or while stocks last so I do need to tell you with the one day special this being the final live hour your price is going back up at six o'clock today it is a fabulous deal and 80% of the stock has gone right what do we have well first of all we've got a gorgeous guest a fantastically talented guest as well <laughs> she's been here all day we love her you love her it's Lucy. Hey. How are you, Lily? I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, yeah, very good. You know, I always like love. Uh, I always like love working with you. It's such terrible English. It started already, and we're only 53 seconds in. Apologies. Um, you know, I love working with you because you're very inspirational. Thank you. So, what can we expect in the demos today? Well, I'm going to play with some of the dies, yes. and then we're going to bring in some of the cake elements and look how they work with the different shaped Ooh. cards and just some. A little bit of colouring. I love that. Right, your one day special. Let's take a look at it. Why are so many of you going for this? Well, it's excellent value for money. You've got five sets of stamps, five sets, 25 in total, collectively, but you're only paying for four. How's that? Freedom members, you're getting an extra 10% off that already heavily discounted price. So, today, if you want to split the cost, into two payments as a Freedom member. It's only going to be £19.78 a day. For all of the stamps, which are brilliant images, you've got lots of different worker stamps in there as well. So if I just turn that round to show you that particular collection, you can use the birds on that separately if you want to. You could split the cake up and use that on different occasions or use the whole collective stamps together. That's the beauty of this collection. You can actually mix and match the different elements. Let me take you through the elements that we've got here on the cards that have been stamped out for you so you can take a look at all of the different images for all different occasions, not just birthdays. Um, it could be anything and it doesn't have to be a very special occasion. It could be just to say hello to somebody and cheer someone up. So you've got the image here with girl and boy. Life is too short to say no to cake. 
But have a look at that. Maybe you can just use the top element of that, the teddy bear itself. And then you've got the lower part, which you could change into a house if you wanted to. You can do that for all of the stamps, I think, anyway, with the cake element. But they're also looking a little bit like houses as well. The boat on the top, I know, Lou, this is a favourite of yours. You like the boat? I do. I like anything nautical, but I like... That one, I mean, in the last hour with Catherine, I turned that into like a rainbow one and oh, coloured all the stripes in different colours. Yeah. But I actually cut the boat away yes. and put another cake behind it. Excellent. So it made it even taller and taller and taller. Um, that, so you can, you know, put one on top of the other. It's a great idea. You can start layering your cakes mm. up. Fabulous. Um, now, this is beautiful. I love this. And you do get the extra stamp for the toadstool on the side. We're going to show you some really cool samples in a moment. We're going to go through them with Lou and what you can do with these. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> Who knew? There's a sample for you just there uh, with the boat on. A nice little surprise for you. And then we've got that beautiful one with the birds. Again, the birds you could use at two sides of a wedding invitation easily but yeah. the top layer could easily be cut away and you could actually have that separately yeah you could um, you, so you yeah. could stamp the whole image and have a, even a window effect so that was on the inside yeah you know with your sentiment that one and cut the bows out and yeah. layer them up on top of each other as well do you know what I'm thinking as well and uh, our producer mm. gave me this idea earlier on shrink plastic Ooh. because you could make mini charms of all of these stamps and you yeah. could make them into shrink plastic. Can you imagine that? And then it'd be like a little collection for people with jewellery. I'm sure we could sell if we make Yes, make we that. can. Yes, as long as we make it. Yeah. But I mean, also, um, another thing is with all the little fine decoration, if you've got all your, like, your liquid pearls yes. and your little um, sparkles, you know, do your tiny little drops in where you've got along the top of the images and then it changes it again oh, yeah well was, yeah there you <laughs> go we've got one already lined up for you. yeah just like that it is a superb deal 80 percent of the stock already gone 25 stamps so we're going to take you through the different elements what you can do with them we've got some great samples to show you to give you inspiration but what i do need to tell you is that you need to get these into your baskets to check on out so you get them this is the last final live hour 510206 is your item number if you're not a freedom member it's 43 pounds and 95 pence again you can divide the cost of that into Two payments if you're not a freedom member but the best deal because you're saving 15 pounds and 39 pence is to become a freedom member today for seven pounds and 97 pence freedom membership goes monthly um uh, moving on so it means that you're not paying any postage per month and you're going to get discounts like this. That's your one-day special. Let's have a look at some of the samples, Lou, because yeah. everybody looks at the stamps in different ways and um, gives their own interpretations. Let's have a look. Okay. So this is um, a, a book by Jojo, I believe. I'll try and credit people if they've got their names on the back. Um, but it's, it's bringing in here. So we've got the colouring of this beautiful layered stamp. And th this is um, cake number 19. But it's brought in the, the stencils from Dolly Dimples, but also with all the bling around oh, the outside that. and then again putting the bling into the center adding little extra doodles in all the the leaves and again in this and it ties it in this way so this is a project using absolutely every single one of the stamps so they don't have to be used you know individually mm. and then we've got the mushroom house and then adding the little stamps on the side here so you can make it bigger smaller I mean where we've got these here if you took the candle from um, num the cake number five, you could put candles on there instead. What but again, it's you know, bring in making it look bigger than it, a scene in its own right. And you can also use that with other stamps that you've got in yeah. your collection, like you say, to start building the scene. As we're going through these, I'm thinking, how about making table placement mats? I mean, when you see it like that, yeah. it is, isn't it? It's perfect, sort of thing. Seal it, and then you've got a beautiful, especially out in the garden. I know, just laminate it. That's yeah. all you need to do. It is, isn't it? And then we go on to the one with the birds. And I like this here where she's stamped it, and we've got the tail here, and she's gone around with a jelly roll. Oh, but then nice. because the this could be a little bit trickier. So if I get the, the stamped image, it's probably easier to show you. So where we've got that bird there and we've got the tail, and if your cutting skills, you know, you struggle, what she's done is she stamped it onto her back plate, but only cut out then the bird, the, the simpler parts. But where you've got all the stamped detail there, you've, you're not missing out on all that little extra yeah. bits from yeah. the actual image. So, I mean, and again, layer it all up in lots of different ways. And then we've got the boat... And actually colouring it, you know, in a different way with the blue 
and the red, rather than we've all been going blue and white or red and white, it, it changes it all together. And that doesn't have to be a cake as such. No. It could be just a very high pond or something like that. It you could, know, like yeah. And with, crest of a wave. and with the background here, it has that effect, doesn't it? Like the yeah. clouds in the sky. Yeah. And then finally, we've got this cake here with the bear on it. Um, and you know, take away, I know the other elements are stamped onto the back, but as soon as you take them away, it, it looks beautiful with the bear just sitting there with the, with the flower there. Yeah. If you took the bottom bit away again, it looks like you've put the bear up on a pedestal. Yeah, that's great, isn't um, it? So you, you can use it in lots of different ways. So that's a project using them all together. And she's going to file that over there. Brilliant. Yeah. Again, you know, you can make table placements. You could also use your fabric ink with these stamps and make yeah. some wonderful, wonderful projects for sewing. Would, wouldn't it? I mean, when you think about a napkin, mm. if you were doing like a birthday party and stamping onto a napkin. Uh, yeah, you can buy like plain napkins. Yeah. What a great idea. And, you know, and bring in, if you've got alphabet stamps, you could then bring in and personalise and put How people's lovely. initials on. I know. You know, you just go, I wouldn't do it though, I'm being honest. <laughs> Be a Sharpie. Um, <laughs> now, this is another one of the cakes, but I like the fact that, you know, all the colours, it, it's kept to a very simple colour palette. And then just a tiny little bit of glossy accents on the centre of the bow, just to highlight there. But so you don't have to do, you know, lots of complicated colouring if you don't want to. It's a beautiful, simple colour palette. Yes, and yes. then the dyes on the edge dyes there to tie in the colours been being used and a little around the edge here so you don't have to you know be a, a you know a colorist if that's what you're worried about just just go for it nice yeah. simple monochrome look but it's so effective in the same way yeah it is and again you can use these for all kinds of collections this is one of my favorites i know i, I, I think this is this is taking the smaller elements and i think you said in your description when you called them um, worker stamps yes we do ignore sometimes the smaller stamps in our collections and just assume we've got to go for the bigger elements only. And this proves you don't have to. So you've got the, the little mushroom here in the little frames. And this was um, a paper kit brought by Dolly Dimples a while back. Um, I think layering two off the top of my head. Um, so you, know, you can use the little elements. So you could imagine here you could have had the birds. So if we they had the birds yeah. either side here and then even just a sentiment. So look at the, the other elements in How there. How about the teddy bear within yeah. the village of mushrooms? That would be really cool because that could it, be a little character. It could be yeah, so because you actually get the little teddy bear image separately. Yeah, so absolutely. he could actually be sitting in there amongst yeah. there. And then, sorry, the, these are mine now, sorry. Um, but I just wanted to show, you know, simple colouring again. I've actually only kept two colours, uh, or three with the green, and just layering it up and just putting it on 3D foam pads changes it again. And then the little stamps color them in you know in a totally different way and bring in your dyes that you've got i mean i've used the um obviously the mushroom border that we've got on on the edge there but that could easily be flowers yeah. you could actually just doodle grass yeah, you could do you know we were talking earlier about making cupcakes and putting them on little stands and placing them in yeah. the cakes as little labels and things like that as the cake stamps as they are which look amazing so much that you can do with yeah these stamps. i mean and this one is just to show that they don't have to be a cake so as soon as I've taken the base away, yeah. it becomes like this lovely, wonderful mushroom house in a in a wonderful yeah. little you know little mushroom land Love or that. in a fairy land. Actually, a nice little butterfly there. That would look lovely. Yeah, would look good. And if they got yeah. the kimono girls, that yeah. would have been. And then this one is just using the dyes. But I saw this as a lighthouse when I got this originally. Yeah. And coloring this grey and this part here, I thought they were rocks. You know, like you would see yeah, around course, the sea. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how my, I went in my head there. And then I've layered it up with the different dyes and then just cut away the boat elements and tucked them in to make it a seam again, but not a cake. But isn't that fantastic? You know, if you are a baker, how mm. about this? That is a fantastic gift and a card. Why don't you make a cake to actually match the card you're making? How cool would that be? Oh, yes. That'd be me phoning someone going, do you make cakes that look like? You could, you could, you could, <laughs> give, no. it a, you could give it a go. <laughs> no. But, you know, so like you were saying, look at all the different elements. How can you change them? And on here, these are technically meant to be leaves. But by colouring them blue, and as again here, they look waves. It looks like the boat is actually in amongst the waves. So brilliant? think about just changing the colour. And that automatically changes the vibe of how something looks. So, your one day special. Let's give you the details again. Now you've got your appetite for them. Uh, the appetite for the cakes. You've also got the sentiments in there as well. 510206. Uh, new today, £43.95, but you're saving £11 on that initial price. 
at six o'clock tonight they're going to be 54.95 if we've got any left so here's your chance to get them at a great discount freedom members it gets even better you get another 10 percent off taking that price down to 39 pounds and nine, uh, 56 pence again divide the cost into two so today for under 20 pounds you can get the whole set of five home and then another payment of just under 20 pounds in a month's time no pmp to pay on that now if you want them individually if you see one you think i want that one individually they are available to you and also i think these would be great gifts for people as well lots of beautiful samples that we've shown you to give you that idea to give you that inspiration all you need to do now is make sure they're in your basket and you check on out as well now if you've got your one day special in your basket and you're thinking well what else have you got because i can divide the cost of those uh into two payments well of course you can so let's see what else we can put into your basket if you want to uh, we've got some great papers for you uh, these papers are lovely they'll go so well with the one day special but they'll also go with other projects that you've got coming up now we have oh my goodness with three quarters of the stock gone you've got your 120 gsm papers but you've also got your 300 gsm card stock as well all printed on dolly dimples cream card or paper so something absolutely sensational to work with with all of your different mediums uh, this is card just to give you an idea of the rigidity love that word <laughs> there you go um beautiful design as well look at that really like the focus in that you can think of some wonderful ideas and if i just bring that forward you can see you've just got that suggestion of lace detail on there which is marvelous um let me just turn these that is just a plain piece of card it's not if i turn it the other way there you go uh, like this one let me just bring that where should i pop that let's pop that up there for you there you go uh, so you've got some lovely colorways in here some purples some yellows some pinks use these in their uh, portrait or landscape mode you've also got the chance to cut into these die cut them if you want to uh, the 300 gsm you could perhaps make into a box or something like that or a gift envelope like the gift um pillowcases not gift pillowcases but they're boxes like pillows do you know what, do you know what i mean by that lou yes yeah, i do what are they called they it's are a pillar box isn't it is it? yeah it yeah. is actually a pillar box but it, not a pillar box that you put your your mail in <laughs> oh dear I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, again, you've got that lovely lace in there. Let me turn this one around for you. Wow, isn't that fabulous? Now, if you want to use this one more than once, all you have to do is multi-buy. Yeah, you can go for more than one pack of the cardstock if you want to. It's only £11.99. You're saving £3 on that price. Remember, you've got your 300 GSM cardstock, and you've also got your 120 GSM paper. Is that two? Yeah, I thought so. That's oh, there you go. Uh, so you've got three different elements in there. Absolutely sensational. Um, pop those into your basket, and you can divide the cost of these into two. If you're going for your one-day special, look at that. See, that's brilliant, isn't it? Which is brilliant. H B to you. Happy birthday to you. Um, I normally put A P B day. <laughs> As a, yeah. A happy A P B day. Uh, right, eleven pounds and ninety nine pence two one zero five one five is your item number. Let's have a look at your happy hour deal. Now your happy hour deal is for this hour and this hour only, and it's a marvellous happy hour as well. Um, great value for money. Ninety sheets of twelve by twelve cardstock, deluxe as well. Wow, that is fancy pants, isn't it? You've got assorted colours and textures for £14.99 and, and it might be assorted GSM I think it's assorted GSM um, but oh they're gonna go a long way aren't they 491237 look at the price 14.99 saving 34 pounds that's an amazing deal for this hour and this hour only now we've got individuals of the one day special if you want to go for those ten pounds and ninety nine pence we'll start with the boat stuff it to eat it bake it <laughs> it's very good <laughs> somebody promised that to me once uh, right next up we've got <laughs> home is where the cake is it certainly is or rather there's no cake in my home because i've eaten it yep 1099 your item number uh, go and see all of them on the website right are lou <laughs> right what um... we have a look at <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to, I want to do some little bit of bossing. I'm just going to use an anti-static. I'm going to use some, do a bit of embossing. Oh, okay. I like it when you're bossy, though. that's good. Well, you're never bossy. But, but sorry, I'm going to have to brush, take that away. I can't, my anti-static bag went for a walk. 
so I've had to improvise with something else. Oh, so it's a it little bit. I don't know. I wish you'd come back because I want it now to help me. And I've taken um, this is the um, the cake here, and I'm just going to I'll die cut a panel, and I actually just want to stamp on the on the panel rather than just cut the cake out. And if I can lift the lid up for my stamp platform, that'd be cool. And I'm going to use a clear embossing ink. Okay. And we'll just put that on. Well, that was a, getting a little bit heavy-handed there. I can feel the table <laughs> moving. So, and this is one of the benefits when you have a dirty stamp because when you're going to do your embossing, you can see where you're missing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the stamp set that's got the birds in it. Yes. And a party with no cake is a meeting. That is the one. Right, so let's put that there, and I just want to grab a piece of paper and put some embossing powder on. So I thought, because I'm going to do, I'm not normally known for purple, so we're going to go for a little bit of purple. Well, cranberry sort of colour. Oh, cranberry. And then we'll just put that on there. And I just want to do a different coloured outline, because I've done a lot of stamping you know, in um, black. So if you've got gold, silvers, silver actually on some of the, on, on a nice darker would look really yeah, would nice as well. Um, even the teddy bear one, if you've got some of the different embossing powders in different colours, you could do that there. That'd be nice. Let's move this out of the way. Right, so we're just going to emboss this. Now, this is my homemade now, I've got some of the bits missing because I've gone for a tinsel one. Okay. And I've knocked some of the edges back. Um, so I don't, I don't want an overly crisp image. It, when you say tinsel... It's got, like, little bits of glitter trapped in it. Ah, OK. Um, it's not like a whole lot of tinsel from Christmas that I, you know, don't like and chopped up. <laughs> they do they call it tinsel. That? Do you chop up your tinsel um, to use as glitter? Is I would use. Uh, no, not really. I mean, I used to at school when we were doing different projects with the children, mm. we used to, uh, that would be, you know, give the tinsel a haircut so we could add it to different glues. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know what? That is a great um, idea. So we used to add it then to the glues and then the children had like this wacky sort of decorative glue that you'd let dry. Oh, I wish you were a teacher at my school, but then you'd have been the same age as me, so it would have been, it would have been I a think I'm a little bit, yeah, I would have been a couple of years above you, actually. But, yeah. Did you no. do primary or secondary school? Primary. Oh. Couldn't do secondary. I think my son's put me off that. When I went into primary, um, my eldest son was just at that lovely age. What's that age? Yeah, Bolshe. You know, just starting that, you know, that, and I just went, no, primary. <laughs> he, he sealed a fate for oh, me. What, like the, like the, the teenage years? Yeah, yeah, sort of thing. I know better than you, sort of thing. Right, I'm going to let that cool down because I want to actually colour it in. And what I want to do is just bring in the die-cutting machine. So I have to put it on the floor because it takes up too much space. And I've taken the one of the dies from, I think it's uh, number seven, and I'm just going to tape it down and run it through. Okay. Because I want to create a shaped card, and I've done a lot of the die cutting already, but I need one extra piece. There we go. We'll move that. It's like weight of training. I know, yes. Pretty heavy, that one. <laughs> uh, right, so let's just move you down there. I will sweep the floor. I'm, I'm, it's gathering, isn't it, through? It looks, do you know what? It's, it's, it's a piece of art. I think you need to take a picture of the floor before you leave. In fact, I, I'd like all our guests to take a picture of the floor before they leave because they would make great background papers. Actually, because yeah, when you consider a lot of us use colour and things like that, yeah. yes, it would. Now, what I've done is I've done, used the same dye. So this is that de beautiful decorative edge. I grab a piece of black, you'll see it a little bit better. And I, th I thought it was such a beautiful edge. Oh, that is pretty. Um, but, you know, you can use it in lots of different ways. So what I've done is I've cut it from one of the background papers. And I want to, to create a foam matten layer. So what I'm going to do is just snip round with a pair of scissors rather than my guillotine. I'm going to put 
but I'm now now I'm conscious about the floor and putting it in the in the bin. <laughs> you know, you go, <laughs> five hours later, she finally uses the bin. <laughs> and what I want to do now, I've cut this out, and I'm not worried about this being um, broken there. So I've taken literally the paper, and I just want to slide this underneath and create a faux shadow, so I can then work out where I need to trim any of the excess. So I can cut away. Now we've had an email in from from Richard. Hello, Richard. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Richard wants to know how you clean and store your stamps. That's a good question. You know, it's the word clean, isn't it? Something. I know, it, it terrified um, you that, didn't it? It did a wee bit. Um, but some people like to clean their stamps. They do, and some people, certain inks do clean them afterwards, you know, especially a, a clear stamp, like if you're using a stays on. Yeah. Um, do clean your stamps. Nine times out of ten, um, I use just a towel, yeah. like then rub them that way. If they get, if they start losing their stick, warm water, you okay. know, a soapy warm water, yeah. wash them really gently, but leave them somewhere um, flat to dry, yeah. um, and let them dry naturally, and then put them back onto your carrier sheets. Um, I store mine in little plastic wallets with yeah. the covering sheet. Good, yeah, great and that, idea. That, that's all, and that's all I do with all of mine. I'm great idea, great organisation. Uh, thank you, Richard, for that email. Um, I hope we've helped you. Any other questions, email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Or if you've got any pictures you'd like to send to show Lou of any other projects you've been working with Dolly Dimples Ooh. range, then I'm sure Lou would love to see those. Again, it's studio at thecraftstore.com. Right, so I just want to slide that a little bit there so I've got a decorative edge and then I've done exactly the same for the opposite side and I just want to so I'm just extending that detail a little bit more now if I'd have cut this say if you'd done this in multiple ways um, in like reds golds and greens you've got a real autumnal look oh, yeah that would be nice so you could change the look of something as well. actually yeah, yeah. mirror card yeah even behind something like this would look Yes, because if you put a couple of snowflakes, it would like a Christmas branch. Yeah, it would look lovely. Right, so I'm going to do put that bit there. And then this is going to sit on there. Like I said, I'm not worried about that bit coming away, because that's going to go and tuck behind. There, there was a cunning plan all along. Now, so I've done mine quite tonally. If you wanted to go somewhere, you know, totally different, and we took the cream away and put the black, it has a different look again. Like you were saying, if you suddenly put um, a mirror card, mm. it would change the drama behind it. It reminds me it. of a tree. It does, doesn't yeah, it? It has it that... like a tree with all the different yeah. branches. It, it does have that sort of look about it, doesn't it? But I'm going to go be really good and go... I, I'm trying to go into, you know, like... Um, not colour as such, but keep to... Like if I cut with cream, stick to cream. I don't know why at the moment. That's my, my thing at the moment. <laughs> Cream. No, you know, like um, like the colour of the shadow here is in the background. Oh, so if right. the shadow, <laughs> if the shadow had been black, I would have used a black sort of thing. Our, our director's um, been into his cream today. Oh, oh yeah, no, went, don't do went cream. Went to get some cream especially. Oh. Right, so the image is now cool enough to work on. Let's move all this that way. And I'm just going to do colour it in. And I said I want it to be, and I'm going to, that's it, brilliant. I've knocked some of it back. I want it to look a little bit um, shabby, for want of a better phrase. And I'm not, and I just want to do the faintest of colouring on it. You know, I've been tidying up and clean, uh, drying all my paintbrushes in between. And then I thought they were your makeup brushes to be. To be I fair. don't think I. I don't think I own a makeup. Well, I, maybe I do. I don't know. No, I don't think I do. You know, you just go. It goes on. <laughs> the, <laughs> make, you know, the makeup goes on, and that's it. So I just want to do the tiniest, subtle bit of colouring. And this is onto the, um, the the Dolly Dimples Mixed Media card. That looks nice. So you're keeping the dark edge where you place the colouring, you're just drawing it out. Yeah. I like that, because that creates that shadow. Um, and I want that then I can keep lighter areas two as well but uh, like I said I, I want it to look like a slightly older photograph now if I emboss this with um, a glaze on the top in like a sepia tone that would change it as well on top of it yeah it would but, but I just want to do some really 
because the images are, are nice and gentle as well. They can be dramatic, but they can also be quite gentle. So, I'll do that there. And we can bring that across there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of colour there. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not over, I don't want to overly exaggerate the colour at all. I just want to... Now I'm just looking, because I always look and learn from you and I was just <laughs> watch in wonderment. That's why, uh, luckily, I always go quiet when I watch your colour. So I'm, I'm fascinated by shadows and how we mm. draw, out, draw out the shadows and make it 3D. So I've, I've just had a look where you've put some of the main darker areas just underneath the bow. And then you've got it just on the right-hand side as well. Um, Does it not matter? Do we just go for it? Just go for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Seriously, just go for it. You know, um, yes, I suppose if I wanted to, I could say like the light is coming through here. So this oh. would be lighter, that would be darker. But... Just do what your eye likes yeah, yeah. at the end of the day. If something becomes that you have got to sit there and actually work out and, and you're going, oh, where should the shadow be? Where should this be? Where should that be? It suddenly takes the enjoyment out of what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and also, another question, mm -hmm. how much water? Because sometimes I overwater the brush. Um, so I'm just watching you what you do there. You're taking the brush in the water and then you're taking a little bit of the water I take away. it out, yeah. You're better off doing a little bit by little. Yeah. Um, or alternatively, if you're not confident with a water brush, there is lots of companies who do blender pens. Okay. And does it make... Sorry for all the questions. No, go for so it. Hopefully it's helping you guys at home. Does it... You know, with the amount of water you're using, does that differ for watercolour card? This is a nice smooth card from Dolly. Mmm... No, you know, I'm trying to answer that. It depends on the technique you're doing. Yeah. If you want a more muted look, you could put a lot more water down. If you want a little bit more of a subtle look, you put hardly any water down. Yeah. Um, it, it really does depend on the, the look that you're going for. And I just want a nice, I want a very, very, very subtle colouring. So I just wanted to do a nice shade. I'm going to even leave certain elements out. Is and what, that on the cream or the white card? That is on the mixed media card. The mixed media card, yeah. We'll bring the details of that because as you can see there, it, um, it's embossed incredibly well. The colouring on there, it's drawn it out. It looks fabulous. It's always nice to have the right paper, isn't it? The right paper. When you see Lou doing her demonstrations, you think, I want to try that at home. You need the right tools. So here we go. You've got your white card stock. It's mixed media white card stocks, 250 GSM, and you are getting 30 A4 sheets. That's a lot. £9.99, saving £5 on that deal. Always good to have the right papers, isn't it, Lou? Yeah, uh, it is. It, it, it makes life a lot easier for you, and it's... That helps you achieve what you have got in your head, the results you want to get. Because yeah. um, sometimes it's not the products, it's we're not just using the right thing for the thing we're doing, the, pro you know, the skill we're doing. So I just wanted to leave the colouring, you know, just as simple as that. And I've stamped out the birds, and the birds can be added on to go around. Oh, nice. And I just wanted to keep a really simple, elegant card. Now, if, if a panel, you know, because for a lot of people, it's just like, oh, you've covered, you've covered up all that die cutting. You know, because it is beautiful die cutting. Mm. I can do exactly the same. So it's the same stamp. I haven't coloured this one. And I could colour it exactly the same way. And I could have the birds. Oh, look, because they're like now in the trees. Yes. Yeah. So I could have them yes. now looking in and amongst the trees. Oh, do you know what? That's, isn't that lovely? So you could suddenly change it again. Mm. And that's with no colour on there at all. And, the, and it still works. Or, you know, even with the slightest yeah. touch of colour... It can work and layer it up that way. For somebody that likes nature, you know, likes things out, mm. likes walking outside, mm. <laughs> likes it outdoors, you know, likes being outside. What a wonderful card with those birds just nesting in what looks like and could be a bit of foliage, yep. a tree. Oh, I right, mean, change lovely. it up, you know, sort of thing. If you wanted a little bit of colour, so it's a total contrast. I've gone for like the orange oh, on there yeah. with the. That's it. That's made it pop sort like of. that. So you can, you know, think about, you know, that it doesn't have to be, the cakes don't have to be, you know, lots of layers of colour. Mm. You can just pick out tiny little pieces yeah. of it and just wash it out. And the, you don't lose any of the cake detail. Yeah. Or it, I just think it's nice and quick and easy yeah, that way. Great idea. Uh, we've had another email in. And this email is from Alison. Hello, Alison. Thanks for emailing in. Alison says... Mm -hmm. 
I could watch Lou all day long. Oh, that's lovely. Thank she you. Says you're very imaginative. And makes oh, and makes her want to craft. I thought it was cry. Makes no, I was going to say because you're that good. <laughs> Um, make someone's craft. Well, you know, you do that to me. I saw you uh, on a show the other day when I was at home, not feeling too well. Um, and I thought, yeah, I just want to start crafting. Because oh, when you, you see great demonstrations, when you see like how easy the paint goes on and you want to do that yourself, isn't it wonderful to have the right elements with you? So go for that cardstock. Have a look at the stamps. If you want them individually, you're more than welcome to do so. But the one-day special, you're getting five sets for the price of four. It's a great deal. And if you're a Freedom member, it gets even better. Because on top of that £11 saving, you've got another 10%. It's a great deal. How do you become a Freedom member? Triple eight, triple eight in your basket. That's the item number to become a Freedom member. It's a monthly rolling situation for you. So at the end of each month, another £7.97 will come out of your bank account. You tell us if you want to uh, stop it at any time. But just have a think to yourself, how much do you buy from us per week or per month? If it's more, if it's two or more items, it's definitely worth becoming a Freedom member because you get the extra discount as well, which you can see right there. 39.56, you can divide the cost into two. Now, the one day special consists of five sets. So let's have a look at what the stamps get in those sets. Because you've got some worker stamps in there, you've also got some sentiments as well. But when we take a look at these, have a look at all the different elements that are in there and what you can do with them. So, for example, you've got the cake on the top tier just there and the two cakes underneath. If we turn this the other way round, just bear with for a moment, you've got two lampshades, haven't you? You could have a bit of fun with that. Or it could be two dresses. It could be two dresses and you could put like little mannequin, mannequin doll heads on the top of that. You've also got the sentiments in there as well. You've got your next stamp set. Love this one with the teddy bear on the top. Uh, it looks like a butterfly teddy bear, doesn't it? Because you've got the two little wings behind it. But you've also got the little teddy bear down the bottom that you can use. Well, I tell you what, that would be great on wrapping paper, wouldn't it? To do a random pattern of all those teddy bears, colour them in different colours. be fantastic. Also, you could use that on um, a little label. So you've got Life is Too Short to Say No to Cake. Ain't that the truth? Uh, there you've got Lou's favourite with the boat, which is brilliant. You could colour that, red and white, could be a lighthouse, give you the a feel of a lighthouse. Not that a boat would be on top of the lighthouse, but it all works in and fits in perfectly. Then you've got one of my favourites, I love this, the toadstool cake. But take away the top toadstool, and it's a toadstool house, isn't it? You can make a whole village of toadstool houses, which would be amazing. And then you've got that double layered cake and the bird. So you could just take the top part, make a great little Christmas idea, so like a Christmas candle. You've also got the bottom part, which if you took the top part away, it would be a top hat. And those two birds are absolutely lovely. That is the full set of your one day special, 510206. Your item number. Remember, this is your last live hour, and we are over 80% of the stock gone. I was just taking a look at this, actually. This is a wonderful idea. Uh, so you could change this into, well, do you know what? This could be like the base of a lamp. You know, if you've got like a smaller lamp base, you could put that in there. You could have the light bulb out the top. As long as an LED one doesn't um, uh, emit any heat or anything like that, that would look amazing. Make a really nice lantern. Or, dare I say it, Dare I say it, put a bottle of wine in there. And then you could use that as a wine pourer. I mean, you'd have to be careful, wouldn't you? But it, like, a, like a wine cooler or something. You put a plastic bag in there and then, talking of plastic bags, am I seeing right in here, Lou? Wow. <gasps> I thought this was, I thought this was, what, you've been keeping this secret. Lou, I can't get it out. Oh, it's good. It's, it, there's a bow on the front. Don't you worry. I'll be getting this out before the end of the show. Chocolates, everyone. Why have we only just found this out, Lou? Well, see, I didn't mention it to you because you said your favourite thing was walnut and coffee. It's not walnut <laughs> and coffee, is it? No. Is it walnut? Oh. <laughs> That's why I didn't mention it. Okay. Well, any chocolate, <laughs> any chocolate will do, and these will do nicely. I shall demolish that in a moment's time. So do look at it now. You won't be seeing it again. No, you will. Uh, right, let's move on down because we've got some more items for you. Um, help yourself to the chocolates, Lou, while I'm gone. Uh, right, your paper kit that we've got for you, proving very popular. Isn't this marvellous? Do you know what's nice about this? Is that we see our guest demonstrators, well, no, our 
our friends here on the channel making and creating and building uh, different backgrounds, uh, which is lovely. Uh, now you've got a chance to have a taste of those, but they're already done. So you can throw on your medias to the medias, your mediums to these if you want to. Um, and you've got paper and you've got car. So your paper is 120 GSM. There you go. And your card stock is 300 GSM, which is fabulous. I do like this one, actually. Let me just show you this one, because you can see it, the principle what we've got there. Isn't that lovely? The quality of the paper that these are printed on, absolutely gorgeous. You don't have to use that as a whole A4 sheet. You can start to chop into that and cut into it. Use it maybe uh, inside journals or have it as pages of journals. And then you can have a collection of these together and start putting items onto the pages. 210515 is your item number 24 sheets in total only 11 pounds and 99 pence and you're more than welcome to multi buy if you want to right now something that's proven to be popular this hour actually is the ring binder we're limited stock it's proven so popular we're now limited stock 925 345 is your item number um 14 pounds and 99 pence you get 18 templates two ring binders fixing posts and six whole page die and six whole page die is that for your mm. You get a die in there that'll actually die cuts exactly oh, six, the right gaps in a between. A six-hole page die. Sorry, yeah, that's what I was. I was looking. Yeah, I get it now. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, of course. Isn't that brilliant? There's the die just there. Pays to do your research, doesn't it, Janice? <laughs> And you prep. And I'm going to say, if you follow Dolly Dimples and you have her stencils, those ring binders fit the stencils perfectly as well. Excellent. Well, that's great news to tell mm. you, isn't it? Good to know. Right. Now we've got Dollywood next. Hooray for Dollywood. Uh, right. £89.92. Saving £10 on this deal, but there's 35 stamps and nine dies in this deal. And this was the one day special last week. Oh, these cute. Oh, look, have we given a name to all of these? £80.93, and pence, but you can divide the cost of this? I think so. Let's have a look. We'll spin it. Yeah, you go three pounds. Wow, three pounds to £26.98. So apparently they gave names of presenters to all of those um, stamps. I'd like to know if I was in there. Is that me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That could be. There's, that's, that's Leone. No, that was Paola. I'd say that's Paola. That's Catherine. <laughs> oh, no, don't be cruel. <gasps> Sorry, you moved on too quickly. That's Catherine. That's Catherine. That's Alex. Uh, right, okay. I think <laughs> they just moved on too quickly. They moved on too quickly. <laughs> well, she does crochet a lot. <laughs> uh, I, uh, Don't forget your happy hour, £14.39. Uh, 491235, you've got 90 sheets here. If you're 12 by 12 papers, I can hear her stomping down the corridor now. <laughs> She's going to say off with her head. Um, <laughs> uh, saving £34. It's a great deal for this hour and this hour only, just like myself, actually, which is probably a good thing. Uh, 491237. Uh, oh, dear. Lou, right. <laughs> <laughs> what are we having a look at now, Lou? I don't know. I think we'll go for the, the beautiful one with the little bear on. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to stamp it there and I'm going to stamp in black but then I'm going to go over with some distress inks and it's again I just want to show people you know you don't have to spend a long time coloring if, if you know if that's not your bag I mean actually you know paper piece if you'd like to when do little bits of paper. When you say paper piece, let's just explain to everyone at home. Right, so it means stamping this on different coloured papers. Yeah. So it's a great way of using up all the scraps. Mm. So you could stamp your flower and leaf onto one colour paper. Teddy could be on another. The flower could be on another. And then just cut them out with a pair of scissors and... and yeah, and just then put them back inside the stamped image. Oh, great idea. Um, and, and you can do that. I mean, that would look really cool with the one with the boat, with the different stripes that way. That would... that Actually, that would look... I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's so, another great technique. So what I want to do is I'm just going to do this bit by bit. Um, so I'm going over the same stamp. And then, and I can't remember the gentleman's name who messaged in about cleaning your stamps in between and technically. Yeah. But 
I, mean, I have it now here. For the but... backgrounds, you could be using uh, stencils. We've got stencils yep. available for you. Uh, we'll just put the details up. These are available on the website for you, and uh, we'll show you how to navigate to that. 047888 is your item number. Very lucky number, that 888. Uh, £14.97, saving £9. And it's a pick and mix of any three. These are great. Oh, these are, these are like your little workhorses. Now, if I was to choose, which I, I, I love the maze. I'd definitely go for the maze. I like the web tangle, believe it or not. I do like that. But then I like that flower power. Oh, I like all of them. Um, but if I'm thinking about backgrounds, maybe I'd go for crack. 